Oh, hello? Top of the morning, everybody. Top of the morning, everybody. Hi there. Hi. Hi. What? You're so energetic. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Hi, Let me put the milk bar, because you kept complaining that I wasn't playing the fucking milk bar. <gasps> Hope your week is going well, Goose. Milk bar. Love you and your content. Oh, I Keep love you too. Awesome, Goose. Lovely. Thank you. I appreciate it, Midnight Forest. I'm the fucking ho. What the fuck? And what I'm the fucking imp. I'm the imp. I <laughs> <laughs> right hear. Here's the milk bar. <gasps> My theme song. Da 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 da. Let me put you up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, now you're super loud. <laughs> Is Shoko hyper tonight? I mean, listen to her. No! Piru added in too. Yeah! Put her own vocals in. <laughs> Guys, you wanna hear you wanna hear Biru's tummy? Here. That's her tummy. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Welcome, chat to stream. I want to kiss right you. Right now. Ha ah, ah, ha, no. Now we're going to go on a fucking road trip. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't say that. Someone said plop, 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 get petted. <laughs> I mean, that's the sound you made on Beer's tummy. Our little tummy, the infamous cat belly trap, is the softest. <gasps> Almost as soft as an imp belly. But you will never soft. find that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Oh, I forgot to... You know what I forgot to set up, actually? <laughs> I'm so not ready. You didn't even put our fucking thing on the screen, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> you dweeb I'll set that up. I'll set that up in a sec. Fine. Da, 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 da. You just keep singing this song. Add lyrics to it. Da. Be like uh, Tobuscus or whatever. Choco, you are shorter than the cat. No, I am not. Fuck you. And Metal Rose has a laughing emote. No. Yay, road trip time. Yay, road trip time. <laughs> it is road trip time. <laughs> it is road trip time. Yay. With Chocovania. <laughs> And a goose boost day. Oh man, I, f I fucked up. Ah! You did, it's coming. okay. You should. <laughs> Chocovania sucks. Fuck da -da 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 -da. No, fuck you. We're on a road trip right now. Da -da -da -da. Okay, no, we're not on a road trip. Um, We're gonna start in a bit, though. How's everyone doing today? I'm an imp. She's an imp. I just got robbed. Uh, oh, <laughs> I just robbed the bank. I need you as my getaway driver. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, that's all you, buddy. What if there's like a sick alternate universe where you can, instead of Uber Eats, it's like Uber Steals and you can like hire a getaway driver with an app? Um... Is that cool? That is a real thing. Is that really? Is that Baby Driver? Yeah, it's Baby Driver. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> <laughs> no. Baby Driver is about a getaway driver, and he listens to music because he... Is a baby. Uh, He's a <laughs> Literally came out of the womb and committing he listens, crime. He listens to lullabies. <laughs> <laughs> SNL skid ass yeah. idea. Well, today, everyone, we're going to be exploring some spooky places. <laughs> some scary location. <laughs> on Google Maps. <laughs> what and are I, these sounds? And I hope you guys uh, don't get too scared. Okay. I promise. Oh, My little tiny fucking cute succulent sister so fucking... Da, 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 da. <laughs> I didn't know you could play those. <laughs> Why are you playing those? <laughs> this is in your grandma's live stream. We're gonna be ranking analog horror. Alright, well. 
Should we put like spooky music or should we just like leave this on? Uh. Uh. All right, we're leaving this uh -huh. on. You're you're the vibe master. I'm the vibe. That sounds really bad. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind! Oh my god, goth girl fart huffer. Hi Goose and Chogo, and it's me. Winner Hi of the there. least favorite cultist award of 2023. That's my viewer. Hope you're having a nice day. Exited for the stream today. Exit. Not yours. <laughs> least favorite cultist award of 2023. I'm sure that's literally not you. Den <laughs> den it, but I appreciate the, the donation. I Thank you. Chodo. 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 <laughs> All right, let's uh let's start this little thing, shall we? Shot. Shot. <laughs> I'm just gonna get that fucking reference. Shot. Shot. Okay. <laughs> let's switch over. Cub. Blam. Here we are. Oh my God, it's us. Wow, ah, look at us. It's us, and your mouth is constantly moving. Oh no! It's probably because um. It's probably because your mic is on super high. Is it really? Uh huh. Is no, it's like constantly on. That's weird. Wait, I can fix it. Hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not moving. Are, are, are those breeds? <laughs> oh, ow. My leg. It's still bruised, by the way. Damn. Guys, if you don't know, I was cooking. Oh, was it? No, no, no. That wasn't on Choco's stream. Was it on my stream? I don't remember when the fuck I was cooking. I was cooking on... during something. And I, I hit my shin really fucking hard. Hit your shin? And it's bruised. And it's still bruised. And it hurts. I fixed it. You did. You did. You sound great. <laughs> do you want your shades on? Do you want me to? Do you want me to take care of those shades real quick? You can keep them on. I look cool. You do look cool. It's a sunny day. Uh, it's snowing, and uh, there's clouds everywhere. So it's a perfect time for sunglasses. It's Friday in California. It's Friday in California. I don't know if I should say that. I don't know about that one. I, don't know. I think I'm about to get canceled right now. Shit. I don't know about that one. Holy shit. All right, shit. Get, the doc get the 91 document page, document Google Drive ready. 91 Google Doc documents on the wall. 91 Google Docs. Take one down, pass it around. We're going to get canceled in Docs today. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone, uh, here we are in Google Street View. Wait a minute. Wait, what's going on? Hey! Uh, ah! Oh, oh. Whoa. oh, wait a minute. Oh. Now you know what it's like to be me. Oh, yeah, this is like your height. Na -na -na -na. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Wait. wait a minute. White woman jump scare. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God, Simon Cowell. <laughs> it does look like Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, this is what, what women see when they, uh, you know. Yeah, literally. So you're having like a, and then you, you try to look at your lover's eyes and they're just like, hmm. That disappointment, <laughs> that disappointment in his eyes says it all. <laughs> he looks like, uh, he looks like if he was in the Mario, like, 64 face editor and someone like stretches his nose up. And looks yeah. Down. He's like, hmm, a little bit too much imp teeth, but, uh. <laughs> I guess it'll pass. I got hair in my mouth, said Gel. <clears throat> Gel, is this part of the role play? Or are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the hair out of the way before, Gel. Guys, we're here. We're finally, this is, we're dinner. Oh, God. Mm. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Is that a phone? Oh, those are glasses. That's his stupid ass white vibrator. man sunglasses. I see a vibrator. Well, I think that that's a bag for the sunglasses. Huh? No, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's He's got those phallic. stupid, like, 
those stupid like covers that go on the side of the sunglasses. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Terry Tune, thanks for the five bits. The sweat catchers. Keep it on the grind. Um, yeah, the sweat catchers. <laughs> Yo, she's got an Apple Watch. Let's mug her. Oh my god, that's like when I stole someone's uh, Apple Watch from the streets. Looks down at my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I gave you, yeah. <laughs> da -da -da. All right, well. <laughs> she looks. We both just. <laughs> what? It's kind of beautiful. In a majestic, like, statuesque kind of way, looking up at her. In her majesty. She looks the light so beaming down on her. With me. This is, like, what I'm scared of. I feel, like, I feel like multiple people in this chat are probably going to masturbate to that idea of a giant woman looking down, disappointed like that at them. Not me. This is my fucking ultimate fear. I'm just, like, gonna walk up to her at this height and be like, Heh, room for one more. She's gonna look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, here we are. This is pretty spooky. Are you guys spooked yet? You spooked out yet? Oh, guys, my god. oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. Do we said uh. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can we, uh... White people! Ah! Oh my god, I screamed and beer got scared. You better be scared, bitch. Where is this, by the way? Like, where do you think this is? Oh, Some it's right white here. place. Volcano Brewing Company. Where is this? This has to be California. In California. Oh, I can't even tell. I bet all Palm my money Beach? that this is California. Yep. Yeah. So what? Where? What is this? Goose flirting. Don't you hey, zoom hey, out? hi. Goose Can I come a in you? Wait. No, up uh, pisses. What? Sorry. I only do that around pretty ladies. <laughs> so, what? Okay. Protector of poop. Thanks for the hundred bits. It's uh. No, <laughs> read what they said. It was funnier in the TTS. I can't see it. Why can't you see it? I thought you cared. I don't know. I literally can't see it. Oh, goose flirting. Hey, <laughs> hey, hi. Can I come in you? Wait, no, well, uh, pisses. Sorry, I only do that around pretty ladies. <laughs> I don't know why I can't see your chat. It's like not popping up for me. It's like broken. My chat's okay. On my end, dum dum. There, I fixed it. I don't say mine is mine. Is this really Stupid. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. What? Da -na 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 -na. Wait, we should go um that Pico, way. Do you think <laughs> Do you think we'll still be small? Dude, is this like... Mexico? Are they uh -huh. Oh no, hell no. This is like Mexico, ain't it? Hold on. Where is this? Do you think we'll still be small if we like move it around? No. Like, do you think he'll jump off of the table and, like and be super scared? Ah! <laughs> Panama. And we'll run around this hair this whole area and it's all giant. <laughs> this whole area. Shut up! Why are you so mean to me? I'm leaving. No, no, no. You're fine. Where am I? It's just like nothing but like Spanish words. I'm getting really fucking scared. <laughs> Playa de Leon. Okay. Nope. Okay, what if sorry, I just... Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> nope, sorry, Mexican. <laughs> oh, I can finally zoom out, Jesus. Oh, I was in oh Costa God, Rica. Go. Oh. Costa Rica! Ay, ay, ay! Ah, foreign! Ah! Yeah, okay, so they were just like infiltrating, you know, enemy territory. It looks beautiful, though. <laughs> it does look beautiful. It enemy really territory? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let's explore Costa Rica for a bit. It's foreign. That's scary. Playa Tamarindo? This is not where they were. This is not the place they even think about going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's more like it. The gentrified cross the street area. Oh, yes. Oh, fucking yes it is, isn't it? Well. This is what it... What the fuck? Aww. It changed like... Where are we? Oh. It's like a mirage. You're stuck. You're stuck <laughs> south of the border. And you Wait. see like, oh, oh, look. Finally, civilization. And then it's, <laughs> this is what, it's white people mirage. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's like oh, the Starbucks. Oh my god! Beautiful star. I'm then, saved. <laughs> and then he gets closer. It says like Pablo's Cafe. He's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm still in this owl hole. <laughs> oh, excuse oh me. God. Excuse me. Do you have anything vegan? Okay. Oh God. <laughs> These animals. These savages. <laughs> wow. Caucasian phantom. <laughs> <laughs> Caucasian Phantom Organa. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually like kind of creepy. I'm not even joking. Look, this is not a bit anymore. Look how impoverished this place looks. Look, like there's not like a lot going on, and then like this beautiful looking white people only cafe. <laughs> it's Gosh. called White Lotus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this house where they clearly live and nobody's allowed. And they have a little landing pad on top so, like, white people don't actually have to land at the airport. That's actually white people flying away. Yeah. Like, white people have that power. This actually looks like a really nice neighborhood. Wow. I would like to see, like, a place half as Whoa. good as this in, like, where I live in Mexico. Is that a head? I go back. Head. Go back. What are you about? Go back. Did you right just now. point? I can't see you pointing. Yeah. No, turn around again. Mm, okay, okay, you're okay. Going back too far. Where are you? Where do you want me to go? Where do you go want me? Forward. Go forward. Go oh, forward. Ah, the sun's in my eyes. Okay, go forward. <laughs> go forward. Yeah. Go forward. I'm inching. You, look, look. Where? Go forward. To oh, right. that. That. The fuck is that? That's. It's like. Architecture or something. Whoa! That's really cool. Dude, he's literally like somebody took his big giant blunt that he was smoking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was Leon when he was describing <laughs> Silent Hill? Yeah. Dude, I was literally. out with a photographer friend and that motherfucker really said this is so aesthetic while taking pics of poverty. I wanted to fucking beat his ass. <laughs> this is so aesthetic. Yeah, that's literally every, like, white person that goes to Detroit, and they see all, like, the rubble yeah, of the like, fucking, whoa. like, riots and shit. They're like, this is so, like, perfect for photography. These streets go hard. I could see where the rap lyrics of, like, Eminem and, like, D9 <laughs> came you, from. I thought you were about to say, I could see where the rapplers come from. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? What? The rapplers. What the fuck are the rapplers? What is that? That's a Batman villain. What I'm the Rappler, yo. What are you saying? Because it sounded like that's what you said. <laughs> You're so crazy. I told you I'm Zooted Imp today. You have to deal with me. <laughs> I'm the Rappler. <laughs> <laughs> I rap yo. gifts for children. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I tried to <laughs> unbox this gift, Batman. There's a child in there. Rappler. Rappler, that's really What are you gonna stop? Why? <laughs> Why did you have to put twist ties on them and then also wrap them? And then also put them in an Amazon box? That's not You're cool, sick. man. <laughs> you know how hard it is. Why did you why did you wrap the entire box in duct tape? You know how long it's gonna take me to take it off. <laughs> and all you hear is just like God damn it. Inside you just hear Hang on! I'm trying! <laughs> Fuck, I can't. I'm <laughs> he bites his glove and takes it off. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> like, Fuck this, somebody's a battery. Ah, uh, uh, no, cheating. Oh, shit. Got me again. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Using tools isn't really unwrapping, now is it, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What's the new one called? The Batman? Yeah. I want, like, really intense. I love this movie. I'm gonna watch it again. It's great. It's really good. <laughs> Fuck, what were we doing again? Oh, you're spoiling stuff. it. Oh, no, no. Shit. Well, might as well get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? That's oh. a car. Use the tape that has reinforced fibers and the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so... Uh, that's actually terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. Damn it. Urgh. Like, you know what's funny? Every time I try to open those Amazon boxes, I can literally see my fucking bicep just, like, pop out. Like, <laughs> 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 the big vein come out. Yeah. 
Stark, thanks for the raid. Hi, guys. We're just exploring oh. spooky stuff. Well, not yet. We're just being stupid right now. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're exploring the spookiest place of all, the inner crevices of our mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was really well said. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, um, let's get out of here. Let's go to Whoa. actual spooky stuff. Huh? It's like heaven. <gasps> Everything's oh. super saturated. I don't see anything oh. foreign at all. Oh no, what is that? I don't know. All right. It's like a penis. A penis. A ah, penis. Oh my god, we're in Metal Gear Solid 3 now. It's crazy how you can just like go one block down and then like all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah. All of a sudden it's. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> or like in the morning you just hear. that noise. Yippee! You don't just go one block down, you even go like three social classes down. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Oh, it's horrible. Dead hats, thanks for raiding. How you guys doing? Again, we're Hi! just we're just being spooky guys. Well not really, we're just like like I don't we're know. We're warming up. We're warming up. Like this We're lady role playing is. Batman. You guys are role playing? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the nukes have gone off <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! It's terrifying. What the fuck? That's the sign. Internet, we spat today. Uh, thanks for the sub, Dead Hats. I'm sorry your internet was horrible today. Um, get out of there fast. Uh, did you like the intro to Fallout 4? Um, it was pretty cool. It was scary. Yeah? I thought it was okay. I just was so unimpressed with that game that I don't think about it ever. Yeah. Have you tried modding it? Dude, I modded it one time uh, to the point where it became like a spooky horror game because it, it became like... Uh, like the, the lighting was super realistic so you couldn't see shit in front of you when it was nighttime. It was dope. I right. actually liked it. That's the thing about Bethesda games, they're actually really good once you actually fix them. Yeah, you just have to use them as like a base and then add a bunch of shit. Yeah. That's a real game creator. Game maker. Alright, well, let's uh, get out of here. And go to an actual spooky place. France. <gasps> ah! <gasps> okay, so this is unfortunate. We actually really want to- oh my god, look at those. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Scared. They're looking at the camera. Are they really? Yeah. Oh my god. Look, they're all standing there, like, waiting. Who does this? Creepy people. Old people. That's who does it. Yeah. You ever gone to, like, old an, people. You ever gone to, like, an old person's house and they have, like, porcelain figures of everything that ever existed? It's, like, really creepy. Yes. That sucks. Why, why did it And do it that? smells weird. Yeah, it's got that old people smell. Ugh. That near death experience. You can smell, smell their skin, yeah. Like, you're in... <laughs> You know what I mean? You can uh -huh. genuinely smell their skin. What the fuck? What is that mutated. What is that? <laughs> That's like three coats. <laughs> it's like a. <laughs> That's a Coca Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you better not steal my Coca 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 Cola. <laughs> Once you're done here, you should go to Sacre That's the place in John Quick. Alright, so this is actually what we want to show you guys, but it got centered extremely, as you can tell, super heavily. Isn't that crazy, guys? Look at that. That's really scary. You scared yet? No? Well, this is what I want to show, actually. It's it's this little infamous photo, uh, right here. Yeah. It's really this spooky, photo. and uh, unfortunately we can't see it anymore. <laughs> That's it. Why did we go here if it's just blurred out? And uh, I hope you guys got scared. Did... <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that was really scary. Why did you even include? I th I don't know. I thought it was interesting. I was gonna show it. I was gonna just show it. <laughs> She's laughing at me the way I fucking 
show my content. You guys like it, right? You guys are scared? Look, Stark is fucking shitting himself, look. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's scary. Oh. What in the no, fuck? No, it is, is weird that they blurred it out, honestly. Like, I, I, my theory is that the owners of the house don't want, like, since everybody in the, on the internet goes here on Google Maps, they probably complained about it or whatever. And so they're fine. Well, your house doesn't exist anymore. And they blurred their house out in real life. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It must be fucking annoying. Mm. <laughs> I like how, uh, Satan's. Well, first of all, Satan's, thank you. Thank you for showing your appreciation. Thank you for showing us Goose. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Secondly, someone says, What's a big vibrator? That doesn't look anything like a vibrator. It's like a slug. I mean, okay, yeah, it does. And now that I look at it, yeah, okay, I can see it. Like, one of those, like, it goes on your clit and it goes inside at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Stark, thanks for subbing. Uh, okay, well, let's get out of here. First of all, wait, oh, wait, 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 go back, go back. Wait, that scared wait. me. What? Wait. Wait, 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 go back. What? Don't go back the way you just went. Wait, I just wanted to see if I could, like, go... Oh, oh, it's a little uncensored. It's a little uncensored. Wait, okay. No, never mind. Alright, where do you want to go? What, what's up? It's too late. It's gone now. No, it's not gone. What are you talking about? It's gone now. What is gone? What? What are you talking Nothing. about? Nothing. What? Oh, wait! I found Nothing. it! Wait, I found it! Oh, it's right there! Oh, shit. There it is. That's the there one. There was. Oh, God, it ran away. Escaped. Oh, this is this music's actually really working for that. Where'd it go? There it goes on its getaway bike. <laughs> no! <laughs> there he is. There he is going. <laughs> no, get it. Wait, twenty thirteen maybe? That's so sad. They took down the little critter. What? Why did they have that on their their house? To be honest, that's what I look like whenever I, like, wake up in the morning. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> that's what it looked like today. That's why I hid from the person knocking on the door. You wanna tell that story? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's, okay. It's what a kid does. Like, I can't believe you did that. Shut up. It's what I did when I was a kid. Wait, look at the ground. Oh my god. Roads. No. Oh. What? Never mind. Oh my anyway, so <laughs> my I, I woke up this morning not feeling very good, to put it lightly. Yeah. Um. And my hair is like a crazy mess, and like my, uh, and my, uh, you know, I, I'm just wearing a giant sweater and nothing else, and I just don't feel good and presentable, and I'm just sitting in my living room, and suddenly some man in a fluorescent vest walks up and knocks on my door and rings the doorbell. He's like, hello. And I literally, like, my eyes got really big, my ears pinned back, and I hid under a blankie in, in the in the living room until he went away. Yeah. That's the story. That actually <laughs> happened. Yeah, well, I didn't want to be seen or answer the door. So I hid. She, she <laughs> didn't want to answer the door. Because she thought she was going to look good. No, no, yeah. you know what? That's valid. That's fucking valid. I get it. You hid like a I rat. I scurried away. Yeah. No, I hid like an imp. You do that too? You guys need to literally learn <laughs> to answer <laughs> doors. It's not a good thing. Can we not go there? I hid away. I run deeper into the house. <laughs> <laughs> I run really far into my infinite maze of a house, and I get so deep that I get lost forever. This, um... This is the music that she heard while she was running away from the door. Yeah. The door was chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Raven Rock Mountain. No, it's not. This isn't? No, it is. What is that? Oh, God. That's literally, like, the fucking Stranger Things creature. Oh, yeah, the Stranger Thing. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> um, okay, well, this is Raven Rock. There you go. So, okay. 
you show me this, you said it was like, this is literally where humanity is supposed to go when the nukes drop, would you say? Yes, yes. And we can actually look in there too. Um, How do we this look is in there? This is supposed to be where everybody escapes to if we get an alien invasion or, uh, or nukes drop. If I ask nicely, this is where we go. If I ask nicely during the apocalypse, will they let me in? The CIA says no. This is where the elite hope to hide from the wrath of God. If you have to ask if you will be allowed in, then you probably need to start examining your own soul. If you believe, oh my you God, even chill. Have one, there is no place to hide from the Almighty. He alone creates. He alone can destroy. Everything else is a lie. This is what Kai Sanat was saying to Lil Nas today. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Can you just, like, chill? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. They're so angry at this person asking. <laughs> Have you ever played Fallout 4? Do you know the scene in the beginning where you go into Vault 111? If, and you pass the people begging to get in? It will be like that. Wise words. Yeah. Hi, Cordy. Cordy, hello. I missed you, Cordy. Give me a big hug. Um, let's protect the Illuminati. Oh, shut the fuck up. Illuminati so 2008. Shut up. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> that it's not fashionable anymore. Yeah. No, but they had a thing that showed you could like walk through it. Hmm? Where? So let's like actually look at it instead of dumb people talking about it. How do I how do I do that? <laughs> drop the little man. I can't drop the little man. Like in here? I was told you can explore it. No, that's just a neighborhood. That's what they want you to think. Oh, this is inside. That's wouldn't that be fucking like really crazy if you go inside this complex and it looks exactly it looks like, like the outside world? Yeah. I would have questions about the outside world. <laughs> Yeah, or I don't know. Yeah, how do y'all? I hope your day's been going good. Yeah, my day's going great. <laughs> my day has been um, heating pads and pills. Yeah, <laughs> poor girl. <laughs> Ow. Let's see. Made Ooh. stir fry, bro. That sounds so good right now. This is crazy. Genuinely, why are there houses next to this place? These are like it's normal. Just where they live. I know, but it's like it's like normal human houses right next to like where the end of the world is gonna like take place. Is they get front row seats? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of um, World of Warcraft, because it, there are places that look completely normal, and then you travel a little bit further down the road, and then it'll it'll just be like an invisible wall that you can't go to. Yeah, this makes you think of World of Warcraft. Yeah, it's like supposed to be like a raid. I tried to search up Raven Rock Mountain and I got Raven Team Leader ass. <laughs> of course he did. That's like your Twitter. God, she's got a nice ass. The Plaguelands, yeah. Old. Is it really old to play World of Warcraft now? New yes. kids, new kids get into World the of Warcraft. The game's so old. Hey, ki hey, fellow kids. Gen Alpha, you want to get into World of Warcraft? Fuck, fuck, uh, Final Nights at Freddy's. Okay, but go up to the gate again. Let's. Why? I mean, there's nothing here. Let's go to the gate room. Just. To, I just want to like see how much we can see of it. Apparently, we can't actually go look inside of there like I was lied to. But I do we can wanna... peep around in there. Well, That's all you get. They don't go up to it. Mm -mm. That's the entrance. What the fuck? So, okay, I, we haven't even properly explained what this is. Well, we kind of did. But yeah, this is like essentially the place people, they just said people, they don't know so what kind of people. Yeah. People go to when um, a major event is happening in the United States. Uh, so like it, it nukes dropping. Basically, let's be real, this is for like the, the government elites and shit. And it's probably also for like really, really rich people that bought a place. Yeah. It's not for like everybody these people that live right next to it probably are just gonna watch everybody go in yep probably get like shot to death if they try to go in themselves which is weird why they live here you know what i'm gonna say this i think people that live here are most likely military dudes generals and stuff high ranking could be because there's no way they're just gonna look at how beautiful these houses are and also oh 
And also, like, I don't think they'll just allow civilians to live so close to it. I don't know. Like, yes and no. It could just be a really long generation of, like, multi-generational family type thing where they lived there since before they built it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Uh. Cordy says he can get in there, or they can get in there. My dad works there. He said he'd let me in. Okay. <laughs> well, Cordy's one that's of the what, elites. That's, that's Cordy at the gate telling them. It's it's all those, <laughs> it's it's the rigging, you know. They need a, yeah. a YouTuber modeler. <laughs> when inevitably uh, Biden or or Trump or whoever is the president uh, needs to bring out the VTuber model. <laughs> I'm okay. Can you imagine if we had a president that's a cute VTuber anime girl instead of a president, like that's an old just... white man? Yeah, I made Biden's VTuber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their AI president. Um, okay. You're just describing Fallout at this point. Yeah, but not as cute. Okay. Kawaii Fallout. Okay, next. Next. Okay. I'm so bored. Let's look away. So, as you can see, guys, there's a very beautiful, like, it's actually genuinely very beautiful, this little road. Yeah, it's we're, super nice. We're in um, Colombia, I think. It's no, nice. we're in Puerto Gaitan. And it's cool and whatever. But if we go back in time. Whoa, it's 2015. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of magical stuff is here? This is the pre Trump era. Yeah. And uh, just going down the road, you see a lot of people over there. Oh, let's really, like, bump up the volume. You see a lot of people over there, you're like, huh? What's going on? <laughs> this should be fine, right? Totally yeah. normal thing happening. Everybody's riding. Oh, 2014. And then they all disappear. And then they all disappear. They got eaten, guys. No, I'm just kidding. We're back here. Swallowed up. <laughs> swallowed up. Have you ever <laughs> been swallowed? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, and this is where things get a little weird. Lots of people are here. A lot of motherfuckers are here. Uh huh. Why are they here, Goose Boost? They're here oh, because. Oh, what's that curious little blurred blob over there? Because of that. <laughs> There's literally a dead body on the road. Why'd they just keep this in? <laughs> I literally, I don't know. I have no idea. They could, they have the power to just remove it and just have the 2014 thing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, to get a little bit more graphic, which we won't show it, but you can actually see, like, the foot right there. Yeah. I'm not going to zoom in too much, but, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Like, you can see the body right there. <laughs> Just everyone's watching. That's really watching. scary. Everyone's watching. They're all trying to figure out what the fuck to do with the body. Yeah. Wow. I love how guys, when they want to seem serious, they have like their their arms crossed. Like, <laughs> hmm, dead body. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> what is with that? That's like that's across the world. Really. Yeah, that's, it really that's is. Universal. I just did it right now. I felt really manly. Yeah. Wait, yeah. let me try it. Hmm. Look! Look Don't at these. Seem manly. <laughs> yeah, you seem very manly. <laughs> hmm. You're real tough. Let's go, bros. Yeah, bro. Let's go look at a dead body, bro. <laughs> this is me, and this is Choco. Yeah. <laughs> That's us right now. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm not white. <laughs> they need a hug, so they're hugging themselves. You know what? Aww. Probs. But yeah, that's that's just scary. I don't know why they kept this in. You know, it's fucking weird. It's such a serene and beautiful, like, area. Like, they were building the road during this point. And there was just like a murder here. God. Oh my god, hold on a second. Both of you cross your arms right now. On three, say which arm is on top. Okay. Uh, one, one, two, two three. Three. Left. Left arm. You didn't say it on time. Oh, I have to say it on time. Oh. That's no, okay. Is your left arm really on top yeah, also? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it was on top, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're just lying. No, I genuinely it was on top. I don't. I I can't even imagine it being on top. My right arm being on top of my left arm. 
No, I, it feels weird. I gotta do it the other way. I don't even know how to cross my arms that way. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. No, it doesn't huh. feel right. That wasn't scary. That was just a homicide. Next. <laughs> <laughs> next. All right, all right. What do we have next? We, we saw a dead body, guys. Dead body, yay! Hasn't even been an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. The Isle of Snakes. Can we even explore this? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we can. Huh? Are you serious? Uh. I'm sorry. It no, lied okay. to me. That's okay. Let's see if there's any photos. I, there's not, pictures of snakes. There's pictures of snakes. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. This might be interesting. Also, I had a weird and possibly ghostly encounter at work. I went into the biohazard room to dispose of some trash, and I was setting up a new trash can. A bunch of the lids we used for sharp containers just went flying off the shelf and into the floor. Uh, not necessarily paranormal, but I have no idea how to explain it. And other people have had much stranger encounters where I work. What the fuck? Ah! That's scary. You work at a hospital? Yeah, do you work at a hospital? Biohazard stuff, right? So that's hospital shit. Right? Is there nothing playing? No, no, I just- I have the screen, uh, at Baby Corner right now. They can't hear the music, I guess. Oh, is it really that low? Oh. We should put on some fun road trip jams. Alright, what's some road trip jams? Search up road trip jams Nintendo. Okay. Okay. Joyful commute. Yeah. Wow. This is really gay. Come on, Goose. It's just you and me. We have to chase the stars. Let's go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you, Goose. I'm happy to be here with you too, bestie. Wow. Ah. <laughs> it's like I can see the stars in your eyes. Your motivation is inspiring me. This is, uh, this is really fucking homosexual. <laughs> This is us if we actually liked each other. <laughs> <laughs> is that a drawing of my eyes? Oh well, yeah, it's part of it. That's because your eyes are so sick. Let's go to Bohemian Grove, bestie. <laughs> you and me. We're gonna meet the we're gonna meet the Illuminati together. Oh my god, Bohemian Abs oh my god. Is there stuff for you? I don't know why. I thought it said Bohemian Anime. Bohemian Anime? It's because it starts with the A and ends with the E. Oh, uh, you got it. Whoa, bestie. Uh, I can't believe it, blushes. Fuck. That's right. I almost called you Midoriya. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Midoriya. Yeah. I, I think we could really go far in the Bohemian Society. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Where am I? Okay, why is the lighting different? <laughs> wow, this makes everything splendid. Oh my goodness. I'm happy to be around you guys. I cherish all the memories we share together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should I should try to be like a, an anime voice actress. Yeah, it's it's easy. <laughs> okay, well we're at the Bohemian Grove. Is this it? That's a grove. That's a grove, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the music wow. that was playing for all of them when they were here. Oh, I love this music. Isn't this the bike mm -hmm. from Pokemon Emerald? Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire. Wow. So far, a lot of these are duds, and I'm sad. Can we not, like, go through and look more at this? No, we just Can we look at it, like, top down at least? It's okay, we gotta go through duds before we get into can you like, suds. Yeah, I was like, can you like look at the actual thing instead of the map? 
Oh, so that's where it's supposed to. No, that's right just a here. tree. Okay, zoom out. Okay. Gotta see if we can find their little hideout. Can we really not go that far in here? That is suspicious that it just like sort of stops right here, huh? Right. Well, okay, if you guys don't know, the Bohemian Grove is pretty much where um, spooky things occur. Hold on. Uh, it's where basically, allegedly, where a bunch of uh, some of America's biggest elites and richest dudes came to gather, uh -huh. uh, gathered around a fucking owl statue just to Moloch. worship it. Moloch. Just to worship it and to, like, uh... Just to give it sacrifices and drink virgin blood and all that shit. This really did happen, but, like, it's kind of... Like, it, it's hard to say if this really... God, this music is fucked up. It's really... <laughs> it's really hard to say if, like, there really is Replace a secret it. society of shit. Huh? Place it with something that you like better. The Day of Night by Silent Hill. Day of Night? Oh, you remember the name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sure, I'll put Day of Night. It's Day of Night. Yeah. I'll just put this on for a little bit while I'm explaining this. But yeah, there's like... Basically, it's, it's this club where a bunch of these dudes just gather around during the summer and like just... Have dinner together and they're jerk each other off. They really do. I mean, it's it's kind of weird. Yeah, but it's like they an got old together. Society. Uh, it's so weird. And they did awful ritualistic things. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. And Mario's crying blood. Um. Ugh. Where is it? There's, like, footage of the Bohemian Grove. Like, Alex Jones snuck in and actually recorded, quote-unquote, uh, like, yeah. them doing stuff. Oh, where is it? Search footage? footage. Yeah. Maybe we can do this. Hold up. Oh, it's a bubble. I have no hair on my head. It was taken by the Bohemian Grove. Here, <laughs> I'll look it up. He's so bald. I'm the secretary imp. She's the imp. Too long to the rain, it's rich people shit. It, it is weird rich people shit, basically. God, he's so perfectly bald. It's crazy. I swear I remember seeing him sneak into one of those meetings. No, he did! There, There's, like, Bohemian Grove, like... Ritual? The owl is Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom, identified with the Greek Athena, uh, the Eustress of the Wonderful, and Kalanat. Uh... <laughs> the Egyptian... Sorry, I can't fucking pronounce shit. The Egyptian Neith and Celtic Brigantia, etc., Minerva, especially in her guise as the Owl, is especially revered by Freemasons. And pretty much all the revolutionaries that founded the U.S. were Freemasons. Oh. So it's the Wait, Illuminati. I found something. Yeah? This is perfect. Here. Okay. This is what we were trying to do on Google Maps, but better. Bohemian Grove infiltration. Ooh! Hell yeah. This is great. Do we really want to hear this guy talk? It's interesting. He doesn't... I don't know if... Does he talk that much? Uh, it's like a secret cult. <laughs> deep in the Redwoods, where they host super private meetings. Full screen that shit. Presidents have been here. Super powerful <laughs> people. With tons of money. The plan is to infiltrate the site and see what's going on. I want to see the owl statue. We'll see if we can get in. The sun is about to set. I don't really feel comfortable doing this. 
probably involved in the Navy. I mean, these are all rumors, but... So quirky. I'm not gonna explore too much, I'm definitely gonna try to see the guys actually. The way it's moving makes me think of, uh, the Yeah. Oh, And the sights. Really long time ago, but they did. Okay, so... I guess there really is some stuff he's gonna show. I mean, when you, when you, uh, I had my mugshot taken. Alex Jones, he like snuck into the site a really long time ago. Yeah, so this is the Alex the Jones camera. footage. No, this isn't the footage. No, this is right here. Yeah. For behold, all the frogs? The yeah. Oh my god, those are the gay frogs he was talking about. Holy shit, no wonder he hates frogs. <laughs> All so, that really looks like to me is a bunch of goofy weird people having a goofy weird time. Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. The gay frogs converging. Thanks, Juicy Snipes, for uh, gifting a, a sub to Poppy so he doesn't have to see the ads anymore. I appreciate it. Um, okay, this is the thing. Alex Jones is Alex Jones, right? <laughs> so yeah. I, I, I've questioned this a lot. Uh, as a kid, I, I ate it up, like, seriously, because obviously I was a kid. Yeah. But nowadays I'm just like, okay, what was this really? What was this actually? I have a feeling, because these guys look like just normal people. <laughs> like, really. Right. They don't look like elites or anything like that. I'm assuming there was probably just like an actual open invitation to the Grove. Um, and they just performed like this sort of, like, I don't know, uh, ritual that came from like, you know, old shit. Like the Freemason stuff. And they just like did it in front of... Normal civilians. And he just sold it off as, like, he snuck into the Grove. While the I snuck were. in. People, I mean, they still do it to this day. There's still, like, rich dudes and government officials that do this. They still go to the Grove. Um, but this just looks like an open invitation. I don't, I don't think it's as nefarious as he first said. Right. I was a big InfoWars fan. Yeah, I was. <laughs> All right, let's put back the... Uh, Scary music. Oh, wait, no. Gal had a good idea, actually. This is like a good mini middle ground. Yeah. Ten hours, sure. I love this song so much. I love this temple. This is... Oh, my God. This is like the coolest temple in the whole fucking series. It really is. I love how like you can um look up whenever you're in like the main area and you look and it's the sky. Like you're still in the dungeon, but there's a part yeah. of the dungeon where you go in and you, and you look up in the sky and it's like the night sky. It's so cool. Oh, anyway. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. That whole game is so fucking cool, even to this day. Right. I'm still fascinated that they have a day and night cycle. That's crazy to me. Yeah, seriously. It's actually really fitting music. <laughs> it really goes really yeah. well with this, yeah. <laughs> Choka described that like an excited drooling kid. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. Shut up. Let her let her have her fun. Mm. They're so mean to me. No, don't pay attention to them. They're, They're so mean. They see woman and think, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Phono's here, though. I didn't know Phono's here. Hi. Phono's been here. <laughs> you knew Phono was here. Did I? Mm-hmm. Hi. And for oh my gosh. Jeez, thanks for the five-tier subs. Congrats, Spoom. Doki Doki Oreo. <laughs> 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 my cousin Vinny, Melga, and Dieter Dead Dog. Congrats, guys. Thanks, Ample. Dieter Dead Dog. Doki Doki Oreo is funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is, by the way, this is running at like two times speed, so. Oh, he's getting abducted live! Holy shit. It's him going into the forest temple. Yeah. Of Moloch. This is literally the area that you're this talking about. Bad. <laughs> God, I can barely <laughs> see shit, by the way. I know, so I'm saying this footage is bad. Yeah. Let's go a little further. Moloch dungeon boss? What is that? There's oh, a fuck. fucking cabin illuminated in the middle of the forest, like the woods? That's weird. That is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's most likely someone's constructing a cabin in the woods, but like... I don't know, that's still... Like, just, just like the history of this forest makes it ten times scarier. Right? So, yeah, like... The missing the... teleporter cabin? What? So, like I said, Alex Jones might have gone to, like, a public opening where they did, like, the rituals and stuff. But, like, the real rituals, the elite stuff, is... You know, they went there and they, like, drink virgin blood, they sacrifice kids. You know, they have, you know, pedophilic shit happening... Like Epstein Island, but in a forest, basically. Epstein Forest. It's not proven, but... I think fucking celebrities have gone here, too. And yeah. Jay-Z. Suspy. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, too, uh, women aren't allowed in the uh, grove. Yeah, no, it's a men's only thing. Yeah. Figures. I'm pretty sure Alex Jones was uh, psyoped hard by the U.S. government. He'll mention one thing that's probably true. The gay frogs were verified by a study. Really? <laughs> he was talking about Epstein <laughs> before everyone else. But then he'll mention like 10 things that are obviously bullshit. School shootings, yeah. Disguised and repackaged anti-Semitic propaganda. Evil vampire bot belly goblins that work for Hitler. Yeah. You know what? The CIA got him, man. Rest in yeah, peace, they Alex Jones. His brain. Where is he? Wait, where the fuck is he now? Is he like in the Grove's kitchen? <laughs> the way the way it's sped up two times looks like he's frantically trying to escape something. I know, and with the music playing and shit. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> fuck. Oh fuck. Happy last day. Oh god. Oh my god, that does say happy last day. Jesus fucking Christ, this is weird. Oh fuck. <gasps> this dude is playing the what? new Silent Hill game, IRL. Yeah. It's actually exciting. I love this one. Yeah, wow. Wasn't Epstein already convicted for uh, as a pedophile for a long time before the Allen stuff? Should we just yeah, play this sure. at like normal speed now? Um, do you really want to hear what he's saying? Like or I'm curious. Or it's... he's probably just gonna be like, wow, what the heck is that? Yeah, like oh, dude, what I is hear this? this this is where they put the children in like <laughs> they they spun around the stew with the children in them. It was like a huge, comically large pot for children. This is where the adults go in and they come out children. Yeah, yeah. Tripping on smelling salts. Um, no, I think it's better if it's just like sped up. I don't think he has really anything to add. Uh, unless, I mean, we could try it. Let's see. Thanks for following Beepers VT. Oh, beepers. Hi, beepers. Hi, beepers. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> God. That's exactly what I was saying. Yep. He really is saying that. <laughs> Hello, this Goose is and like... Choco. Hi. Hi, beepers. This Goose is like, um, <clears throat> that one video of, um, of the mall with the, the big creature, the giant. Ooh, that smells. The giant? Yeah, yeah, it is, right? Um, oh gosh, I, I keep forgetting what the series is called. The one by Kane Pixels. Yeah. Ho hope you two are doing good. Oh, well, we're doing. I'm doing fine. Poor little choke, though. It's not been a great day for her. <laughs> Hasn't been. Period. <laughs> She's going through it, but I hope I'm hoping this is uh, helping out. Yeah. Oldest view, right? Uh, oldest view. Oh. 
Thank you, beepers. Thanks, beepers. I'm good now. I took pain pills. This is apparently the yeah, she did. I'm zooted. It's like super, super low. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. What would you do shit. if um? What would you do if like he like turned around a corner and I was in there? In this video? Yeah. I would literally like question why you're in the grove and also why you didn't tell me. <laughs> why didn't you tell me? <laughs> oh, that's the actual statue. Holy shit. Did you see it for a sec? This music fits all. Oh, what the fuck? That's just, is that his breath or did he fart? Like, that's his breath. <laughs> oh, it's his breath. This, uh, this music is perfect for that. Look at that. Yeah, he's literally in the forest temple. New nesting spot for Choco unlocked. Yeah, <laughs> nesting spot. I want to bump it up, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Gal. This is really fitting. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> wow. I sure am glad Google Maps lets us check this out. Yeah. You know what's th that's it's fine as long as we can find videos of these. I'm really okay with just watching the videos. Yeah. You've been a good secretary so far. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, of course, I'm the best. <laughs> hmm. Even though before we started the stream, she was like, I'm nobody's secretary. I did say that. <laughs> she did say that. How'd you He's guys... got to press down on the offering thingy. This is... He doesn't know. Really crazy. Oh, yeah, you know this cult stuff. Yeah, you're familiar. Yeah. And then the secret stairway will open. But he's just a civilian, just a stupid human. He doesn't know. Yeah. Gosh, imagine he presses something in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, how crazy are you? Would you want to explore this with me at night? Because <laughs> I would. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> so it looks really cold. Well, obviously we're going to go through this in the summer. When... Didn't you have to go in a little boat? You're right, he did. He actually, like, yeah. Oh my god, how crazy are we? Ooh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'd go on here in a little boat. Would y'all go urban exploring? It depends. What the fuck? It really depends. I don't really feel safe urban exploring, like, hospitals and, like, that kind of stuff because those are With crumbling. With a lady present? With a lady? Yeah, I, I would feel bad for Choke, genuinely. <laughs> like th that's not that's not a place you bring friends. <laughs> but hey, if I have any other fucking participants with guns, you know, I'll be down. Subathon goal: explore Bohemian Grove. Jesus, <laughs> commit an illegal crime. I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to be here. Yeah, this is probably trespassing to some degree. Oh, it absolutely is. A thousand percent. Oh, so hi, Boot. How you doing? How's Silent? How's Flooded Silent Hill treating you? Hold on one second. Sure. Is this urban exploration? So, okay, if you're just tuning in, basically, we found a guy who went to Bohemian Grove. If you don't know what Bohemian Grove is, too long to don't read. It's where rich elite people go and do shady rich elite people stuff. No girls allowed. We don't know what they really do. They always claim they're just eating dinner, having food, and talking, whatever. But many people have allegedly claimed that they, like, sacrifice people and drink virgin blood and, and you know, summon uh, a fucking god. Cult shit, basically, for the rich. But, um... Who knows? And so, so another Epstein Island? Basically, it's, it's existed for, like, a hundred-something years. I bet Bootleg will be telling us right now all about Bohemian Grove. If he knows anything. But, uh, yeah. It's existed for like a hundred years for now. God, did you hear that? Did you guys fucking hear that? 
Did you hear that? I know it was a car, but it scared the shit out of me. I heard oh, something go. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it was a car. Bootleg, the free online encyclopedia. Yeah. We're proud to announce Epstein Island 2, Epstein Forest. Probably Biro. She's asleep, and I can see her in the corner of my eye, asleep. Is it the FBI? Yeah, maybe. So hyped for the sequel. Yeah. This grass looks really nice. <laughs> FB... <laughs> FB room, yeah. Grass looks fake, yeah. Am I gonna get jump scared? No? Question mark? Maybe? <laughs> Boom. They have Listerine here. Sorry, she jump scared you guys. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Ah! <laughs> How would you react if you just, uh, if you saw there me? There's somebody in, in here taking a shit. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. oh my hey, god. Excuse me. Did I ever tell the story of my stupid asshole cousin, like, walking in on my dad taking a shit? Uh, no. So, I think it was during a wedding. No, it wasn't during the wedding. It was, um, Something else. Oh, what was it? Uh, well, whatever. It didn't matter. We were all... It was a large family gathering. And... Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello? Sorry, somebody put on the, the knock sound effect. Oh. Um, what the fuck? That scared me so bad. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Too bad I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. She, oh, it <laughs> would absolutely scare the shit. It scares you, doesn't it, though? You tell me that. I literally... Well, it's because, like, I was, like, passing out the other day. And then suddenly, I thought it was, like, a real knock, and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> In my chair. Um, no, okay. So, what was I saying? That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> sorry, Cordy. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Cordy. People are trolls. I'm sorry. Then again, I do have it as a redeem, so. <laughs> my bad. Uh, well, well, anyways, so it was a big family gathering. Everybody was using the bathroom, um, but at the moment, it seemed like nobody was really home except for me and a few cousins and like some uncles and aunts, whatever. Um, that wasn't the whole family; it was just a few of them. And my cousin, he wanted to use the bathroom, so he went into the bathroom and didn't knock at all, even though everybody's been using the fucking bathroom all fucking day. So you probably would want to knock and check first. He did it, yeah. and he opened the door. And then my dad, who was taking a shit, and it was the morning, so he probably didn't have his teeth in. He was like, eh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And my cousin was like, oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> and then they closed the door and then just walked away. And we, we all heard him, like, the most white person response. Oops, sorry. <laughs> to my dad, who doesn't speak English. <laughs> In fact, nobody does. Fucking idiot. We started- we made fun of him to this day. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> At the same time, why didn't my dad lock the door? But still... I don't know. <laughs> you know what? My dad never locks the door. Yeah, wait, why was he taking a giant steamy shit and not locking the door? Because my dad's a fucking idiot too. <laughs> he doesn't do that even at home. And I've done that before. I've walked in on her. Man, Zombie this is too scary. Man, this is too scary. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah, no, my cousin should have just said, hey, room for one more. <laughs> room for one more? God, that killed me last night on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> You were really quick with that shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so 
this is some really stunning footage of nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. why I put him at two times speed. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself an asthma attack if I do that. <laughs> we still haven't figured out what that fucking instrument is, by the way. Oh, um. I don't know. It needs four times speed for real, yeah. Well, now it's releasing tonight. Jump so hard, I, I came in here just to say that. Sorry. Wait, who? No, you, one of your Lil viewers Nas. came in just to say that. Yeah. Lil Nas releasing tonight. Yo, Don't fuck worry. that dude. He made fun of the Jesus. How dare he? <laughs> Didn't you know God gave us free will just to not make fun of him? And to be constantly obedient and not question our religion? Whoa. Okay there, Reddit. <laughs> dude, look, this motherfucker had to get in a fucking canoe. Oh, fuck, a canoe. The, dude, I love Thanks. the rap on his canoe, though. It's pretty sick. That's a pretty cool rap, dude. Oh, the rappler. Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got every rap on this Fortnite. I can't Ooh. come back. <laughs> dude, this is at two times speed, and he looks super slow. Oh, my gosh. Are we watching? The Rappler infiltrate Bohemian Grove. <laughs> he really did take a canoe here. Damn. It's so scary. Yeah, wait, it is scary. This guy's really dedicated to the... To um, the bit. He's really dedicated to getting that footage of nothing. Yeah, it really is. Alright, that's enough of that. Can you that imagine, like... There's people just walking in and out. There's you didn't have to take a stupid canoe at all. <laughs> yeah, or you can just sneak by the gate. You just yeah. really don't have to do shit. Like who? Like what kind of security does this place have? It's a fucking forest. Really. Exactly. Yeah. All right. The Vatican secret archives. You told me, and I have a funny feeling we can't do this, but you told me. Yeah. That we can go into the Vatican archives. You just searched it up. Vatican Archives, Italy. Maps. Maps. Also, Goose, I found another banger survival horror. <gasps> what is it? Ooh. Is it the Vatican survival horror? <laughs> Survive the Vatican. <laughs> well, I guess this is kind of creepy. Ah, oh, Catholicism! Oh, Diablo! Uh... One of these are like the Vatican thingies, right? Wow, Gel sent me the actual sample source that they used for the um, Forest Temple music. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's called You Will Die Here Tonight. Evil Dies Tonight. Is it based on the Halloween? All right, this is stupid. Next. They don't let us walk around in the Vatican? No. The vat again. Oh, wait, no, they do. Wait, never mind. Why, why am I... Oh, now it stopped. <laughs> okay, that was it. This is the Vatican, guys. This is the Vatican. And uh, there's a lot of religious stuff here. Can oh, we look it's... at the art, though? It's really cool. Oh, okay. Uh... You should put on... Um, dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, what the fuck? Get out of my fucking head. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, no! What the hell? It's Mega Man Legends 2. Sulfur Bottom, that's what you're looking for. What the fuck? Why? Why did you know exactly what I was gonna say? That's scary. I don't know. <laughs> just I, I, you heard me start singing it. No, I didn't. I really didn't. And I started going. Da, 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 I didn't. Da, 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 da. I was already typing when you were like singing it. I mean, I know it's an actual song, but... Shut the fuck up! We were thinking of the same thing! <laughs> Holy shit! Are you serious? <laughs> no, they have that oh in the first game, too. God. They really do. They have that in the first game. What the fuck? <laughs> this is... That's so scary. This... <laughs> that's the out. scariest thing that's happened the whole fucking stream. <laughs> We've been hanging out way too fucking much. Mm. <laughs> 
Guys, I want you to know like how much we we've never even talked about the songs in this game at all. Mm-mm. We never Mm-mm. talked. We only talked about oh yeah, Mega Man Legends was a cool game. That's it. That's the most. That's di- why I'm so scared. We never even talked about the music. What the fuck? Why? That's okay. Whatever. That's freaking me out. Actually. <laughs> I believe I'm in a simulation now. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the song that's going through this guy's head. <laughs> also, you should full screen. Oh, is it not full screen? No, it's not full screen. Press F11. <laughs> okay. Go. To your right, drawings. Wow. Magnificent drawings of religion. Some poor artist drew this for like 16 years and, and then only died. got like this much done. He only got handed like a loaf of bread per week. He really, yeah, probably. <laughs> and probably broke his back or like his arm because humans aren't supposed to be drawing like this at all. Yeah. Dun, dun. Then died of lead poisoning. <laughs> yeah, look, that's his <laughs> coffin right there. Here lies the artist, whatever his name was. Who cares? Nobody knows. But he couldn't even was... draw anime. Yeah, right? I bet if they just had AI back then, they would have probably used that on the... <laughs> yeah, seriously. This is Spring from the Four Seasons Suite by Vivaldi. Uh, no it's not. It's from fucking Mega Man Legends Yeah, 2. motherfucker. Get off. Tubby Custard Overdose? <laughs> Tubby Custard? <laughs> <laughs> Where else can we bring this little fucker? Holy shit. Whoa, that's cool as fuck. I'm gonna go to Rome. Hey, what the fuck? They put a leaf over his cock. They did. What is this music? Relaxing? Oh, That's well. pretty nice. I like that. Yeah. Nipples. Nice. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when they built that. You know, I was the model for this one. It's true. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I lo- you know, the guy I lo- right there is like holding in the craziest fart. Which one? This one? No. This guy? Mm Mm-hmm. Did you point again? Yes. (laughs) No, it's okay. Mm. It's all right. It's all right. right. Mm. Okay, no. This is the thing I love, right? You can really see the people's reaction. Like, this is humanity in four different poses. This guy's literally not taking in the moment and just filming this shit. This guy is like yeah. starstruck. This man is about to write a fucking rap song based on what he's seeing. <laughs> and this dude he doesn't care. He's just this is a Tuesday for him. Mm-hmm. So pretty though. It is beautiful. This How dude's c- on his phone with his and other phone. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> do you think they have a little DSI downloadable thing in the Vatican like they did in uh the Louvre. Oh, I want to do that so bad. I really... Oh, that's so cool that they have the Nintendo DS, like, the 3DS Louvre tour. That's so cool. Can we look yeah. at that? Google Maps? Uh, sure. Can we go to the Louvre? Can. We still have it. That's cool. We don't actually have a DSi, though. Both of us. It's a 3DS. He said DSi. Go. I, I thought it was 3DS. Oh, wouldn't it be DSi, though, because of download play? 3DS has it, too, dum-dum. I don't know. Well, and it's not download play. They give you a cartridge. Oh, genuinely. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Guys, look, this is what Mega Man... You can buy the cartridge. Like, you can buy the game. It comes in a box. You guys, like, you ever I'm played... looking it up. You guys ever played Mega Man 500 BC? This is all the bosses he had to fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
stupid. And this is Dr. Wily's castle. I remember. Okay, um, I played Mega Man once. It made me more intelligent. I wish it made me funnier. Love when y'all share a brain cell. <laughs> <laughs> that was really genuinely scary. Really, really was. <laughs> we need to stop that. Yeah. We gotta stop that. Cockman stage. Da na 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 na. God, it's so pretty. I really do want to go to Rome one day. I would love to go to Rome too. Just for the historical value, I love the history. I love the art and the history. Yeah, me too. Jesus Christ, Jiminy Cricket was born here. I feel like I'll cry <laughs> if I actually came here. <laughs> I'd be so happy and I'd be eating my big giant pizza slice. <laughs> With your little 3DS <laughs> on the side. Yeah. With your headphones plugged in. <laughs> I love going to museums and monuments and shit, not gonna lie. <laughs> Why do you sound... I don't know, Strad, you sounded like a bridge kid for a sec. Yeah, man, I love going to museums and monuments and shit, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's like real tight, real cool. Yeah, like, like we out here like learning knowledge and shit from like the past. Yeah, we so we can like, yeah, we we out here like being sophisticated and shit like for the ladies, you know what I mean? Like, like yo, look at this, like a human made that, like no, ain't no machines back then, you know what I'm saying? That's almost as good as Nas, bro. Lil Nas, you know, For I don't, real. I don't Not respect Lil Nas. His, I don't respect his religious views, but you know, his music guy. <laughs> it's actually how I talk. I know, Strad. No, actually, you know what? I don't know, Strad, because I've never seen you sober. I genuinely think the only times we hung out is when you were drunk. Same, though. Actually, we were both drunk. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, does it say Peter? Dude, it says, let go my ego. What does it say, Peter? <laughs> I will do it again. Can you imagine, that, like, a really, really nice, like, Peter Griffin marble statue up on the wall? I, I'd fucking seriously... He's, would, like, naked. I would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be mad? That's, like, who put that there for a fucking meme? This is a s <laughs> historical... <laughs> the birth of Christ, like, bullshit, like, right here. But it's Peter. <laughs> and they put Peter with a leaf over his, like, penis. His penis. His, his eyelashes are, like, beautiful and Okay, flowing. so you're just describing the fucking Venus, like, recreation yeah. he made. Okay. Oh, cute <laughs> They really don't look happy together. <laughs> Come on, dude. I have a question. Why are them driving inside of me? Because we can go wherever we want in our little tiny car. Yeah, so fuck you! 1986 Wayne, Beanie. thanks for following. Mm. Also, like, we gotta, you gotta keep in mind, it's not a, a full-size car, we're very tiny people. You guys got the plush? The plush is basically our height. Yeah. Both the plushes. Oh, I have both the plushes right here. <laughs> oh yeah, oh that's so cute! You never told me where you put the plush, actually. I'm holding them both. Ah, that's so cute. That's actually adorable. <laughs> oh, shit. Just teleported. Roma. Italia. I'm surprised you guys are enjoying this, by the way. <laughs> I hope this you guys fun. are. fun. I like this. Okay, Look, good. That's where they have Jesus right there. He's still in there. They're waiting for him to wake up. Oh, right there, yeah. He's like... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look, these guys, this is where you get absolution. So, like, these people just step into the portal and go to heaven immediately if you want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a rad as fuck. I, what is this statue? This is the coolest statue ever. Oh, that's so raw. Um. I'm <laughs> 
pretty sure it's been vandalized. <laughs> they stole every part. Yeah. <laughs> Vatican police, like, wakes up every morning. There's always something missing. God damn it. <laughs> Somebody got his leg. The fuck. Oh, we got his leg back. Don't worry. Oh, thank God. Wait, where are the toes? Do they have the crackers of Christ in the souvenir shop? The crackers of Christ? What? Oh. You know, like, the, his, oh. the body and the blood? You know, that shit was always so delicious. Yeah. You had that. What's that burning in your mouth? Um. I mean, it's just crackers and wine. <laughs> I don't know. I guess so. Oh, yeah. Wait. I mean, it's real. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. No, it's okay. I know what they're using for, like, us regular Catholics. There's just, like, a mock up. It's not real. Yeah. Forty foot marble statue of post car crash Brian Griffin. I, and man, that's a lot of effort. You know what I would love to see? Because okay, we see these marble statues. They're beautiful, wonderful, and like the the way they emulate fabric on stone is like un incredible. Like it, it's it's unimaginable even. But. What if they did this to, like, an anime character? Has that, has that ever been done? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, uh, or a cartoon probably. character. That's the Belvedere torso. I'm gonna look torso. it up right now. Oh. It is genuinely... The Belvedere cool. torso. That's the Belvedere. Torso. Torso. So, torso. Torso. I'm sure it has. Like, I want a real beautiful marble statue of, like, Iron Mouse. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Mousy. What if you oh, went it's to all the... AI art. Oh, God. What if you went to the Vatican and there was a perfect statue of you? Oh, I'd be... Me? I'd love it. <laughs> like, okay, are you saying, like, me? Me, me? Or, like, Goose? <laughs> My little image. What are you saying? There's no difference. Well, though. Wait, an ant of a goose? What was this? I, I like how we've been surrounded by statues. We haven't even made that joke once. It's a dead <laughs> joke. We move on. We move on. Old comedy is dead comedy. If I were Elon Musk, I would do that. Oh yeah, I, if I were a billionaire, I would absolutely hire hire this man <laughs> to make a statue for me. I'm saying even. <laughs> like Nintendo <laughs> hire this. I'm just saying I would hire someone to make me a marble statue. Absolutely, a thousand percent. And I would, you know what? I would be a better commissioner than the church. I would actually pay the motherfucker well, handsomely, and like he can live in my house for like a month until he's yeah. done. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted Honestly, it in my house. Honestly, I wish obviously. more rich people would just hire us artists. They'll be their little pet that they feed and make them make art. I would do that. I would be somebody's living art pet. <laughs> You know how many artists would actually love that, though? Like, genuinely? So yeah, that's what not... they used to do back in the day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they don't these times. They don't need to worry about, like, having a house or paying off their loans. No, why would you? You're a vagabond. You could just live with, wherever you want. Um, amongst the rich. Yes. That's my dream life. I'd go into a rich person's dungeon if they let me draw stuff for them. <laughs> and they feed me yeah, pizza. I'm not... And they, um... And they keep me uh, nice and groomed. Not like that. Oh my god. And, um. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to play Sentry. This is badass. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, w I would totally do that. You know what, Cordy? You don't have to live in the fucking dungeon. I was just saying. Like, if I had an artist, I would just let them, uh. I would just let them, uh. live in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's reacting to you being like, I want to be well groomed. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know where else to go. We're all pets to Choco. Yeah, I'm basically, uh, you know, an imp. Omni man. Omni imp. Omni imp, yeah. Free range artist. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the infinite hallway. This is where purgatory is. 
Okay. Um, Didn't know that heaven was actually in the Vatican. It's crazy. It's crazy. The more you know. Ooh, there's way more. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, Clara. Shut up. I let Choco groom me. I mean, uh, I could explain. <laughs> You, I don't know why, Clareth, but I imagine you in like that tiny little bike, and like with the sailor's outfit on at the lollipop that in SpongeBob, and you're lit, you're that guy who's like, oh, I could explain. <laughs> like genuinely, bro, I need someone to make me their art pet. I'll make you my art pet. Get to work. Yeah, make us more fan art, fucker. <laughs> 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 What is this music? Oh my god. Is this Tenchu? <laughs> Tenchu's about to give him the fucking business. Oh, Tenchu. Fuck. You're Tenchu. so rugged. That's right, baby. That's right, babe. Got a little bit of blood <laughs> on me. Why don't you go ahead and lick it off? <laughs> Where am I? Alright, I'm, I'm, you know, I love the Vatican, but uh, I would like to visit IRL. Don't, no spoilers. Yeah, true. It's not like there's actually spoilers. I mean. But, uh... This stuff all happened a long, long time ago. I think we can get spoiled about it now. Long ago. You want a place to eat? You hungry? Let's go eat around the Vatican. What the I guy? really am. That, I'll tell you what right now. I'll tell you what. That, um, that poke I had before we started. Was Didn't not, fill you up at all, did you? Not at all. That was really, that was like 20 bucks. Oh. I know, right? For you a poor bowl. creature. Um, okay. Where are we? Well, this is Rome, right? They got good pizza. Mamma mia. Ooh, their gelato probably fucking rocks. Oh, Galateria. Ooh. Italian. I want gelato. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 How far can we travel in Rome without, like, a translator? Mmm. We just have the little Mario from Mario and Luigi follows us around and goes, Oh, but the bento. Sir, I can speak English. You haven't left the country yet. He just made him into Popeye. Sorry, I was stretching. Wow. <laughs> Look at this diarrhea. Oh my god, diarrhea due to feces. Oh, diarrhea due to feces. This looks really delicious. <laughs> I thought that was corn. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I've seen it a lot, especially in like South Korea. They do a lot of like corn ice cream and stuff. Well, I'm not going to insult someone's culture, but that sounds disgusting. Well, uh, I've had corn ice cream. It's not bad at all. It's sweet. I don't like corn at all for the dumbest reason. What's the dumbest reason? I thought I told you. Um, tell us again for the folks at home. For well, the folks at home. Uh, I, I don't know like... I said home. Home. See what the hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't like it because I, I don't like, um... Seeing it in my poop. <laughs> You're... Because it doesn't digest. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. What the fuck? The corn is so good. I Even then, as a kid, I never really liked it. I don't know. You don't even like fucking, um... Uh... God, I'm so... I'm so brain dead. What is it called? The Where you put, like, the fucking seasoning on it and you grill it. Corn? Elote. You don't like it. that shit. I love elote. What the fuck are you talk about? I love elote. That's corn. Well, I know, but like, it's 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 corn, but advanced. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Okay, I'll have elote, but I'm not gonna <laughs> have like, like beef and gravy and mashed potatoes and then corn on the side. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't know. That just sounds gross. But that's what people have. You ever accidentally swallowed your gum? <laughs> swallowed up. Swallowed. You should play that video so people know what the fuck you're saying. 
Oh, that's. Oh, I love Threats of Fate. Oh, that, look, guys, that this girl, is Choco. That, that girl, yeah, that's my blueprint. Yeah. Literally, that girl is who I became when I grew up. She's not joking. She actually had like a heartfelt speech to me about like how that she really loved this game as a kid and it really influenced her <laughs> forever. Yeah. <laughs> Goose, you autistic as shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? What'd what I do? What the fuck? What the fuck did I do? Swallowed. Was that AI art of him? Did you <laughs> it see looked that? like it, yeah. Do you see that? What the fuck? It is. Ah, Why? ew. He's so scary. His teeth is just one big tooth. <laughs> he looks like a beaver. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Oh, it's <laughs> that's fast forward. <laughs> because you're picky with your food. I'm not picky with food at all. What are you talking about? I love all kinds of food. Literally, I just don't like corn. I don't. I don't know. I don't like how it digests. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you? <laughs> Swallowed. Swallowed up. This is like Black Dracula. Swallowed. I know what you're gonna say. Swallowed up. Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming? Oh, I've gone through a time of swallowing. All right. Yeah, I know you have. What? <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, assumed. Swallowed up. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing <laughs> where everything was overwhelming and you? Can okay. I... Now can we play it really slow? Sure, fine, whatever. Swallowed. And Cordy says I've been through a time of swallowing for real. <laughs> Dummy of Cordy. You and Cordy are kindred spirits in that sense. We like sucking cock. I know you guys do. Cordy literally tweeted, I'm going to call you out, Cordy. You you tweeted like, man, dick so good, you clap like a seal. <laughs> ah! I'm going to call you out. I, I, I read that tweet, dog. I read that fucking tweet. What do you mean? Dick so good, he have you clapping like a seal. <laughs> or, or, or. <laughs> Don't <t> <laughs> Cordy, you tweeted it. You tweeted it. sister in Christ. <laughs> it was, uh, it was... Not even privated. It's not. This is not like a private. It's a public tweet. <laughs> Good God. Oh my God, Cordy! Wait, Cordy! There's just... a moment of weakness. Wait, Cordy! Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, before I see wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, I'm waiting. I'm doing my nails, and you're driving. This is so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait. I can't. There's like a body splattered on the fucking. <laughs> oh, how do I just look at the, the gif itself? Oh, well, I could just. Mm. Pompey. <laughs> Pompey. <laughs> I love this so much. I love it too, Cordy. Thank you. <laughs> Why did you just? Mm. Why? <laughs> By who? Cordy, oh. just. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, now let's check I out Cordy's tweet. I love it, tweet. Cordy, and I love Cordy. I love Cordy, too. Let's check out Cordy's tweet. No. No, you should probably not do this. You should probably be real careful. Dude, you should probably be careful. What are you saying? I don't know what Cordy be retweeting. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm yeah. saying that, that you on. should you probably saying? be very fucking careful. I'm kidding. I'm, everyone's in the baby no, corner. No, you just scrolled I'm, for so I'm long. I'm in the baby corner. I'm in the baby corner, silly. Oh, my silly. God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was kidding, Cordy. I'm kidding. Holy shit. I'm kidding. I'm wow. kidding. Cordy, dangerous. I thought you were just scrolling. I'm like, you thought I was swallowing. <laughs> I thought you were being swallowed up. No, I promise. I was just like getting shit adjusted. Okay. You're stupid. <sighs> <laughs> this is like Goose's brain for the past fucking week. What do you mean? It's all he says half the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it has been. Literally, this is all he says. Jesus. Swallowed up. Oh, why you say it like fucking Dracula, though? Thanks for subbing, Devil Lord. Have you ever been swallowed up with a sub? <laughs> Devil Lord. Devil Lord 62. Oh, Devi Lord. Oh, sorry. Wait, is it Devi? It's Devi Lord, yeah. Blackula Flow Yeah, Demi is Devimon. <laughs> Goose is not a spitter nor a quitter. No, I never Goose spat. Goose is a swallower. I am. Really? Every time you've sucked cock, you you swallow? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. The more you know. Bum, 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 bum. Where is it? What you think? What you think? Oh, I guess it's not here. Goose is a squeezer. Yeah, I squeeze the shit out of the dick. And I swallowed it up. Imagine someone checking into Goose's stream for the first time after seeing his, like, sad Satan or actual cursed videos and hearing swallow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's different audiences. Different strokes for different folks. I knew you were going to say that, and it was so lame when I heard it in my head. No, don't fucking say it. You said it, and I was like, ugh. What do you know what the fuck I'm saying and thinking and, like, literally everything? Because I'm in your brain, I'm not real. None of this is real. Wake up, goddammit. <gasps> this is the happiest throat I ever had. <laughs> oh, where are we? Oh, bumpy. That's right. If I could have food, what should I have? Guys, you guys want to make me food? I really don't want to cook today. And I kind of regret getting that fucking poke that was, like, really, really, really I'm expensive. Sorry. It was my recommendation. No, no, but you know what? I didn't go with the usual. It's okay. I didn't go with the... It's okay. I didn't, I didn't go with the usual, like, poke store that I usually get. Okay. Grubhub McDonald's again? I never had McDonald's on stream before. Ooh, I could get some gum to bop. <laughs> yep, nope. I can't read this. <laughs> what are we even trying? <laughs> hmm. Wait, why are we doing this? I'm, I'm like, actually, I like, for a second, I completely forgot I'm like streaming. Okay, what are we doing? Let's go back to some spooky stuff. <laughs> you forgot you were streaming. No, it was just like, uh,. Do you think we could, like, order this for delivery? <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Order it says online. order online. We can also reserve a table. It's closed, though. It opens at 8 a.m. Okay. Um, professional streamer, 1010. That's my favorite Naruto character. Professional streamer? <laughs> <laughs> Followed by the global seed vault. What is this? What you give me here? Sorry, I keep putting you guys yeah, in the baby global corner. Seed vault. We just don't want to dox ourselves. Look at yeah. that. Look, it already Svalbard. says. Svalbard. That's where I live. Svalbard. Okay. What in the fuck is this? That's the seed vault. This is the seed vault? Let's go yeah. There. That's the seed vault. So basically, what this is is this is a vault full of every seed of every type of plant that we know. And um, it's all being kept in cryo storage in the case that humanity is wiped or not even that, but like 
in case there's any species of like plants that go extinct that we need to bring back. It's all there. All of them. Yeah. There they are. How many seeds are there? Like 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> per per item, okay. No, they oh. must have enough to like like uh cover a whole field. Maybe even more. Every seed known to man sounds like my ex. <laughs> ah! uh, That's crazy. Wow. I don't what? believe you, Chuckle. Why would I lie about this? Why would she lie about this? Also, that sounds like a plot to a movie. Oh, dude, look at the emerald. The Chaos Emerald. That's like, like greater Oh, yeah, that's emerald. the Master Emerald. They yeah. keep it there, too. I Did you know the... that? No, I the, didn't. The gayest. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest. No, uh, yes. The gayest. The gayest emerald. <laughs> it's the gay ass emerald. <laughs> you mean gay the gay ass, ass control? <laughs> What's my booty doing? Wait. Wait, stop. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, Arf. really? <laughs> Arf. <laughs> Arf. <laughs> oh, Cory. Cory, I'm so sorry. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a damn fourth gay ass in the <laughs> Oh my gosh. God. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh fuck. I will remember this. You will regret this. That's literally an Eggman line from Sonic Rush. What'd you on the say? Nintendo DS. Fucking gay ass emerald? Yeah, gay ass emerald. <laughs> gay ass emerald. <laughs> oh. oh, you're funny. I know it's so funny. <laughs> Would you come in a vial like that and drink it? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> um, yeah, probably. Just for you free? Drink your own Just cum? for no reason? Yeah. Just, I, have dr I have come on a fucking vial before. Did you drink it? No, it was for fucking uh, donating wow. my seed. Someone out there. I have a you child. Did sperm donated? Yeah, I have like three kids apparently born. So they <laughs> mail you. Yeah, they mail you. Did about you that. really? Yeah. They let you know like it successfully got somebody pregnant. It yeah. Ran off on its own and found a womb to jump into. Sometimes you you have the option but of you whether really or not did? that you have the option whether or not to be an a or not. And uh, I I told them who I am, and uh, apparently like. Two, three years ago, they just gave me like a mail that said like, "This is a new child that they like to thank you." These, this couple. You're kidding me. Yeah. You're I, just making all just this up, fucking, you I fucking just... weirdo. He <laughs> lies so well sometimes <laughs> that I'm just like, you disturb me. What you could be lying about? <laughs> what else you could be lying about? No, I never. I, like, I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to donate sperm. Well, make it happen. Because I have this like. Come form. on. You want? You want to know some like paranoid shit that I believe in? I don't know if there's an afterlife or not, but I feel like an afterlife is probably linked to your DNA being spread as far as possible, so I kind of want to do, like, sperm donation. This doesn't make any sense! I'm just saying, I'm just saying! Gosh, so few, sorry for people what if, who can't do that. What if we're know? spiritually linked, you know? Only men get to go to heaven, because they're the only ones that get to spread their seed around. I'm just saying. By the way. That's just, so stupid. I'm saying, motherfucker! No, I'm saying- Are you say serious? I'm saying, like, what if you- You're just like, just in case? Just in case, Just yeah. Just in case, the more cum you, you <laughs> spit out, the closer to heaven, you know? No, Just not even- case. no, not even heaven, like reincarnation, right? I was like, I don't know. Reincarnation. Reincarnation. You're joking, you don't actually believe that. No, not really. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoyed with me. It's all because we talked ah. about seeds. <laughs> the more you swallow, the more swallow you ascend. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm, I should be an angel instead of an imp. What is this guy? Oh, I think man. I have a whole city inside of me. I'm capturing the competition, that's why I swallow. Anyway, you're comfortable with this one. Oh, okay. No, sorry. I thought I thought Cordy was saying. 
Wait, Burger King has melts now? Are you checking? Are you you're making me genuinely no. want to fucking order? Do you want me to tell you to show you this picture of these Burger King melts that definitely don't look like this? Okay, show me. I'll show you. Oh God, fuck! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Swallowed. I want to try those at some point. Apparently, Review Bra approves of them. Well. Wait, are they good, actually? Food review? I mean, shit. I... Mur bur <laughs> Burger King. They look like they would put me in the hospital. Burger King is mid as fuck, but hey, maybe they have some But look some at those bangers. I just sent you. Those look like fucking sourdough melts. Are you kidding? They look good. They do, but there's no way they look like that. They're probably like half the thickness. They're probably better. <laughs> Can I show this on stream? Is there like any information? No, it's just a screenshot. It's just okay. a Burger King, bro. Burger. This is a burger I want to swallow up. <laughs> so sorry, guys. It's such a weird stream. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Guys, this is the, the new melts. It looks good. It really does look good. A burger King does not have good burgers. They, they have the shittiest burgers in the world. <laughs> but they have like two or three items that like sometimes is worth getting. Yeah. So proud you finally got sponsored. Yeah, okay. Anyway, go try the new Burger King Melt using code CHOCO for 10% off your order. Yeah, um... Here. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Craft. <laughs> Listen. There you go. Is that even allowed? Are you allowed to just lie? That's actually <laughs> illegal, so. Probably. I'm just gonna remove that. That was a good bit, though, for a sec. <laughs> for legal purposes, we are not sponsored by Burger King. We think they're ass. We don't even uh, take the offer. Choco will. <laughs> I won't. I'll take just about anything. Any size. Any <laughs> any girth. <laughs> any any girth. Any circumference. <sighs> what the. F <laughs> Look what Cyberstar K said. What the fuck? Where? What is wrong with your chat? Oh, our estrogen bur burgers. Oh, yeah, no, I saw that. Our estrogen burgers will give you tits the size of basketballs, and that's no cap. Have you <laughs> not seen that? No, no, I've never seen that. You've never seen Oh my god, search up Burger King AI commercial. That one, yeah. The brand new burger you can fuck. This burger is better than sex. You can fuck this burger. Only at Burger King you can stick your dick in this burger. Your balls will explode, guaranteed. You can come inside, outside, and all over the new Burger King burgers. This burger will make your skin soft and your asshole tight. Our estrogenizing burgers will give you tits the size of basketballs. And that's no cap. Have it your way at Burger King, <laughs> where your stupid asshole gets fucked six ways from Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's fucking funny. <laughs> I only heard this part ever. The brand new burger you can fuck. That's it. That's all I've ever brand heard. Brand new burger you can fuck. I don't know. It was a whole video. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> man. This is a really scary stream. Let me tell you. Brand new burger you can fuck. See, this is why I say spooky stream. I don't I don't ever say scary or terrifying or horror stream. I, I just say a spooky stream. You can fuck this burger. Thanks for the five t bits, Terry Toon. Keeping up the grind. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary for <laughs> Goose. Why is it scary for me? I don't want to fuck you, a burger. Because you don't want tits the size of basketballs. Mm. You go. And that's bang. no cap. All right. Let's see. Are these? Uh... Ooh. Ah! 
<laughs> I can't even. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, hang on. I'm just check checking out some other locations, y'all. Someone answer the door. Answer the door. Open the door. Open the door. Oh, win win. Stop. Win win. Stop. No. Saying this. I'm in there and I'm not getting out. <laughs> shout out to the Greeks. Yo, shout out Greeks. They did some shit a long time ago. It was tight. I talked to Dizzy about getting bigger boobies using fenugreek. <clears throat> Who? I don't know what the fuck that is. All right. Um. Fuck it. Wait, what's this again? Uh, uh hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Do some corner. research for no reason. Alright, guys. Uh, time to do some research. We were checking out Salem, Massachusetts. This is where people died. See? Ooh. <laughs> Salem, Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts. Wow. Oh, the witch place? Yeah. Smash or pass Earthworm Jim. Pass. He's a fucking worm. He has a worm. That bodysuit only gives him the, the powers of the suit. When you take him out of the suit, he's just a worm. He doesn't have no penis. His name isn't P Earth Penis Jim. <laughs> Stop. That's not... <laughs> love it. Love when I say stupid stuff. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't love me if I was a worm? I wouldn't love Earthworm Jim. <laughs> wow. Spooky. <gasps> Schools. Ugh. Earth penis Jim. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> you said that's like such a like angry video game nerd like joke. No, it's not. It's a choco joke. Or like that how I like to call them choco. Chokes. <laughs> Gonna go BRB. See you later, Kraft. Man. No, Kraft. Is, Kraft is so consistent with the dinner times. <laughs> <laughs> it's always around this time. Do you cook? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what he does. Alright, Salem's cool. Anyways, next. Oh, guys, you guys want to see some human lips? You guys want to see some fucking sexy human lips? Yes, sir. Wow, that's not human lips. That's the other lips. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Somebody needs to put some chapstick on them. Yeah, seriously. The natural lips. Lips on ground. This uh, looks... So much like a pussy, it's crazy. I would not <laughs> even surprise, like, if I get do uh, do not do fucking um, banned. <laughs> Goosebump to make me act up. <laughs> I'm gonna swallow. Damn. What did they look like? Like, on the ground. How big are they? Uh... What diameter does it dilate to? Where are we? Ch oh, yeah. It makes sense that the lips are right next to Chad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like a pussy. It's crazy. Alright, next. Oh, I love this song. Yeah, the one song that was in that game. Mm-hmm. This is the best version of it. I'm such a New Horizons hater. Ah. Uh! It's not great. I only played like ten minutes. Um. I know it's four six five one four B.
Hmm? You condescending cock waffle. You fucking minion. Fuck. I don't even know. What kind of a uh, horrible slang do they have for humans over there? Hey, fuck it. Why don't we just go to London? <laughs> okay, that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. Let's see if we get stabbed. Just overall. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you can tell, we researched stuff like an hour before stream. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be real right now. Most of it led to dead ends. Or just talking about seeds. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I, is this how London is usually like? Yeah, you just get this much, like, walking space. Oh, look down. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, well... Kind of back here. <laughs> I'm trapped. Yeah, I, I literally hit like an invisible wall. Let's go to like just a random English place or in the United Kingdom. Let's uh. Let's go to Manchester. Unnatural lips on ground. Okay, um, Manchester United. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Let's just like do this. Let's go to Liverpool, where the Beatles are from. Oh, okay. Hopefully, I, I can aim there. Okay, we're in Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that architecture. Yeah, it's so, like, old. It's really nice. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. genuine. No, it's really cool looking. <laughs> Bro, this is like Harry Potter world. Oh, it's just fading away, sorry. A church house. It's actually really nice. There's like transphobia around every corner here. I can feel it. The perfect lurking. song for this. Just my god, you're right. Nice music. <sighs> What's that? <laughs> What's that? It's British. <laughs> it is from the United Kingdom. All right, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, is that JK Rowling? That's J.K. Rowling! Oh, Maggie Fu! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roman and beer! I would love to visit uh, the UK once. And that's it. I wouldn't. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that. It's just exactly the opposite of what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. Um, <laughs> shit. Sorry guys, it's 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 uh <laughs> to all my right wing brothers, it is not the place you think it is. All my right wing. All my grifters. <laughs> all my grifters. <laughs> well, I guess it's not Turf Island. Yeah. I, I yeah, but that was the only place. Uh my brother wants to go. Oh yeah. That's cool. Ain't Tesla. that place got no air conditioning because the old buildings? What's this, like then? That? Wait, what? Where? No, not... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I see in the chat. In the chat. Ain't that place got no air conditioning? Yeah, the, yeah. I don't know why they don't have air conditioning. I was genuinely shitting on Thaf for, like, that one summer where everyone was dying. Huh? You're so mean. No, yeah. Oh, okay. It's just like, that's the perfect opportunity. They're like, uh, you know, stupid Americans. Oh, that was really bad. That was really scary. <laughs> stupid, stupid Americans swallowed up. <laughs> These Americans don't have health care. They swallowed it up. <laughs> then they don't even have ACs. How can you guys make fun of us? Brian. <laughs> when you guys don't even have ACs. California. I don't see any Beatles anywhere here. Wait, California? Oh my gosh, there it is. There it is. I, I would run up to that like, finally, oh my god, get me out of here. <laughs> finally, you walk in. Like, there's no <laughs> place like home, there's no place like home. <laughs> you walk in, you're like, oh my god, real people. And then they start like fading. And the mirage like wears off and it's just like a British person with like broken teeth. Hello. <laughs> That's so, such a stereotype. It's horrible. <laughs> 
Whatever, they can tweet about how we got school shootings or something, it's fine. Leisure time! Casino! Hello! It's a fucking casino? Amusements and sunbed? What? I'm so confused. You can gamble while getting a salon? tan? That's so weird. They had to make it something else because there's like no British people that actually want to get a tan. Can you I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I don't even really know. Um, where are we? Is this it? Okay. Can you do a British Shadow the Hedgehog voice for the rest of this segment? I can't even do a regular British voice. JK Rowling. I'm the coolest. That's her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's her. JK Rowling. Why do British people always hold bags? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Just because one person's holding a bag, you're crazy. <laughs> Chat, can you put your streamer in the oh. game, stupid baby corner? Oh, it's so fucking funny. Please. Sorry, this is really fucking funny. I don't know, it's just like, I'm thinking about every fucking video that has like old, crazy, like, British people. They're always holding a bag. I'm not even joking, come on, Those please. Those fucking bag holders. <laughs> what else do we do? Always holding their stupid bags. <sighs> By the way, if anybody's British oh, yeah. in the chat, I just really want I just want to let you know, thank you for the support you've given me in the past. Oi there, you holding your bag today? And, uh, I don't mean anything that I'm saying, this is, this is a bit, I love you guys. At least, uh, you know, you helped us- no, If no. you hold a bag, you're British. You know, we helped each other out during World War II. What's wrong with Jackson, mate? British people aren't real goose. Oh, you stop okay. the not sound human. Thanks for the sub, Scoop Troop. Oh, they got a KFC here? Scoop. Oh my god. Not anymore! No. Oh no! Oh, fuck the illusion! Uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, it really is an illusion. Now they got. It's actually a British place. Dodo. Dodo. <laughs> you wanna ah. go to Dodo, mate? Let's go down to Dodo. <laughs> I can't even say it. Ah. The Mirage! The Oasis. <laughs> oh my god. Someday you will find me. Because <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, okay. you're, 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 you're cool, best. Come on, you. and dance. I actually really love that song. Yeah. In champagne soup and over in the sky. The sky. What the fuck is this? They just sell water? What is this? <laughs> yes, there are places you can go to get water. Goose, but just like water? Too. Yes. You go with your big jug and you fill it. Oh, that's why they hold the bags. Oh, shit. It's full of water. Oh my god, wait. Luncheons? To the left. I, I'm sorry I pointed it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. Luncheons? Luncheons. Midland. <laughs> and it Hotel and luncheons. Carding. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what's it look like now? Ah. Okay. You know, I'm actually really happy. This is like a rare glimpse into like British lifestyles because look. Like, no, no, seriously. Because it's usually cloudy and raining. It's like a rare glimpse in like to something that they usually- You can't even tell it rained. The floor is wet. <laughs> yeah. Midland. Stop speaking salad fingers, you're scaring me. Kuh. One day- If one day you woke up British, what would you do? Kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I'm just kidding. I don't know, what's the difference? It would just be me, but I talk a little bit like this. That'd be, uh, that'd be fun. What were you going to say there? <laughs> that'd be what? That'd be fun, that's it. You cheeky bastard, you were about to say something. What was I about to say? What were you gonna say? Well, whoa, now where'd the accent go? Gone. Okay. Then I won't Can you all yellow? No. <laughs> Stop, guys. There's actually British viewers Choco in the chat. British, we don't mean they? this. If you're a British viewer, you can make fun of America. We don't care. Talk about our horrible. Oh my god! Oh my god, Choco, I found a McDonald's! <laughs> this broken civilization is saved. Wait. Oh, it's still a McDonald's. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> that's not McDonald's, that's McDolan's. Irish pub. Bea Italia. Bella Italia. <laughs> Nelly Follies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go down and have a point down at Nelly Follies. Wait, Irish so pub. when you go to. What is an Irish pub, actually? It's a fucking pub where you get those big Guinness steins. Oh, I never been to. You know what's funny? <laughs> I live next to like 500 different like Irish pubs in my life and I never went to one. They usually sell like. Irish food, like bar food. Who's never been to an Irish pub? No, I never have. I never have. And I'm go like, get yourself some, some hash or whatever the fuck you ever get. Yeah, I'm like fucking 38 now, and I still haven't. My favorite drinks? Ah, Ashley. I know it's pints, not steins. Whatever, German. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Das Pints, not Steins. Are the di are the are the dinks are the drinks different? Hey Douglas. Hey Douglas. The oh, dinks. Oh Ruby Blues. Oh Ruby Blues. This is a casino music. Smokies. Oh, you could go to Smokies, or you could go to Smokies Junior. What do you want? I'll take the young buck. Whoa, I'm the YouTuber here. Wait a minute. <laughs> was she like smoking meth? What the fuck was that? That's a child. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Child is smoking meth. Y'all got like a meth problem over there in the Londons? Wait, this is not London. What is that? He's eating a little puffy pastry. I don't know. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, what is this? Churros? No, no, that's not my clothing. That's yours clothing. Yours clothing. It's a juice pack. <laughs> Why did we think it was meth? Ada Ada Chocolvania. I dreams bitter. Why? We have a redeem. Why did you write that? We have a redeem where you can make her say ara ara. What? Uh, I just put it on today. What the fuck are you talking about? There's a redeem. I didn't agree to this. Well, you did, but you were very tired. You were like, mm, fine, whatever. Ara ara. That's like the best you're gonna get out of me today, cause I'm angry. She is angry. Class ahoy. <laughs> Holy shit. You can get all the stuff from fucking yeah, Lethal I'm Company there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Look at Boot like creepily like more ara ara. <laughs> ara, ara. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't get that from me. I get ora ora. Yada yada does it. Yada yada da. That's cool. All right, I don't know Bonk. what we're doing anymore, honestly. Wait, did we run out of places to look at already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! No. No. No! I mean... Let's just go to... We didn't even go to, um... Check around, uh... Salem, did we? We only, like, did a little bit of Salem. It's just like, you know... You didn't even look at all. Oh my gosh, fine. <laughs> fine. Let's look at, like, downtown Salem. We should dox you, okay, Catbread? Where do you live? What's like? I don't even know if there is a downtown. It's a it's a small little town. Hello? What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Goose, can you go to Greenland and Iceland? Let's mm. go to Mexico, Korea, or Japan. Got good. That's true. Ooh, Korea would be really interesting. South Korea. Oh, I thought North Korea. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, there are a couple creepy places you can oh go to Korea on. Oh my god! No, now I know where we need to go because of this music. Oh, look at this Dunkin' Donuts. It's 
a nice Duncan. But I want Mexican. <laughs> shut up, please. Shut up. Shut up. That's all you wrote. Shut up. <laughs> That's literally all you wrote. <laughs> nobody knows. They Mexican. can't see. They can't see. They can't see. This so nobody believes you. Wow. Mexican. I'm in Mexico, everyone. Ole! Vaya Verde. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, Mexican. <laughs> we gotta get the slingshot ready. I got the perfect target right here. No! Oh my god, this scared me so bad. I think it's gonna be so loud. That's pretty loud. I'm oh, sorry. I can't read. Degenerates. You guys degenerates. I'm going to Mexico in February? Oh, cool. Wow, really? That'll be fun. Take me there. I'm pretty much going to Mexico on, on February for my sister's wedding. <laughs> not not really. <laughs> it's like kind of like Mexico. <laughs> it's worse. Oh, okay. <laughs> worse, huh? Yeah, it's even, even worse. Oh, even I'm worse? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. oh my Where's God. the filter? Wait, can you put like a yellow filter over everything and no BS? All right. Uh. They found the back rooms on Google Maps. What the fuck? There you the go. Actual back rooms. I just put sepia tone. Is that good enough? Oh, yeah. Oh, now yeah. it's Mexico. It's Mexico now. Put anywhere on here, now it's Mexico. It's Deus Ex. <laughs> Deus Exico. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved, I really loved, uh, man, human evolved or whatever. <laughs> mankind evolved. I thought it was Mankind Divided. No, that's the sequel. Now it looks like we're in the 1800s. I, I guess you're right. Okay, fine. Oh, look! Mexico. If it was... cooler. Huh? I guess you guys can't That's really... That's a cool little building. You guys can't really tell the difference. Here's the original. Oh. Okay, let's see, um... Okay, that's... Oh, Mexico, but if it were scary. Mmm! Mexico 2023 colorize, yeah. Oh, this is like a little better. It hurts my fucking eyeballs, but hey. It's not bad. Evil Mexico. Hell sicko. That looks like Evil my Mexico fucking grandpa. Be like... Oh wow, that's your grandpa. Everybody look, it's Goose's grandpa. Yeah. Oh, this is a scary fucking filter. Can you take that off? This oh, okay. looks like we're in the intro for Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, my eyes. Oh. Sorry, hold on. Fix those eyes! Ba -da -da. <laughs> I want ice cream. I want ice cream. Burger King now. Oops. Burger you can fuck. <laughs> Burger you can No, this fuck. this literally looks like Better Call Saul's intro. It's like really act it's crazy. Look bootleg. Better call Saul. Ah! Sh sorry. Oh, oh. Alright, um, y'all, I'm gonna go eat. Okay, Cordy. Mwah. Okay, Cordy. Bye, Cordy. Love you. Sorry about bullying you. <laughs> Burger King has ices. Mm, I don't want an icy. That's not ice cream. That's like shit. Yeah. All right. Fuck this bit. I only came here because of the Gerudo Valley thing. All right. Dun 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 dun. 
Oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck? Where the big I? arrow! Okay, Jesus. I was so zoomed in. Okay, here we go. Wow, back so to nice. Salem, back to Salem, back to... Ooh, like, look at that. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I don't see any witches being burned. Maybe if we go back to like 1800s, we'll see. Oh, they don't go back that far, sorry. <laughs> That'd be witch? so fucking cool if they did. Are you serious? Hold on. Witch? Oh my god, it really says witch on the car. Witch city taxi. Witch city taxi. Oh my god, there's a little green witch on the car. Wait, Perfect fucking it. music, too. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little green car with a little green witch on it. That's a taxi axi. Yeah, a taxi. Witch. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, perfect nails. Interesting. Okay. Nails. Okay, Walgreens. Nice salon. There's Walgreens. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, oh, wait, what's that? A Ford lease. Oh, yeah, that's kind of Oh, interesting. Now that's a... <laughs> one bed apartment. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Ooh. Oh, one bed apartment. Gotta write that down just in case. Yeah, just in case. You know, we need to stay away because it's so scary. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Uh, uh, the fire <laughs> department. Okay, cool. Nice and safe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> hmm. This is a nice place. Ooh. Oh, there are <laughs> probably witches there, maybe, someday. I wonder if they're probably. Vacant. I wonder if they have, like, an open house. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see the witches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> open vacancy. Oh. Boston Hog? Nice little cafe, but it's a walkable area. Oh, oh LGBT <laughs> friendly. Oh. oh, oh, God. I wonder what the laws are in this state. This is state. so cute, actually. Oh, this is a cute state. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, you know, this place is really close to like Boston and stuff. It's like a five minute, ten minute drive. Ooh. Ooh, Accessible. <laughs> Public transportation. Yeah. Accessible commute, yeah. <laughs> Young people. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're moving to Salem. No. <laughs> no. I said that. Cal. <laughs> this actually looks nice. I want to live here. No. <laughs> no. No, it's guys. There's witches here. No, who, who, who want to move? No. Who would want to move here? <laughs> <laughs> Goose, can you do the Cock Island speedrun? What the fuck are you talking about? The huh? The Cock Wait, Island speedrun. Didn't you say there. there's like creepy houses that we could look at on Google Maps? Well, you did give me um, Cock Island. What the fuck are you talking about, Cock Island? God. There is this, you know what I really wanted to do? <laughs> what happened? There's this one thing that I really want to do. Ugh. Ugh, there's this, um, what's it called? We found it last time. There's like this apartment viewer thingy that like only checks out really creepy and weird apartments or something. I forgot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You will really like Cock Island. Cock Island, I'm there. Um, okay, hold on. Is it really a place, guys? There's two, there's old cock and there's game cock. Thanks for two bucks. Hey, Goose and Chaco. Hi. I'm working very hard practicing for my uh, competition. Hello. I have the stream Hi. in the background and it's so entertaining. 
Keep it up. Yeah, thank you, Moot. Thanks for the two bucks. I appreciate it. Oh, we could go to Roswell. Why have we not gone to Roswell? Okay, let's look for aliens. Oh, well, shit. Uh. <laughs> we all love cock in this stream. Yeah. It's, it's guys, it's Ackroyd. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> UFO museum. That is literally the dumbest looking thing. It's his relative. What's Ackroyd's relative's name? Akpa. Akpa? <laughs> Grampoid. Are you fucking serious? That's so cool. What the fuck? You ever been to Roswell? Uh, I stayed at a shady hotel driving through Roswell and I was scared because I thought I was going to get mugged. Okay. Well, so no, basically. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anka. Anka? Guys! Anka! Roswell looks so fucking cool. Are you serious? Alien museum, alien thrift store with an alien holding an alien. An alien invasion. Look at this place. It's Look, all aliens. Roswell is just alien Salem. It's yeah, Salem. it's super cool. It's so cool. Anyways, thanks for uh, gifting the sub. Bell Rookie, congrats, that boy. Also, look. Me Mexican aliens. That's a little offensive, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. Take me to your che Chile Riano. <laughs> 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 Dude, alien bakeries? Okay, no shit. This is genuinely a really cool, like, town. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just tourist traps. Space nutrition. Gus and Lucy's place. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> That's cute. That's just their place. I don't it's know what just, it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. What either. is it? You... Purses, jewelry, and more. Yeah. It's just their their place. It's just their place. They, they also live. sell Red Bull, now available. Mm. <laughs> it's been long sought after, but you know, now they finally got it, and so people are excited and yeah. they flock there. <laughs> <laughs> you're so unenthusiastically enthusiastic. <laughs> like it, it is it's you're giving it your all even though you don't care. <laughs> Alien, alien stop. stop. Stop alien. That's what they used to say to me whenever I had to do in, in stores. Alien stop. Okay. <laughs> Tattoo. That doesn't even look real. It looks like it's it like was someone vandalized. got killed here. Yeah. Why are there? It looks okay. like the place got vandalized and. Are these guys like super paranoid? Cause like nobody else has barred windows except for these guys. They just want to look tough. I guess so. Tattoo. Would you get an alien tattoo if you went here? Can you no, imagine a little no. tattoo of Ackroyd? Aww. Yeah, Thank I just you. imagine him, like, just Ackroyd with a little peace sign. Aww. He looks like uh, Mario's little victory sprite from Mario RPG. Uh huh. Yeah. Perfect. I imagine. <laughs> Uh. Okay, where's the well, alien stuff? Mexican? Dude, that's that's literally what is wrong with this place because once you leave that little area, it's sure? just nothing. It's just nothing. What in the fuck? Okay, now I'm just like creeped out. Why? Too much alien stuff now. Oh. Can you imagine? I did I'm so scared of aliens, I didn't know this was- Actually, are there people that are really scared of aliens? Yeah, probably those guys that got abducted by aliens one time, they're like, This stinky alien just smells so bad! Probably like those people. Alien City Games? Pawn Shop. Alien City. I'd suck an alien. Yeah, this place definitely sucks, I can tell. 
<laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh fuck this yeah. This place like, sucks. Genuinely, we just left everything that has life. <laughs> like, come on, what is that? What is that? Nothing. What is that? What is that? What is that? Imagine, isn't that the loneliest thing in the world? Like, having a fucking store in front of no stores? Like, there's like no competition whatsoever? It's weird. It is weird. I wish that was an alien. I wish I was an alien. Ooh. By the way, you guys can say alien again. We lifted that ban. If you guys alien, are alien, alien. Alien. It's 2024. A new era has dawned upon us. A nuke era. You get probed by the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I can be an alien if I come visit you. Ah, alien! Wow, wow. I mean, genuinely, like, genuinely, look how fucking nothing this is. This place sucks. What is that? No Google. No Google. <laughs> wow. That's so messed up. Joe Seg Arcia. What are we doing? What is this? Who cares? Nobody cares. <laughs> There's a church. Get out of here. Let's go back to Salem. Look at those really scary, well-priced apartments. Let's look at Salem and see like how affordable it is to live there. But unfortunately, now witches can't live there anymore. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or whatever we're trying to say. Um. Where? I lost it. Ooh, lost. it's gone! Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's right next to Boston, like I said. Oh. Wiener Bros. <laughs> Wiener Bros? I think we just saw that. Wiener Bros. There it is! Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it says Wiener Bros. No, it really it's Wiener. Did it really say Wiener on the map? Oh, this is- No. You just lied to me. <laughs> oh, Choco. <laughs> oh, look, there's a target. Holy I mean, shit, oh, look, God, there's a target. Oh, oh. And a planet fitness. Ooh. It's just like how they used to target women for being witches. Ooh. <laughs> Wiener Hut Juniors. <gasps> Tom. I don't even know how to make that scary. <laughs> Taco Bell. Burger King. Ooh. Yeah! Oh shit, I'm back to Roswell. Fuck. Well, I mean, if we just like... Oh no! I lost it. I lost all of it. Oh, here it is. It's over here. Wow, look at these nice houses. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that one, that's... What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Keep out. Dude, what the it's fuck? Probably, that's probably just, like... Halloween decor. That's a witch's hut. Oh. Well, it is November, so I'm assuming, like, most people didn't even, like... I love you guys. Hey, yeah, Curry, how you doing? Oh my god, it's yay, Curry. Yay. The child of Yeezy and Steph Curry. <laughs> wow. Surprised you know what? who Steph Curry is. What, because I'm a girl? I didn't even know who he was till like yesterday. Till like today <laughs> when he said his name. Um, all the star people or aliens as I like to call them. Get off this stream. This stream is for earthlings only. I understand. Understand, because if you don't, I'm going to make Roswell look like a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> what happened at Roswell? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck do you mean by that? Like what, I, what do we not know about? Got kidnapped, is, it like a, is it like the alien 9-11? It's like the alien I, uh, ice incident. <laughs> I see whatever. <laughs> well, can you imagine if somebody made a show where it's just like... <laughs> It's about ICE, but it's aliens. You're describing Men in Black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. You mean Men in Black? No. 
<laughs> so it's a bit, like, different. Okay, 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 for real. Let's get out of here. Let's go to, like, Chernobyl. What was that one, like, radiated place that you said was, like, scary? Maybe we should take a look at it. Um, my house. Dot wad. No, it's, I post it in our little, our little chat. Um, Pripyat in Ukraine. Pripyat, mamma mia! I'm just, I know it's, I know it's Russian. I know it's Russian. Hey, why do you hate me? Cause I'm gonna take a bite out of crime. <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we already checked out the pentagram last time we did this. You should look at the Cuntagon. No. Ball Mountain? Isn't that where, like, Satan was summoned? Ball Mountain? <laughs> what do you say? Ball Mountain. Ball Mountain, yeah. Okay, this sucks. It's just desert. Um, okay, uh... <clears throat> You know, I totally forgot we were listening to, like, video game music. I was like, what is this MIDI fucking shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, well, it probably is. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, check out... Bria! Bria! So what's up with this place? What's, what's this history here? What's this history? Spooky scary. Gamma travel. What the fuck? Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I can already tell we're going the wrong way. Can we go to experimentation? <laughs> experimentation? You're talking about lethal company. Oh. Do -do -do -do. I, f I keep forgetting about that game's existence, but I, I have a lot of fun every time I play. <laughs> Guys, scary! Ah! Abandoned stuff. Oh, that's cool. Check out Metroid Prime OST. Okay. Scary communism. I put Goose in Lethal Company, but his textures didn't work, so he was white. Yeah, a likely story. You did? Oh, that's great. Well, thank you. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I did because his model is simple. I haven't messed with it since. <laughs> now we're actually driving. Where the fuck are you guys? <laughs> we don't know. We took a we're left. Scared, help! We should have taken a left turn from from Albuquerque. 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 You're so Albuquerque. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Goose, do a Tokyo drift. Dun, dun. Oh, cool. Look at that. Whoa, that's sick. What the fuck? Oh, that's so cool. That is cool. They So, back in the day, they used to ride in Reese's Pieces cups? Yeah, big giant Reese's cups. Wow. And suddenly, the nukes attacked, and all the, the Reese's... <laughs> the nukes attacked? <laughs> well, the nukes attacked, and all the Reese's turned very small to run away from the explosion. They haven't gone back since. They learned their lesson. Oh my god, that guy scared me. I don't know why. I was like, why is there a human here? What the fuck? What? Yo, therapy? 
pretty sure you're, you can only be there for like a certain amount of time. There's like a little timer that starts counting down and then whenever the countdown goes to zero, you start taking damage. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Cool. Wait, this isn't Chernobyl. This is Chornobyl. What the fuck? What the fuck? Developer Tyrone. Ever seen that video? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. They said no. I hate that sound, and they just left. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna have my second Mountain Dew of the day. No, you shouldn't do that. Do it. <laughs> Good lutch. Look, what the fuck? They look like eyes now. Oh my god, look. Oh wow. What were they before? Were they not eyes? Why would they be eyes? I think it's just they're rusted now. What are they supposed to be? Nothing. Why are they black in the middle? Are they supposed to be eyes? Maybe it was supposed to be eyes. But it is creepy because of the fucking rust now. It's just a circle. <laughs> circle, man. I think I like the music better. Yeah. Fucking goofy Cooper. Do you just want the travel music? I could just have that again. No. Eh, that's why. Sound this noise sounds like it's eating styrofoam. Well, you know. That's how it's like to have radiation poisoning, I think. Yeah. Your styrofoam gets eaten from the inside out. I was implying... well, whatever. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> so far from what I was thinking. That <laughs> 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 is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. What's that? Okay, you know what I really want to do now? What? I want to look up. This burger is better than sex. You. We could look at um those like. Oh yeah, Urbex stuff. I mean, it doesn't even. Illegal freedom. I think proper people did a crazy video on it, but there's like a lot of really fun little exploration videos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, which one do I want? This guy looks like he's a fucking danger to society, and I kind of want to watch his. Yeah, let's watch him. He's crazy. He wants to, like, jump off of it and shit. It's not enough to just explore it. Yeah, he wants to commit suicide. Oh, Jesus. Dude, if you see a guy with a mask like this, he's gonna start shit. And with a haircut hair like, like that? like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Skip ahead. White people. No fucking way. Irradiated water, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's not radiated. Wouldn't it be irradiated out here? Yeah, it goes really down here. Reached our first yes. Obstacle. Up to this point. The river is nice and cross right here. I don't know if you can see. There is a log. It goes really fucking down. So we're definitely taking our pants off. Wanna swim? Are you kidding me, yes. bro? 
No, they can't be even close. Wait, 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 they got the Geiger counter out. Let's see, uh... They're naked. Hold on, I want to see how far they are. Uh, let's also play this at two times speed, because it's a two hour long video. Oh, oh god, that's really fast. Guys, slow down! Slow down! <laughs> ah! Chernobyl will be there, just wait! The Half-Life isn't gonna die if you drive faster! So that's safe? Okay. Mm. What's up? Nothing. Okay. So they just crossed a river that probably has irradiated water. Huh? Godspeed, Spider Man. He can't stop me from what I will do. What? My man just hit the Yoinky Splinky. Do we gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. We're going back to this? Uh. We're going back to it. Hitler water? Hitler water? Hitler particles are rich here. <laughs> this water's infested with Hitler. I take a microscope to <laughs> and you can see like fucking swastikas and mustaches. <laughs> Man, exploring Chernobyl at night? That's advanced horror. Right. There's oh my god. Oh, okay. Wow, these are all five people that died at Well, it's crazy. The all five people that died here. No, but like, it, it is crazy to think that this is most likely related to someone's dead relatives and they went so far out as to get as close as possible to their home to put these little, uh, like, grave markers. Yeah, true. That in itself is creepy. That is probably a real one. Oh my god! Oh, this is wow, weird! What the fuck? I thought it was just a few! This is creepy. That is creepy. Ghouls from Fallout 4 just appear. Why Fallout 4 in particular? We're about to get hunted by rad ghosts. <laughs> rad ghosts. Big rad ro <laughs> crawls out of the shack. <laughs> Would you be terrified? I'd be so fucking scared. A fucking rad roach? Yeah. I hate roaches. Yes, I would. I would hate that. You know what? I really hate pregnant roaches. They got a preg that roach. <laughs> yeah, approach. They got those like pills in them, and it's so fucking gross. The pills in them? You know the eggs that are. You know they're eggs, but it looks like they have a huge pill just like sticking out of their butt. It's so gross. Ugh. You never had German roach infestation? 
No! Well, I have. I lived in an apartment where roaches just lived freely. I had fleas. I, are fleas... Well, fleas are pretty bad, but... Dude, They're roaches, awful. roaches are just fucking gross. I had fleas all over me, and I had to scratch my head with my little imp foot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said I had fleas all over me, I had to scratch my head with foot. Oh, oh, I see. I was like, what do you... How do you... I, I, the, the image just... I didn't comprehend. Like a well, dog, you get right? it now, like, right? Like, yeah. 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 It's literally 12. You a bipedal being, not a pet, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Wait, I am bisexual. What? Oh, bipedal being. Not a pet, right? Yeah. I'm not a pet. She's no one's pet. She's a free woman. I am a free woman. Chocolate not anymore. I went to the vet. Yeah, we had to take her to the vet. Get rid of those. <sighs> Choco what? What do you mean, Choco what? Choco what ya? Okay, let's skip I ahead. suck dick and eat pussy. What do you want? Free imp? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Come get your kibble, Chalky. A treat? Wait, a treat? This is the music you hear when you uh, get the treat. Treat? treat? <laughs> oh, cool, they went to the Ferris wheel we just visited. Okay, so this is a radiated area now. A hundred and one? What does that mean? The Dalmatians. Oh. God, they're gonna get attacked by radiated Dalmatians? Yeah. Or they're gonna get so radiated they got spots all over them. Um... No, bro, it's just 101 Dalmatians. <sighs> what are you... 101% <laughs> radiation chance. <laughs> I really don't know what that means, though. 101? Okay, let me, let me look it up. Zoe 101? Radiation 101. Can you just give me, like, numbers, please? Okay. 101. The radiation you receive during a dental x-ray. Oh. That's pretty bad. Oh. That's just what they're getting? That's what they're chilling out in right now? Per minute. That's crazy. Rad cucks? This could be a cool ARG filmed in Chernobyl. <laughs> Not everything has to be ARG, guys. Wait, what? The, wait, are they being hunted right now? Be in the same building complex, and I guess they heard. Okay, listen. They were on their last day today. I told you before, we heard somebody in the same building complex, and I guess they heard us back. We came looking and they found us. They were kind of shady. Those who understand Russian, it's like, oh, so friendly. I wanted to take my backpack with me on the roof. One of them is like, nah, why? Leave it in the room. Everybody leaves it in the room. I'm like, no, man. I feel like there's a third one that just went through everybody's backpacks. Probably not. I don't know. I don't trust anybody here. Yeah. So Fuck. I want to sleep on the roof, and there's a bunch of fucking people. You heard that? There's like people in the buildings left to us, right to us, and fucking saw them flashlights and shit. Yeah, going in the room. Okay. They're just staying there? Yeah, they are. Are There's... you not even allowed to like be there for an extended period of time? I don't know. A hundred and one. That must have been, you know what? Maybe this is like a safer radiation area. 
That one area must have been 101 by itself, but... How could any area be safer? There are, like, smaller pockets where there's less radiation because, you know, there, some of these buildings are made of concrete and radiation has a hard time traveling through concrete. So... They're snorting iodine tablets. <laughs> this isn't Fallout. You can't just, like, pop pills and feel better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, iodine tablets do help with small doses of radiation. But, man, this is really shady. Not only are they, like, spending the night on a roof in Chernobyl, but there are people in this area, in this, like, place that they're in, that are traveling with them and are potentially robbing them. In the dark! This is, like, beyond advanced horror. This is, like, nightmare. Yeah, this is, like, real scary shit. Like, real life stuff. That's terrifying. So, okay, I'm assuming this is like... Are they traveling by themselves or is this like a, a sort of like, uh, tourism? You know the- do you know about those tourists that like only explore dangerous areas in the world? Yeah, they're called, um... Something tourism. Um, dark tourism? Thrill tourism or something like that, like... Yeah. yeah. And usually dark tourism. Uh, yeah, dark tourist. A dark tourist. I think it is dark tourism. That's so ridiculous. Um, that's like when you select your character or you select your story on Sonic Adventure Two. <laughs> dark side. <laughs> um, <laughs> sex in Chernobyl gotta be insane though. Yeah. Not only do you get to fuck someone, but you get two penises while doing it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Cause you're mutated? Yeah. You mutate it, fucking mitosis on the penis. What would it be like to have two piece pieces? I heard it's uh, pretty bad. There's people that have two penises? Mm hmm You have to jerk off constantly because there's too much uh, semen being produced. You're just making shit up. Um, there's no seriously way. Seriously being there's honest. There's no I'm fucking way. genuinely being honest. People with two penises produce twice as much semen, and they have to jerk off at least, like, twice a day. So they're just walking around skiing all day. Skiing? <laughs> it's real. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Think about it. Like, they think squirt on their feet, and they just, like, ski around? About, no, think about what skiing looks like. Oh. You're just stupid. gripping those two poles. They're dumb. You didn't even- that was so fucking funny. You suck. You suck! You suck. Come on, Fono thinks it's hilarious. Look at that. Fono is a little creature. <laughs> Good luckly. Uh, choco funny. <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up. Thank you, Fono. Thank you, Dream Spitter. Cute flower menation. Ho ho ho, funny. Goose just doesn't know what comedy is. Can I just, like, fucking point this out? They just crossed over two different buildings, like, animals. Really? Like yeah. Aminol? Like, Aminol. Is it this area? Look, look, look. Oh, god. Oh. I didn't even react the first time because I was looking away at the monitor. <laughs> Look at this. They just crossed That's the That's pretty awful. Like Whatever. Ugh. Aw, you okay? I know when you say whatever, you're bothered. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of his things, chat. One of my things? What do you mean? <laughs> one of my... It's one of your things you do. You go, ugh, whatever. Only you're like really bothered by something, but you don't want to seem like it. <laughs> <laughs> there is people with two wieners, but usually they're deformed and don't work. And if you're born like that, you have a high, uh, higher risk of dying. Oh god, I'm, I don't even like that. Why is this fucking idiot doing this? Don't look. Not, oh my god. Not, not. Tell me when I Why is he look. doing this? I want to push him. Stop. It's not helping. <laughs> it's 
he gone? Okay. Why am I bothered by guys like this? I don't know. Okay. Thanks for subbing. Photograph. He's just like, Appreciate I'm it. so fucking cool and brave. Look at this. I don't have any fear. Oh no, I'm full. You gave a phonograph a little. Oh, uh, I'm full. Thanks. Thank you. Ow! Anyways, what'd you, you have say? You do that when you get a sub. Ow! Why are you bothered by it again? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. No, I'm just saying, I, why do I hate guys like this? Ah. Just like, oh, look how cool, look how cool and fucking brave I am. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have to do this, but it's cool, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Average male fantasy, death. Why'd he hang his pants up there? It's to show a brother from his side of the hood has died, a fallen warrior. Average stupid man fantasy, you mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, there's there's not a lot of people who have two dicks and both of them function, but there are like very very rare cases where both dicks function well. Dizzy taught me a lot about the man brain yesterday. Or you were hanging with Diz yesterday? I was hanging with Diz yesterday too. Man brain. Man brain. What's man brain? I don't know. She forced me to. Were you guys playing Fortnite? I had to work after uh, I left her. No? Oh. After you left what? Uh, we were playing finals. For a little bit. Oh! Mm -hmm. By the way, guys, finals is really fucking fun. Too bad about all the cheaters. Oh, is there really hacking? Yeah, um... We haven't really seen that much, me and uh, Diz, but that's because we play together and I play on PlayStation, so there's not many hackers on the PlayStation, you know, cross-platform stuff, but right. if you play on PC only, you'll see a lot of, like, Chinese hackers. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. So a lot of people are boycotting the, the game until they, uh, they region lock but, China. Yeah. Oh, just said, they're just saying, fuck China. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What is this asshole doing? I don't know. You can see it perfectly fine from fuck. Oh, I don't like this. Mm. Bro, I hope that thing just goes. That is crazy that he did that, though. You know what's crazy, though? It, these do look like really nice Ferris wheels. Like. They do, I'm oh. sure. This guy's so stupid. It just reminds me of like a, a life that they used that to have. That shit wobbles. It does. Yeah. Shove. Ah. Undercut splat. <laughs> yeah, make sure you get that cool video of you up there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> why does it bother me? It's just like, sure, the footage was cool. I'm not watching at all, honestly. Blood thinks he's all tired. <laughs> okay. Choco, you will be a great finisher. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Huh? Don't talk to Choco like that. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by finisher? You're scaring me. Finisher? <laughs> I don't know. What are you gonna do to me? Stop, stop, bro. Don't do that to me. Finishing the job, that is what finisher is, right? Oh, yeah. You know what? She does great at finishing every job she starts. Like her oh, art. Oh, yeah. Her editing. Pushing blood off the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I meant pushing blood off. Oh, yeah, no. I'm an imp. Yeah. <laughs> it 
So cool. This Actually, don't talk like that. I got my eyes on you already. What the fuck do you mean by? Oh, he's talking uh, to the person in chat who said that. <laughs> um, no, they said not you. <laughs> no, but they're replying to Tub uh, Tubbun, Tubbun bro. <laughs> you know, it is confusing. There's like four people with like purple names, so and everybody's like, "Wait, me? No, me? Wait, who me? All me? All Wait, who, me? <laughs> me? Me? Me?" <laughs> I got fruit snacks and they're all grape. Ah! Photograph said, My name Pink. It is. You are Pink. Look at you. Pats your little head. I'm orange. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference between me and my, my chat and your chat. Your chat's cute. They're like, My name Pink. And my chat, like, my, I'm, I'm orange. <laughs> and here's Gal with their gender neutral. I'm blue. Do you think they still make like um, bidi bidi bom bom. coffee for this? Mm -hmm. Wait, you can change a color? Everybody, you can change your color, yes. I actually don't remember how to do it. Um. You have to have, um... Oh, man. Ooh. Did you hear that? 7 TV. <clears throat> oh, my God. Three times oh, bro. the safety limit. Jeez. Jump in, bro. 126. This dude's getting rad poisoning. He is. He's gonna come out looking like a ghoul. <laughs> Four, eight, twelve. Push oh, yeah. him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the average, the average radiation everybody takes is about ten. I don't know USVs. I don't know. Um, 40 is about the same radiation you take from flying from New York to LA. 101, which is the one they had earlier, was like a dental x-ray, which is pretty bad, but I guess it was just that one area. 120 is three times that. It's, uh, so it's the radiation you take from flying from New York to LA three times. So yeah, it's not, it's not great right now for him. Would it be what <laughs> dream spitter? <clears throat> Would it be wrong to loot treasure Chernobyl? Yeah, with the fucking <laughs> the cowboy emo. What is emo. he doing? Why did he do that? Because boys also, love throwing shit in the lake. Stop. Get in there. Come on, stupid ass, do it. You really hate this guy, huh? Yeah, I hate him. She hates dumb dudes, guys. <laughs> she genuinely does. <laughs> is this what Sigma males do? <laughs> yeah, it is, pretty much. You should drink it? Yeah, you should. You should take a big gulp. Ah. It's like an x-ray for your tummy. He's literally saying that. He's literally saying that. Here, I'll slow it down. People like dwell here, walk around this place, have figured out that the water is safe to drink have to be dead fucking thirsty to find an abandoned ass building with a pool inside it and just take a sip see if everything's okay tell all your friends so you can drink it no fucking way i'm gonna drink it the stalker testing method is he talking about that game mm -hmm. and the book what's the book stalker <laughs> is that what the game is based on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're just one of those guys. You always gotta bring up the book. Well... Uh, <laughs> I'm <yeah>. just kidding. <laughs> you can't bring up Harry Potter. I'd be like, bring man, out. I love that game, The Witcher, and you're like, yeah, and it's, you know, the book. But they're the same. <laughs> oh, okay. fuck that. Oh, wow. my God. This is the place that had 101. 
Why is he here? Oh, he's gonna do it? Oh my god, you're kidding me. He drank ah! it! What a fucking idiot! Oh my god, he's he's gonna be like, why do I have cancer? Bro, like, you went here last night and it said 101. 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> <laughs> I hate men. <laughs> you can't just hate all men, cause yeah. He <laughs> just drank a fucking chest X-ray. I want you guys to really think about that—the concept of that. Yeah. <laughs> you're so stupid. Tumors. You're so dumb, man. Like, you drank. Of course, you're not gonna feel it. It's radiation. You don't. Ju it's just not like, oh, my skin's like blue now. No, fucker. This is a lifelong thing. You're affected. God. It's it's. He's just gonna have like. He's gonna be the one that grows that second dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope it doesn't develop, all asshole. So dumb. Genuinely dumb. It's not like the radiation's gonna, like, pop up and be like, oh, new. I hope he drink a brain amoeba. Yeah, true. Let's not even, like, you know, let's ignore the radiation. Yeah. That's still fucking water. That's, mm -hmm. like,. Been sitting in all that nasty rust and shit. They didn't even filter it. Nothing. Just drank straight no. out of the bottle. No, not even straight out of the bottle. Straight from there. God. Quit hating because That's you like... won't have the X-ray vision from the drinking the X-ray water. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, his name. That person's name is Ray in chat. Are you the guy in the video? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm a superhero now, motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck you, dicks. <laughs> Call myself the Ray. <laughs> With three R's. <laughs> Forbidden Mountain Dew. <laughs> How long do you think he's gonna live? I mean, radiation doesn't, like, kill you immediately unless, you know, you get a lot of it. So probably in 20 years, he's gonna grow a tumor in his stomach or his liver. And he'll probably be dead at 60. Three R's and Y's, mind you. That is so dumb. I, I'm still, like, baffled by that. Like, he said the I'm locals... I'm drinking that fucking water? The locals say it's safe, so you could drink it. Those yeah. people don't... Those people live in fucking Chernobyl. You're gonna trust them? They're already stupid. They try to take like, your shit. Is... Like, they try to take your like, shit. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be, like, so, too disrespectful, but these people live in fucking Chernobyl. You're gonna, like, trust them. <laughs> Yeah, and also it's just like, just like the misunderstanding of how radiation works. He drank it and he's like, I'm fine. Yeah, because it doesn't affect you like that. Yeah, they all drink it. They said, that's pretty good. It's fine. That's not even how, like, brain amoebas even fucking affect you. Like, it takes days. I know. Ugh. He said, I don't trust them. So he trusted them to, to drink stupid water. They live in a place that irradiates them constantly just because they are too stubborn to move away. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Those are the people I'm gonna trust. <laughs> yeah. Shit, tourists. Fuck, they're not. A whole planet blood. Earth, and they choose to live here. <laughs> 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 That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, you know what? There's, I, I what? think I've said this before in stream, on stream before. There's nobody in this world that's funnier than Choco when she's mad. <laughs> nobody, nobody can fucking Aww. match her when she's this pissed off. <laughs> so what, they're just gonna pretend to be, like, tourists? Like, what? What the fuck, a dog? Oh, a dog. He's like, he barks at them drink and has water! Two heads. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just leaving really fast? Look how fast they're walking. Yeah. <laughs> they die before 30. Should I use the Chernobyl water to make baby formula or not? <laughs> <laughs> There's tons of dogs that live there. Yeah, I heard about that. There's like a, a ton of wild dogs. You can't take any there. of them. Yeah. No. Wait, huh? You can't take them? <laughs> you can't take them. Like, you can't, like, as pets. Why would you? I'm just saying, people have tried. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of these, um, rad hounds, yeah. Cut That's you, Gal. rad dog. You're a rad hound. Aw. But yeah, a lot of these animals look super normal. Like, no... 
what what we think is like mutation. You know, we we like to think is like from the outside. Biru is snoring so fucking loud. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no visible radiation oh. on them, but they are they're they're not safe to bring back. Oh. Sorry, hang on. Can I, like, boost the gain and you can hear it? Hear that? It's really loud. It's so cute. She's so loud. Beerus full of mutations. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. It's a little... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Beer is full of mutation. She is a human child, but looks like a strange hairy dog thing. <laughs> a cat? A cat? Like, it's just... He just... He could have just said that. Imagine you're just lost in Chernobyl and all he hears is music and walking around frantically. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, these guys are... They're camping out here one more time. Bro is barefoot. That makes me so mad. Uh... Yeah. Where did he find this group of edgy dudes that think they're the shit and invincible? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're really weird. Oh. The feet will get fungus. <laughs> the feet will get fungus. Mutated fungus. I feel bad. Those guys are gonna watch this this stream vibe one day. You really feel bad? You really? No. <laughs> I'm an imp. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Watch out, the bracken! Oh. Okay. Um, they pretty much did the entirety of this. These guys are gonna look like Choco after this. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, cat bread? Hey, what bread? the fuck? Choco's cute. What's wrong no, with I'm that? not. Okay, then you're not. <laughs> She's visually appealing. So. Thank you. There you go. That was the most like neutral way you could have ever said it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Try to steal my catchphrase? Yeah. Yeah. Shut. Yeah. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> well, two big tumors on my head. That's not nice. Y'all don't get it. This is alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, not argent energy. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Argent energy is from hell. I knew it. I knew, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I failed the test. I'm sorry. It's okay. I knew. I knew it was a fucking doom reference. Uh, can't I, be perfect. I knew it was a doom. You gotta believe me. I knew it was a doom <laughs> reference. I just wasn't confident. <laughs> I haven't played it like a. My few girlfriend days has two giant boils on her chest. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We are doomed. Chat, stop bullying Choco. She will kill you and will be split atom by... You will be split atom by atom. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm an M. Alright, let's see if we can find another place. You know what I really feel like exploring? I want to explore... Are they running? Are um, they actually running for something? Doubt it. That'd be funny if they get, like, attacked by a dog. <laughs> attacked by a mutated dog. 
Um, um I forgot what it's called. Something butterfly. Black fairy. <laughs> Dark butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just came up with the alt name. <laughs> <laughs> Your limbs will become part of the radioactive dog. They're running, they're running. <laughs> oh, security? security? Oh, yeah. no. Rust IRL? <laughs> it's just Paul Blart on a fucking Segway, but he has two heads. <laughs> they're both twice as unfunny. <laughs> the fog is coming. Yeah. Wait, let's look at proper people videos. Stupid. No. <laughs> Did it make you smile? No, it made me mad. No, I gave you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do you want to watch? Click on the iron. Oh, a, a 1980s World HQ building. Oh yeah, sure, that's kind of fucking cool. Click on that. We're making it spooky though, we're muting it. Ooh, no narration, ooh. Wait, should we see the history of Look at that shit. Look at that, that's crazy. Let's see the history of this. Credit, proper people. There you go, now you guys can't see it that uh, we stole your content. Yeah. The construction As we drive around in our car, mm -hmm. in this place that we definitely researched ourselves and we're not Square foot office building was originally taking from stealing. Like Thompson yeah. Ramo Woldridge or T. We're not Illuminati. Short, we're, we're cool. The company had humble Illuminati. as a manufacturer yeah. of bolts and screws, oh my God. but quickly Fuck. evolved into the largest producer <laughs> wow. of engine valves for the American automotive and Low aviation blow. industry. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. She's got like two million <laughs> subs. Products. Their valves found their way into World War One fighter planes. Good night, Q Flower Nation. Thank you for being here. Good night. Love you. In 1927. Mm -hmm. During the Second World War, the company became heavily involved in the defense effort and greatly expanded their manufacturing capabilities with government support. Their new TAPCO plant, which produced various aircraft Tapco. engine components, stretched for nearly a Tapioca. mile along Euclid Avenue outside Tapcom. of Cleveland. In the years Tapcom. following, Thompson Products merged with Raymo Woldridge, an early aerospace technology company involved with the development of... Oh my god, wait a minute. Well, back then were so crazy. They were really oh, cool. That's really cool. Right wing? <laughs> early You're done. You pause the video for that. Bad joke. Uh, yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> By this point, I actually laughed. The company resembled a modern idea of an aerospace defense contract. Tapioca is something you'd name a Pokemon, Joko. It is, actually. To the as well. Tapioca, the Chikorita. They were the computing industry, and they also created Illuminati is being sued by the state because she's been evading taxes. NASA. Of course she has. TRW even played a crucial role in the Apollo missions. Holy having shit. Having designed and built the descent engines for the lunar lander. There's no script she could have stolen to do her taxes, so... First, someone gets an idea. She couldn't do then it. Then someone else may look at it differently. Even add a thought or two. Technology from a company called TRW helps ideas get around. Because getting an idea from one place to Is another... Is that a Lizard? A Spug. <laughs> as important as getting an idea. Tomorrow Bug technology. At a company called TRW. <laughs> Your viewers are cute. That brings us to the 1980s, right. when TRW was looking to construct a new cutting-edge world headquarters. This seems like something you'd watch in an analog horror, I can't believe. To accomplish this, they turned to an architectural firm led by a man named Dirk Lohan. Yeah, in it's, uh, years, it would Mr. probably Lohan require imagination and work. So, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe. That's probably why. Uh-huh. It's probably why. 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 It's probably Mies was a German architect who fled to the United States during the rise of the Nazi Party. Although he I love was a accomplished before <laughs> it was his American body of work that made him a definitive leader of modernist architecture. His structure sought to strip away all decorative elements and instead reveal beauty through their carefully laid out form. A dark framework of exposed steel. This is so scary. I like the vibes. I can feel it. Spaces where some of his trademark features yeah. began to dominate the skyline of Chicago and beyond. 
His influential style in regard to skyscrapers became known as the Second Chicago School, as it seemed like a natural progression of the city's early steel-framed <laughs> buildings. Some of the most That's notable insane. adherents of this style include two of the it city's is. most iconic structures, <laughs> the Willis Tower and the John Hancock Center. I didn't even know there were that many people. <laughs> While Mies van der Rohe did create yeah, several right. low-slung residential structures, most of his large buildings were urban towers. To be fair, it's urban Therefore, town, so. the TRW building <laughs> represented an interesting diversion for his grandson's firm. Utilizing elements. All right, blah, blah, shut the fuck Yawn, up. Yawn, let's see the action. And come on, guys, we're we're gonna walk on the edge of the building and I'm die. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Of glory. Yeah. You're making me really want that Burger King. I haven't stopped thinking about it like since you told you me. You can fuck this burger. Send in the flying lobsters. I'm on the edge. This feels very dated, but not eighties either. This was probably remodeled. Look at that. Before. Perfectly right. working electric chandelier. This is like early 2000s, maybe. Late 90s, maybe. 2002 is when Cleveland Clinic got in the building. Oh, yeah. Chocosegs.gif. Huh? Do you know that one gif of you? Having sex? No. Segwaying. On your little uh. segway. Why oh, is the building still powered? There's a lot of big, stupid, abandoned buildings that never. For some reason. It's likely that they're either doing it on purpose because they don't want the place to just like become dilapidated, or uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any other reasons. <laughs> um. Well, it depends on the building manager, like what they want to do with it. Maybe they want to power it because they want to use it for later. That's what I'm saying. Like, if they left the power off, it would just, like, the nature would take it. <laughs> also, I, I also think it's, It seems like, spotless, though. Look at that shit. It's possibly security reasons as well. They probably need to have some power on in order to have, uh, security, uh, like, alarms on, too. Some cool sculptures. They might just want to keep it. Like, FNAF? What if we... What does he mean by that? Do you think these plants are gonna be better, or do you think these work? What? What is that? I love this background music, by the way. This is like... I don't know. Anything over I don't there. know. The thing about Silent Hill music is oh, that shit, it's, um... Shade coming out over there. What? You're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Only one is Oh, it's like... No, Silent Hill music, is, it's not that it's scary, it, it's its not even spooky, it's just like, it's like a memory. It's, it's, you know, it's its abstract, it's something that just makes you, like, set in a time that once existed, a mood that never was. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's very blue. Oh, I've never seen Wall Silent Hill music is like fingerprints on an abandoned hair, uh, railway or like a uh, handrail. I mean, liminal. What does that word even mean even anymore? <laughs> liminal light switch. No. It's like a melatonin dream. Dude, oh, this is quite the color. I've been this having is so weird. I've been right. having melatonin a lot lately, because I've been having horrible sleeps. Like even Choco knows, yeah, I've been waking up at like 4 p.m. Like that was my yeah for like a week straight. It was really, really, Very really surreal. bad. And I was like, you better fix your sleep schedule, Mister. Uh huh. We even had like a day where we tried to fix it together, while we were awake 24 hours. Didn't work at all. <laughs> that was miserable. We streamed too. We you streamed, yeah. You were there. I was there, yeah. And, um... No, but I've been taking melatonin pills, or melatonin... Not gummies, but like, you know, just... Cap... Cap... Caps? Caplets? Oh, I don't know. Capsule. Capsule. Pokemon. Pokemon. And, uh, they've been working great. I have a normal sleeping schedule now. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. 
That actually makes it worse? Really? We heard from other people that it makes it better. Wait, uh, like sleeping after 24 hours and no sleep? I'll tell you what, though. The sleep we had after was not great. I woke up and I felt like I had a hangover. I woke up six times. Actually, no, I, I woke up and stayed awake for like six hours. It was horrible. Yes, the 24. Yeah, no, we've had people, even friends, tell us that it, that's how they fixed their schedule. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Mimi, so sleep. Nini. Okay. Goodbye, SSJ Luna. S Goodbye, SSJ Luna. Saiyan Jin Luna. Super Saiyan Jin. Saiyan Jin Luna. Here you go again. What? <laughs> Saiyan Jin. There I go again. Like, I, there's a frequency, like a... Thing that happens. A block of marble, they just sliced it out and hung it up in the mortar. Even these top ones, it seems like they tried to match the lines yeah, the best up they could. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I get it, bro. Yeah. yeah, you're so right. You guys ever, you guys ever put out like a, a video? At, Dude, the textures the on this wall are. Is called book matching. What? And it's implementation These here, textures on this wall like loop a little too much. You can see the the loop right there. This? No. This is probably a better view of it. Like it's cheap texturing. See? Yeah, they need to update the the texture pack. <laughs> no, it does. It looks really shitty. <laughs> it's straight up video game textured that wall. Wow, devs were lazy reusing the same texture. Yeah. I don't know if I should be mad or laugh, said Gel. <laughs> Gary's mod looking ass. Gary's mod has such great liminal like horror to it. The walk up to it's nicer. It has two. All right, I'm gonna look up Burger King. The burger you can fuck. The Our burger. estrogenizing burgers will give you titties the size of basketballs, and that's no cap. I don't know why I thought you were gonna be that, and that's no good. Uh, I'm not old. <laughs> Not fucking old. Gary's mod is a fucking orange in the background. It really is. It really, really is. Dude, they got classic melts. My voice cracked when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Ever played Afraid of Monsters or Cry of Fear? Cry of Fear, a little bit, never beat it. And I don't know what Afraid of Monsters is. Today I will attempt to draw art after being rusty. Okay. Go for it. Craft. Young at this. The song sounds like how it feels to sleep on a car listening to the road vibrating on the car up to your ears. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I agree. Spooky roadhead, but it's just a scary skeleton. What? Yeah, it smells really chlorinated. It sounds like a boat ride at the park does. i never seen Afraid of Monsters, no. Let's look up scary urbex. Yeah, spooky scary urbex. Scary bex. 
guys, if we get 7 million subs, I will name my child after my channel. <laughs> Welcome to the world, Goose Boose. Christopher Brian Hill is an urban explorer with a YouTube channel I know this called dude. Hill. Over the past 10 years, he's been uploading nah. off foot. We'll just watch his video. Urbex Hill? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Proper people also have this. Scary encounter? Oh, dude, yeah. Asylum? Fuck yeah. 11 minutes? Let's go. This is a creepy path. Oh, yeah. This is nightmare. Hold on, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta go back for a minute. Oh, tea, though, tea. Oh, it looks like it's been busted through. I hope she can get through the maze. I put up a new maze for her, guys. That's uh, Proud Horror. Goose, what the fuck is this maze? Oh, fuck. I didn't what know the you... fuck is this fucking maze? I don't know, you figure it out. I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> you just, we need to engage your brain. I have to go brain. to the bathroom. We need to engage your brain. You've been. Why would you do this to me? There's not enough engagement with your brain. All you do is just eat chip and go on phones. <sighs> sorry. That is scary looking. I'm gonna get so lost. You're gonna this figure it out. Like... You figured it out last time. Should I drive around the whole <laughs> place first? Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, I think she'll figure it out. She figured the, the last one. Well, actually, you know, the past two ones, she's just destroyed it. I'm hoping she doesn't destroy this one. This is barely a road anymore. It, there's a lot of work put into these mazes. It's like half overgrown. There's a little house. I really didn't think she'd figure out that I made a new maze. I thought she'd just get lost for us and then complain about it. Stop making her hold it all the time. She can hold it for a while. She usually figures it out before she, like, you know, gives up and just pisses on the floor. Actually, she's never done that. She's just done it on my clothes. So maybe it's not a good idea. No, not today, and you know it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Holy shit. This is fucking terrifying at night. For real. You're supposed to make the maze out of glass. <laughs> you just can't see glass. It's a windy night too. A windy cold night. No, I'll park like. I think yeah, putting the guy the with brush. the cold piss kink yeah. in the maze was a step too far to be honest. Right up to yeah, maybe. Oh, the door's right open. I I don't know. Divine. He helps clean it up though. Piece. I don't know how. He doesn't. He Is goes in there the naked. <laughs> hey Goose, am I late? I was just sorting through ARG material and forgot you were on. How y'all doing? Hi, Arsene. Car is locked. Why are we in the Slender Forest? Yeah, We're just exploring we Urbex videos while Choco is yeah, going to the bathroom. And, uh... Yeah, but don't worry, Arsene, you're not late. You're just in time to, uh... Get him! Take his shit! Take his shit! Take take, take everything! Use it, t take it for the Blood Moon Sacrifice! Get him, get him, get him! Grab his, grab his, grab his legs, grab their legs! I don't know, gender... Get, get, get him! Help! Tie them up. Don't give him his jacket. I got his toe. Power word kill. The entire freaking wall is missing to go down into it. But hell, why not start with the? I'm actually, guys. I really do want some Burger King. You want to leave? Am I gonna get like? Am I gonna hate myself for getting Burger King? Cult of the Lime win. I. You know what? I don't know. It's always been a game that I've wanted to try. <sighs> I got his liver. I got their left ankle. The left ankle? Fuck, there's no walls. She they also. Ah! Okay, our scene's a she they. So get her! <laughs> Hate yourself now. What are your pronouns so we can properly sacrifice you? I got a suicide hotline number as a Google result when I looked up kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. This is probably the most ravaged place we've ever been in. 
If you are ever going to play Cult, of, uh, Cult, try to play during or after the 16th. Actually, yeah, I do want to check out the sex update. No, I got what I wanted, jeez. Did you know if you look up Nearest Bridge on Google, it brings up the suicide hotline? Really? Another staircase. Oh my god, it really does. It really does, wow. An interesting one. It's like a shitter. You can poop right in that oh my gosh. No, it's even worse. It's actually even worse. So not only do you get like that, you also get the results of like near bridges, which is, you know, fine. But after that, you literally get articles about like suicide locations, top 10 bridges in the world where people commit suicide. Oh my gosh. How high does a bridge have to be? Oh, goodness. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Top 10 suicide locations. Number 5 will surprise you. Watch Mojo suicide locations. Actually... No, we're not going to look that up. No, no, no. Fridges, maybe. All right. You want to go upstairs? Took a bite out of the toilet. <laughs> Tastes like Burger King. What the fuck? I'm going to regret getting Burger King, but I'm going to get it. Ugh, I'm gonna feel so fat. Sound of footsteps inside. I hear that. Alright, upstairs. Guzzle the dummy gum gum from. Just trees. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very careful on the floor. Every step we take. Every step you take, every breath you shake, I'll be watching you. Boom, 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 boom. Oh man, I used to listen to that song all the time. You guys might notice that every place. Send them to the principal's office and have them expelled! Make it more interesting. I had it first. I hate you. I'm in everyone's mind today, huh? Oh, wait, no. That's a reference to something else. Uh, that was the Sant Undertale. Let's go that way, though. Also, sorry, Gel. I was, uh, I saw you say that you, you should go back. I, I should go back. Was there something you saw? It's too dark. Building. Hello. That cone sticking up, it was marking a huge hole that went straight down to, like, a tunnel. I was making a joke. Really? Oh, okay. It's around, it's around here where we left off. Okay. I said Totaka was in the trees. Oh, <laughs> In the trees? Let's go that way, though, because it goes back towards the yeah. main entrance area. And I can check in my car. I don't know what the hell could have happened here that's this destroyed. Every move you take. What? I'm scared. There's not gonna be I'll be watching. Whoa, well, look at this. Look at this staircase out here. Oh shit. There's somebody there. They're out there. They're out there? Who's out there? Jeez. Should 
Should I say hello? Yeah. Hello! There's somebody out there. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Let's go back to the it kinda, I don't know why, it just kind of got me. Fuck. Did yeah. somebody want to talk to us? Every move you make. Yeah, let's go to the car. It looks like a cell phone, right? Spread the ooky spookies in my honor. <laughs> Should we just bail? I don't know. <laughs> let's see who it is. There's no other car here. He was around this side. That was a hundred percent. That was person. a person. But he had a phone. Why is there a person here? The scary part about the abandoned what buildings the is that you don't know if you're the only one. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. We can't keep exploring this place if there's like My emotes got banned in one stream. That we don't know yeah, I love your there. emotes. A ton. Craft, don't stop showing your emotes no matter how scary people get. I don't think we should. Scaring everyone on twitch.tv. That is dope though. That is cool. I saw his <laughs> light. No, I'm saying before. So you are not going crazy. Hey guys in Ashwee, while Choco is gone, I'm already planning what to do for New Year's this year, and I'd like you guys to get uh, get involved again. Really? <laughs> That's like so know. far. Are you he already planning? Looking for us. I already have plans too. He would have found. Up? He would just came and talked to us by now. Which, you know, I don't feel good about going back into this building if there's some person that we have no idea what they're doing. I'll be watching you. Yeah, I don't like the feeling of it. Yeah. yeah like, I got a Probably. bad feeling, guys. Like. Where? You saw a light? Oh. No! Hello. Hi. Hello? Hi. Oh my god, you're saying hello as soon as they're saying hello. That's really hello? creepy. Hello? Hello? Ah! Yeah, the, the fact that they're not answering back. The fact that they're not answering back means that they're gonna rob you and murder you and kill you and it's murder too you. Sketchy. Like they could be wanting to like fucking rob us, yeah. Yeah, dude. Like who I'm the fuck scared. Alone with like no I'm scared. That wasn't me, guys. Fuck. That wasn't it's weird. Me. Good thing I looked out that window to see the staircase. Yeah. You know, we could have gotten jumped or something. I had a bad feeling from the second I saw <laughs> you guys. how it's fucking destroyed and wide open it is like anyone could be in there and there was there was someone outside it's down there yeah this is scary i'm gonna oof i almost shit my pants anyways hi welcome back how was the maze it took me way too long to get through and i'm angry okay well were you able to use the bathroom at least yes yeah. Okay, good. See, you, you figured it out at the end. Ugh. Hate you. No, no, no. I'm helping you. It was brain activity. Look at that. You're gonna be all tuckered out. I bet you're tired even now. Shut up. Okay. Urbex Hill. Let's watch this guy. A very dangerous encounter in Helltown, Ohio. Okay, fuck. You convinced me. Formerly known Boston Township is shrouded in chilling myths from supernatural occurrences and devil worship. Chocobania is back from pooping. I wasn't pooping. While the Poop <laughs> What the fuck? I ate someone's liver while you were gone. Provide insight huh. into why the town was deserted. The origin Proud of town began with the Native American tribe. Lenape. Did it taste good? Following the 1758 the Easton, they were forced yeah. to leave their native land. probably not. Delaware, New Jersey, Eastern New York. Is liver like Pennsylvania? Forcing them to head west. Good? Does it taste? I never had liver, ever, in my life. By the no? 1770s, the Lenape had relocated. I never had meatloaf either. Now recognized as Boston, Ohio. I get a tweet? You get a tweet! And you get a tweet! Clear town after the clear stream, which okay, I'm done I didn't this. take a shit! Why aren't they saying that? Because you took too long. Now the candy's gone. That's what happened. What are you talking about? 
be a puppy cat thing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wow. Wow. What's up? Cat bread. I don't know if you're watching, but wow. That's lewd. Okay, now I have to see. <laughs> wow. Very good. Very good art. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's based. What the fuck? Thank you. Holy shit. That's pretty good. <laughs> what happened? Really good. Wow. Here, let me show it up on stream real quick. Yeah, get banned. What? I'm not allowed to show penises? Now hang on. <laughs> now that is sexist. <laughs> Women can show their breasts. I can't show my dick. Ugh, Twitch. Shut up. Men, society has changed. You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's like everybody watching the Barbie movie, like all the all those dudes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> boom 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 boom. Goose titty stream when? We already did one. You just weren't here. Okay. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You <laughs> <laughs> said that. It's pretty cool. It is cool. Look at this fucking horrible hell. Machine. That is cool. Wow. This is a fucking Twilight art pet princess done well. Sauce. Very good art pet. Yeah, you get one food today. You get one food and that's it. Pretty freaking sweet, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I make rag out of liver. Oh, ragu. Oh, sorry. You didn't hear me say that. Rag out? No, 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 no. It's ragu. You see. Oh, ragu. <laughs> Rago! Rago! Oh, did something happen? What the hell is that? I'm surprised this barn is still standing despite how old it is. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Oh man. Uh oh. So I started uh -oh. walking in the direction. Yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> that's that's uh the skinwalkers like oh they're just coming straight to me. I mean okay. I mean I'll come to them. I'll come on them. I mean I'll come to them. Whoa. Do we have a gun? No, I, I bet not. God, I hope there's like a jump scare or something. Sorry for heavy breathing. What? 
I was a little nervous walking alone in the forest after hearing something follow me. Wait, this motherfucker was alone? Yeah. A damn gun ain't gonna stop a flesh pedestrian. What the fuck? Skinwalker? Oh. Ha. <laughs> 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 flesh so pedestrian really sucks. Some, well, that just... makes me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Puffleshrian? That's really stupid. Wait, something's gonna happen right here. I don't wanna get lost. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost in these woods. Oh my gosh. I just had the saddest image in the world. What? You being lost in these woods. Oh! It's really sad. I'd be really scared. Yeah, I know. I'd be crying and be like, Goose. <laughs> Why did you run off in that direction of the, of the breathing that we heard? I would not. I would not run off. Never. Uh, oh my god. That's fucking scary. What the hell? Oh. Holy shit. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? You make her lost in a maze every day? Yeah, but it's at least the maze is in the house. Why is he still walking towards it? Now hear me out. <laughs> What? Why is he walking towards it? That shit was taller than that tall grass. It really was. I want to hear. No, it wasn't. It wasn't noise. It wasn't noise. Here, I'll show you again. Around here. Yeah, right here. It's that. He sees eyes in the middle. Oh, I didn't hear that part, actually. Did you hear that? No. I couldn't hear it either. Hold on. I'm going to try and raise the volume. The oh, it's at max. Okay. <laughs> You're stupid. All right. Well, whatever. No, go back. I'm sorry. No. Too late. I want to hear. I want to hear, late. please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The brat can not have everything. I'm sorry. No. Please. No. Please. Where the hell does this lead to? Bye. I really can't hear anything. Oh, that was. Oh, probably. At worst, it could be Coyote. But you said it's taller than the grass. It could be deer, but deer don't, hmm, I don't know. Where the hell does this lead to? <laughs> I don't even think this why is, is he talking like one. fucking, Fuck. why is he talking like fucking Duke Nukem? I want to get lost over here. <clears throat> Where is it? Where the hell does this lead to? <laughs> Those rake bastards stole my ride. <laughs> Camera turns and Slenderman is just pissing on a tree. Does he have a slender penis? Oh, it's the tentacles. Yeah, dude, that's literally what it is. The black tentacles. Oh. Could also be a cougar. What the hell is that? I don't know what else is gonna happen. I'm gonna turn back. Yeah, turn back, motherfucker, idiot. Should have done that a while ago. Why a cougar? What's she doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's the elder goth. <laughs> <laughs> the local elder goth. Yeah. Oh no, he's in Ohio. That explains everything. Ohio is uh, spooky. Those clouds aren't running at like 60 frames. Oh. <laughs> Jack lives in Ohio. He told me horrible things. Ohio's fucked up. Yeah, I heard. See, I don't hear anything. That is crazy, though. Whatever animal this is stands at least six foot... Six to eight feet tall, based off of the height of the tall grass. I don't... I don't even know what that is. I'll be real. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a person, maybe. Yeah, but people don't have reflective eyeballs. They don't, no. Usually. Usually. It turns around. It, it turns around a lot like a dog. It does, actually. Deer don't turn around like that. That's crazy. I like that a lot. That was a big-ass dog. Let's just, uh... Let's just watch uh, uh, Chili Scares. Those are front facing eyes. Mm -hmm. Christopher Brian Hill is an urban explorer with a YouTube channel called Urbex Hill. No, uh. Over the past, much more risky than it might sound. It's obviously much safer to explore abandoned buildings ah, in the light of day and with a group of <laughs> friends, but in most of his videos, Chris explores at night and always alone. In June 2022, ah! he visited the abandoned Westinghouse Electric Factory located <laughs> Dream! in Dream, get away! Built more than a century <laughs> That's ago, noisy. the factory originally consisted of seven different buildings, but most of them have been demolished by now. Even though the Westinghouse Company was established in 1886, it didn't reach Cleveland until 1894. Founded by Thomas Edison, Westinghouse is best known for the notable engineers who worked for the company, including Nikola Tesla and William Stanley. Front facing eyes means predator. For several yeah, decades, look at Dream. Westinghouse company rivaled General Electric. Two cuties in the barmobile. Barmobile. Bar before its abandonment in Also, hi, Newt, Newt of the Swamp. For the past four and a half decades. Man, he really explains a lot of shit. It's not even that far away from here. Wait, I'm not cute. <laughs> that sounds like a shit. <laughs> Chris has experience exploring everything from abandoned mental hospitals and sanatoriums okay. to vacant occult temples. This is where I'm going right now. He shows off the fear as he enters the creepy building. This? Just like yeah. in many abandoned buildings, the Chris the finds sanatorium. a mattress on the floor, meaning at least one person has been sleeping there. It's my bed, actually. It's nicer looking at my bed. As he captures footage of the first floor yeah, and walks up the stairs to the second floor, all that can be heard in the eerie darkness is the sound of his footsteps. You guys should be in a, a paddy mobile later, next Chris road goes trip? Down to the basement. And the footage becomes increasingly sure. creepier I'm not cute. as Chris runs into a series of dead ends under the leaky, moldy ceiling. Is this the inside of the New York? This is the Jew tunnels. Oh my god. <laughs> the tunnels? The tunnels, yeah. This is what they sealed up in New York. This animal's down here. Oh my god. Are you a barb? At I'm several a, points I'm a, during I'm a his Barbie. exploration yeah. of the basement, he can be heard yeah. making comments about a strange noise coming from somewhere on that floor. And at You're first, he seems to think it's an animal. I'm not a Ken. Alarmingly, he finds a few shell cases I'm on not the ground Ken. from what was probably a 9mm handgun. Although it would be pretty unsettling to find something like this lying Those on the ground in an abandoned shells. factory basement, it's worth mentioning that police departments often use abandoned buildings and complexes for training exercises. However, in this case, it's impossible to know if that's really what happened. Or maybe Goose is saving the Shortly other after he for the comes next across Halloween a series too. of disturbing messages on the walls. Oh. He <laughs> continues recording as he walks down narrow corridors. I guess so. And this is where things get a lot more disturbing. Oh, is that going to be a tradition? Halloween 2? 
What are we gonna call? Okay, if it is, what are we gonna call Halloween two? Two. Just Halloween two. It's just a sequel to the holiday Halloween. Halloween. Oh my fucking god! Oh, Hold shit. up. Yeah, need some help, bro. Yo. This has to be staged. Yeah. After about 20 minutes of exploring, know, the visit though. takes a know. very dark turn as Chris runs into a hunched over man without a light at the far end of the room. He calls out to him and asks if he needs any help, but the what man the doesn't fuck? move or respond, and Chris decides to leave him alone. Understandably, Chris's breathing can be heard getting louder and heavier after the extremely unsettling encounter, but things were only about to get more disturbing for him. Both Goose and Choco are cuties, and they are little sluts. <laughs> Why oh, you gotta add the slut part? You're no. gonna wait, 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 stop it, stop it! No fucking way! That is the dumbest. <laughs> that is like parody bait. I'm gonna this give is this. This is so fucking stupid. I'm gonna give this dude twenty dollar bill. Let's see if he'll suck my dick. That's he's literally trying to like do the Slender Yo. Man thing. Hey, I got some money for you. I'm gonna give this dude twenty dollar bill. And he's not responding. About four minutes later, Chris decides to go back to help the man out by giving him like giving a wild bill. animal a piece of food. But yeah. alarmingly, when he goes back to the room, the man is no longer there. This could be incredibly dangerous, as squatters are known to behave aggressively toward unwanted visitors. And because they know the like place better than anyone else, they can squatters easily as if like they're and wild animals. Visitors when they least <laughs> One I tried to communicate with the squatter. The was that maybe the yeah. Is not a homeless person They're known to get frightened at the very slightest of sounds. Be heard at the beginning of the video. However, it's impossible to confirm if this was actually the case, and it seems pretty unlikely given his strange behavior. As he continues searching for the man, Chris notices bats flying around the basement, and things get even more eerie at this point. Damn it, Bane. I mean, a lot of bad stuff. Damn it, Rappler. Right when he walks into one of the rooms, if you look closely at the far left of the screen, you can actually see the man from earlier standing in what used to be a door frame, staring at Chris in the Oh door. my Shut fucking up. god, that's Alarmingly, scary. Alarmingly, Chris doesn't notice and that's continues not, walking. That's not, this can't be it's real. Impossible what are you talking about? That's so fucking real. Him. And in these kind of situations, No, I'm just saying this can't can actually, this has to be his intentions. friend. <laughs> no. Like, right? I don't think they're friends, dude. He did not respond when he was like, are you okay? Yeah, he's fucking, like, acting. Look, look, look. But it can't be heard clearly through the camera audio. Just when he decides to head out, he hears a cell phone vibrate, you indicating really think that this there is are real? more people down there I mean, from hiding in the darkness. Having had enough Why disturbing encounters for the night, he decides to play it safe, and fortunately, he was able to leave. The I mean, he, he just—he's acting like he's never seen he him never before. Never found out who that man was, and since then, he hasn't uploaded another video. That's of the not how you treat factory. <laughs> I'm just saying this it's a skit. recorded in Tartu, Estonia, and oh. uploaded. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know, it's, it's totally fake. Oh, I'm gonna strangle you. Uh, no! Nope. Abandoned Swana? You would expect a building that's been abandoned for 21 years to look like. This guy There's has a nice voice, by the way. Who is this? Growing freely on the walls. Chills? The oh. heaters are covered in a thick layer of No, rocks. that's scares. His brother. <laughs> <holes Scared>. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like that photo I sent you a long time the video, ago. The teenage explorers where, um, also run into some disturbing... It's like someone wearing, like, the Scream outface, outfit, like the Ghostface Killer outfit. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the caption was like, Oh, hell no, that's... Screams, a uh, fatter brother, holler. the first few minutes... Shoes and other personal belongings. So there doesn't seem to be any indication that somebody could be living there or had even visited the location recently. However, about two minutes into the incident, one of the teenagers finds a door frame covered by a curtain, and they decide to That's explore the room. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, they're speaking a foreign tongue. What the fuck? Was that a cougar? <laughs> that, sounded, that sounded like that feral old man at the camera. <laughs> I don't know what that is. In the news camera. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. But like the classic, like weird looking old guy. Like, and it was like a news camera. And he's just like. I've never seen that before. No, no, no. Search it up. 
We can compare it. From the one Australian interview, yeah. Strip Australian feral man. Why do you write classic? That's what you said. <laughs> That's what you said, <laughs> genuinely. Did she not say that, Chad? I didn't mean to search the word classic. A classic old man. Old man feral Australian no. man. Right, dog attack. Dog attack? Interview. Okay. Oh my gosh, would you? Uh, you're being so literal, I wanna- You said look up dog that one, attack! That one. The top one. Oh god. <laughs> look up dog attack. She said that, right? <laughs> yeah, but like, I'm, I said so add dog attack. These two are roaming their neighborhood, <laughs> frightening the locals, and the council isn't stopping it. I've never seen this. Now, yesterday morning, I came out into the front yard and the dogs were across the road. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. <laughs> right, okay, I've seen and this. And I just made it into the front door. <laughs> yard, and the dogs were across the road. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. <laughs> Look at his wife. <laughs> He's like, like about to fucking laugh. Why did he fucking do so that? For me, they came bounding over. <laughs> <laughs> and I just made it into the front door. Into God, that is so fucking stupid. Why is he like that? <laughs> what is this? He's a feral old man. Is it? That's it's okay. real. They saw me this is how all Australians are. <laughs> And I just <laughs> he, he would put like a hundred and ten yeah, of, of his energy into that fucking impression. <laughs> okay, no, go back. Go back to the other video. It's him! It really is him! Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's like one to one, Jesus. <laughs> That's so dumb. That is really stupid. <laughs> Old man perfectly imitates zombie. Okay, but to be fair, if you heard As that, one of the explorers shines a flashlight into no, the no, I'd be, a I'd be a wreck. Scream can be heard. It's, this is probably a homeless person trying to scare them away. Immediately, run thing. out of the building in a panic. Well, it ain't working. When they finally step outside, the sun is already set, and the boys get into the car to flee from the location. <laughs> Although the explorer was too busy running to show the be like, screaming man, it's more than likely. Do they got meth in like Estonia? Who wasn't expecting visitors? Still, it must have been extremely disturbing to experience something like that, even if they went together as a <laughs> After that day, 2016, <laughs> I always never went back to the abandoned sauna again. In March of 2022, YouTubers Meg and Chris uploaded a, a new stoned video to their Meg and Chris? Shut up. Which they showed footage of their visit <laughs> to a Meg and Chris? Honestly, you might be family guy pilled, so... No, come on. Meg and Chris, that's like saying Bart and Lisa. To their channel back in time and 2022 youtubers meg and chris uploaded a okay. new video to their okay. channel come on back in time yeah he did MC, say meg and chris i thought i thought look, you it's right there it's right there in the channel farmhouse oh yeah we're meg and chris holy shit we're in the uk in the caption they Fuck, mentioned that they found shit. an entry point through uh, well, an open good for them they got the they got house. their own channel based on the state of right? disarray the farmhouse is in it's clear that nobody has been maintaining it for quite some time the floor is Griffin covered pilled? in leaves and cobwebs. <laughs> the shoes look dusty and unused. Lewis. And there are even a couple of dead animals Lewis. lying on the floor, oh, along with some shotgun shells lying on top of a bedside table. The, the only fuck? clues that indicate oh, someone could have the location relatively recently are that one of the light bulbs in one of the bedrooms looks relatively new, and some of the clothes in the closet look only gently used. Based on the pictures that Chris finds on different shelves and hung up on the walls, it appears as if a family of at least four children used to live in the farmhouse. As the couple continues with the exploration, they walk into one of the Lewis, upstairs bedrooms. Remember the time we went to Chernobyl? Very unexpected. Is this Chernobyl? This is, is this not Chernobyl? Chernobyl. This is not Chernobyl. A Nacho's first message is Peter pilled. <laughs> Hi, A Nacho. I always like when people's first message just bewilders me. Yeah. Oh or they say something that basically. You're, you're it's just <laughs> so out of pocket. No, 
Yeah. No. Oh, we there. thought it was abandoned. We thought it was abandoned. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god! Hello! <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> what is this? Wait! He sounds so terrifying! I thought he was gonna say, You're an alien! <laughs> no, you're alive! I know, I know, I know! I thought he was gonna say, You're an alien! Ah! He's like so he terrified! Oh my god! Hello! Oh my you're, god. you're alive! <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That's way funnier. That's way funnier. Live. You're alive. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, sh yeah. Idiot. You're alive. <laughs> I think oh, it's just man. so surprised to see somebody living there. Oh, Could so I help you? <laughs> You're alive. What are you doing you know, in my home? You can't live in here. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, we're trying that's to make like a how, video. That's how we talk to each other. Like, you can't do that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, no. Here. Yeah. No. no. Which way your car? We thought it was abandoned. <laughs> we thought it was abandoned. When he first walked into the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, uh, wait. Oh, up. my gosh. Yeah, it's just an old lady that lives in this fucked up house. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's way scarier and really way more interesting than the fucking quote unquote monsters and methods that we just saw. Yeah. Come into this bedroom here. Can you imagine so what she, was... she feels like? Can I help you? It's so funny because she's right there on the left. She's on the yeah. bed right now. <laughs> Oh wow! And he's narrating, and it's like, how surreal! <laughs> how surreal is that? Genuine, think about it. Someone's what coming would you do? Two British people walked into your room with cameras. They're, oh, like, they're just like, wow! Look, there's like signs of life here. <laughs> yeah, they're oh. like, it's quite dusty and fucking minging in it. <laughs> hey, can I help you? <laughs> this is so hilarious. It really is. She's right there on the left. And you know what's funny? She went even, like, they went even deeper into the room. She didn't even ask, like, when the, he was right there. She waited. She had to be sure she was really seeing people and not, like, the wow. Grim Reaper. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh my you're alive. <laughs> you're alive. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Dude, that is so fucking funny. If I were an old motherfucker, you're alive. You're alive. I'd be so insulted. And she she answered, yeah. You are. <laughs> oh no, I thought she said yeah. She's yeah. like, you all right? No. We thought it was abandoned. We thought it was abandoned. What is was that like cat food on the right? What is that? Oh no! Ew! Uh, I mean, she oh got a, god! She got a fucking uh, what? What do they call over there? Torch? A lamp? A headlamp? No, she got a torch right on her bed. Yeah, yeah. When he first walked into the room, Kristen. Oh my! Ew! Uh, what the it's fuck? It's like clothes or something. No, no, no! It's literally like piles of food on top of a pillow. All right, hold on. Sorry, one sec. I gotta take this call. Entertain my chat, would you? Thank okay. you. Okay. That's right, chat. You're all my bitch. Hi, guys. Recruitery board. Ew. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Let's... <laughs> Hi, Gellox. Guys, I've been here the whole time, you know. You could uh, talk to me if you really wanted me to. Okay, I gotta go downstairs and uh, get something, so I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker got Burger King. The burger you can fuck. This woman's probably doom scrolling Twitter. I don't think this woman has had a technology update since 1956. Is that a rotting cat? I, I think it's a charcuterie board. <laughs> oh my god. Chuckle, where do babies come from? Um, babies come from 
Uh, you see when a mommy imp and a daddy imp love each other very much, and they lock horns, uh, some other stuff happens, and then eventually out pops one imp baby. Choco, where do imps come from? Well, you see, Catbred, when a mommy imp and a daddy Bowser love each other very much. <laughs> Babies come from the semen dispensary when the mom gets a sample of goose. God, that goose goo. <laughs> That's British female germa. What the fuck do you mean by that? Do they have to continuously lock horns? No. No, that's just part of the ritual. Does Goose Goose have chicken fries? Are chicken fries better than nacho fries? No. Nacho fries are peak. Does Goose like Bowser? I don't know. We can ask him. I mean, what do you mean like Bowser? Like, in what way? <laughs> Why didn't my parents get divorced? Oh, goodness. Because, uh, oh gosh. I don't know. Don't ask me, I'm an imp. Where do designer clothes come from? Paris. And Italy. Does the baby just come from the horns? No, what the fuck? We just have sex. Ask Goose when he gets back. What, that it, does he like Bowser? Pear ass? Horn anatomy. They're just horns. I don't know. What do you want? Why did they get divorced? Look at yourself. Look at the state of you. Oh, gosh. Because a mommy imp and a daddy imp hate something or at least something like that, huh? Ask him if he likes Bowser. Why? The baby is birthed out of the nipples. No, it's, that's... What the fuck? What are you talking about? You're scaring me. What do baby imps eat? Baby imps require normal food. <laughs> so I've read some fucked up shit. My mind goes to weird places. Yeah, it sure does. Y'all are fucked up in the head. They really are. I've been here for like five minutes and I'm already tapping out. Where are you, Goose? Hurry up, get back here. I can't handle your chat by myself like this. There's just so many of them. I can't take so many at the same time. Oh, no. Baby imps need gamer subs with code Choco. Oh, yeah. I guess I can. I'm sure Goose wouldn't mind. Gamersubs.gg for 10% off your order at checkout. Using code Choco. Are imp horns gendered dimorphic like hell of a boss? Hello, a boss is a cartoon. I'm a real imp. Choker, you're doing great. Thank you. Chat, give me your strength. I hope you um, do a good job, craft. How big do horns get? As big as you want if you don't trim them. <laughs> Gamer subs with the Chernobyl water. Bro, that would get you fucking geeked. You would get so geeked off the Gamer Sup's Chernobyl water. Does the imp mating ritual involve biting? Pervert. Yes. How big are your horns? I'm gonna look at them. How big do you think they are? Of course she's doing great. She's always doing great. Yeah. There's never any doubt about that. Ow. Are imp farts flammable like humans? What the fuck are you talking about? I feel like I missed a few messages. What's going on? Beats me. Genuinely beats me. I don't know what they talk about half the time. I'm scared. I'm very scared. She's the queen. I am the queen. So, um... Yeah? Do hellhounds have horns? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll draw that soon. Well, this one's a shit quick. I know. Why do you cry so much blood? Um, 
because I just have blood pulsing through my body constantly, overflowing. Imps run on blood. Swallow it up. Swallow it up. Hi, I'm back. They wanted to ask you if you like Bowser. I don't know why. Um, Bowser's cool. That's it. See ya. Okay, I hope you enjoy your, uh, Burger uh -huh. King. You don't know I got Burger King. How much do your horns go for on the black market? Fuck you. Also, <clears throat> they looked at that pillow and they said charcuterie board. Charcuterie <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. Uh, it was so fucking awful and rancid. <laughs> like, she got mold, turkey paste, and fucking... What is that? I know. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm just dust Scary. bunnies. Fucked up, not Nobody gonna lie. Some... Right? Yeah. It's chicken pate and gravy. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna sleep in the bed. It mm -hmm. wasn't until Meg walked in and made a noise that the woman sleeping in the bed woke up and gave them the scare of their life. Although the uploaders blurred the woman's face out of respect for her privacy, it's clear that she's pretty We unblurred old. it. During the conversation, she tells the couple <laughs> that she doesn't have any family that could take her to live somewhere else less depressing. Out of sheer kindness, Chris and Meg keep the lady company and try their best to understand her situation. She introduces herself as Jane, and over the next 10 minutes, they ask her questions Jane. about how she ended up living all alone in an abandoned farmhouse. And an abandoned farmhouse. Thanks to the couple's like empathy, this. the initial shock of being startled by the sleeping old lady and seeing her living in such terrible conditions quickly turns into a heartwarming moment in which the three of them talk about each other's lives. <laughs> they then proceed to murder her and mug her of what she has left. <laughs> Only for a week on comics. Yeah. And that was, um, 1993. Oh, God. Oh, my wow. God. Wow, nearly 30 years. Just, yeah. Disturbingly, Jane mentioned she's been living in the abandoned farmhouse for 30 years. We heard. Even though Chris and Meg offer to help her, bring her food, and buy her clean clothes and sheets, she seems hesitant to accept anything from them claiming that she's fine living the way she does. Yeah. She mentions that even though it's not her house, the men who work at the farmhouse know she's there and they bring her food and water every day. In a touching moment at the end, the couple agrees with Jane to visit her again soon. This would have been a happy ending to the story, but Chris and Meg included a caption at the end of the video that cast the situation in a more disturbing light. The caption reads, uh. I did a lot of research to try and find the name of the farm and whom it was owned by. Luckily, I got the information needed, and I even got a message from someone who knew the farmer who farms there. Chris goes on to explain that the man who reached out to him also knew that Jane was living there, and that the farmer also lives in the farmhouse with her. According to the man, Jane is very well cared for, but she chooses to live in those terrible conditions anyway. The man also mentioned that Jane's husband is up there constantly to make sure she's okay, but she doesn't accept his help very easily, or anyone's help for that matter. It's worth mentioning that Jane might Why? not have been what? completely truthful about her situation to Chris and May. Well... During their conversation, she mentioned that she didn't have anyone to care for her except for the farmer. But the man who knew the farmer told Chris that she also has a brother who tries to take care of her. Not entirely convinced by what the man told him, Chris continued digging for information and found that the farm was not on any land registry records. But there was another property to Jane's name that she owned between 1986 and 2015. After visiting what? the other property, Chris mentioned that it was as unkempt and beat up as the farmhouse itself. Having heard two different versions of the story from the man who contacted him and from Jane herself, he decided to contact Adult Social Services. This is the email he received from them. Good morning, thank you for your email. I can't confirm that Adult, adult Social adult Care social are aware of this lady, however, I'm not either. able to provide well, you with British, any further details. So. We True. appreciate your input and the information you have provided, and thank you for raising your We're aware your concern of this adults. lady. What? Chris then told the man who contacted him to tell Jane that he and Meg would be happy to go back and visit her if she wanted them to. After this, there were no further updates on the old woman, and we'll likely never know what became of her. I'm okay. I'm sorry. Did I miss sure. something? Why is she just there? Like, um, she just yeah. I don't know why she lived there in the first place, but it sounds like she's yeah. just like. So stubborn to the point that she would rather live like this than get anybody's help. For 30 years? I like how someone actually asked, what kind of mental illness causes this? I, I don't know. Depression? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's obviously something, but... 
It's like de definitely akin to like what a hoarder deals with. Right. Was I came there to help somebody. Okay. And this is only for a week I'm coming. Yeah. And that was um, 1993. She came here to help someone and she just stayed here? I don't, that, 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 I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me. Only thing we know for sure is that if someone else decides to explore the abandoned farmhouse in the future, they'll likely run into the same situation Gal. as Chris and Meg. Sadly, no. this type of situation is much more common than many people realize. With rising prices Gal. and the overall state of the global economy, a large part of the elderly population is being forgotten. Hopefully Jane can accept some help from her family members and live out the rest of her days in much better and healthier conditions than the one she was in when the video was uploaded. Robert Fulton um, Elementary is an abandoned school in Honestly, I'm just eating now, so is it okay that we just Ohio. continue watching videos? I mean, we're watching Yeah, no, this is really interesting. And has yeah. been abandoned for over 13 years. Let me know if the After volume's all good, everyone. from nearby residents who mentioned that the abandoned building was an eyesore, a potential crime hotspot, and that it was lowering the value of their properties, Fuck. the no, mayor stop. of Cleveland no, I'm thinking about old to people. turn the rundown old <laughs> building into a high-quality, mixed-income housing unit for the community. Although the idea is still in the planning stages and the city needs more funding to complete the project, the plan is for the renovations to begin by the end of 2024. For now, Robert Fulton Elementary remains one of the creepiest abandoned schools in the country. In May of 2023, Chris Hill, again from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill, uploaded a yeah, video he sure in which finds he made a, a second shit, visit huh? to the boarded up abandoned <laughs> elementary school. The first video he made of the school was back in 2022. During his first visit, he heard strange humming, chanting, creaking, and banging noises coming from different rooms. Nah, hold on. Strange humming. <laughs> Look at that one thumbnail. I was thinking about it. I just didn't say anything. <laughs> I was I, I was like in mid-chew. I don't want to talk. Exploring abandoned insane asylum. Girls scream scary. That is so... <laughs> I hate this so uh... fucking much. <laughs> And look at these. Oh, That's God, awful. These four teens. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. That's it. Yeah, the school was back in 2022. They look like Freddy Freaker. During his first visit, he heard strange <laughs> humming, <laughs> chanting, creaking, <laughs> they got the same noises wow. from different rooms. This was part of the description <laughs> in the first video. Most sections of the building are falling apart, and the water and elements have done irreversible damage to the structure. That's what Goose's IRL content will look like. Oh my god, look, Catbird has the risk getting robbed. Oh, yeah, members. they made that one. They made With it. That being said, I heard weird yeah. noises and other various things during my exploration. After these incidents, the vast majority of people would have been too terrified to even think of going back. But two years later, Chris decided to make a second visit to the school alone at 1 a.m. Didn't they link their video to an actual murder? Who? Sam and Colby? Wait, who are you talking about? I don't know. That's no. just what Master Penis said. From the very beginning of the footage, it's clear that Robert Sam Fulton Colby. Elementary belongs in a different category of abandoned oh. buildings than most others. I, I, I don't know anything about What stands about out the most about the building is the fact that just over a decade well, ago, children were learning video. in those classrooms, running and I know, I know, but like, I don't know anything about them linking a video to an actual murder. Halls, and now it looks more like something out of a horror movie than a school. The eeriness of the location, hey, the pitch darkness, Are and the extreme state of ear? the decay of the building all contribute to the school's incredibly creepy atmosphere. No scratching and not a ears lot of people in my would dare go in there at night, much less alone. For a building that has only been abandoned for 13 years, Robert Fulton Elementary Excuse is in a much me, worse state years? than other buildings that um, have been vacant for much longer. But this is kind of creepy the mind as he that it's only been abandoned for 13 years. It looks walls, so bad. Random debris lying all over the floor. As he ventures yeah. deeper into the school, Chris starts People really fuck up noises, shit when they, they know they have free reign to, around, to just fuck up shit. He his exploration <laughs> in the chilling silence. Yeah. The underlying structure in some of the rooms on the upper floor seems extremely Oh, I actually unstable. have to feed Biro too. But Chris shows she knows she has to eat because I'm eating. So by avoiding the surfaces that crack under his Okay. After about 15 minutes of exploring the, the top floors, Chris goes down into reaction. the basement, Sorry, which dog. is arguably the most deteriorated part of the school. Ear scratch As he explores reaction. the dark rooms, he finds some indications that other people could be living there. Interestingly, he also finds what appears to be a boiler room that's been flooded with water. Imagine going to sleep one day and just waking up here. Oh my god. I would cry. Whoa! Huh? 
At around the 30 minute mark, a loud banging noise can be heard coming from one of the rooms, and it becomes very clear that Chris is not alone. As he steps into one of the classrooms, he finds a very eerie message written on the chalkboard, which reads, Don't explore alone, as well as a paper sign on the door that reads, Keep out. This Despite is the stupid. clear warnings, he goes inside, shit. only to find more signs this that sucks. somebody's living there. This is where Chris's visit to Robert Fulton Elementary takes a very chilling turn. Sprints out of the building to safety, hoping that, is that the so man fucking wasn't funny. following him. That's not even if scary. You look closely at the footage, you can see the outline of the screaming man when Chris peels back the curtain to his room. Oh. Upon reviewing the footage later that night, he found Wait, I missed it? Even sure, I'll play it again. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need to change your pants. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a stock scream. I, that's so fucking funny. God. Upon reviewing the footage later that night, he found something else even more unsettling. When he first walked into the building, his camera yeah, caught something. Yeah, he did he scream the like time. the goose emote. In the distance, that a man's shadow can be seen walking into one of the rooms. <laughs> it's not clear where the man went after that, but oh, based wow. on the strange noises Chris heard throughout his visit, yeah, it's very that. likely That's that totally the man real. was watching him all along. Although the scream was terrifying to hear, and we can only imagine what Goose's Chris dad yelling at that moment. It's worth mentioning that the room Goose's was dad yelling at Goose's cousin when he walked from in. From the squatter's perspective, it was probably just as terrifying to see a random man pull back the curtain to his room. <laughs> These kinds of encounters can often get violent very quickly. Oh my god, that's so funny. But thankfully, Chris once again made it out safely. Oh. He hasn't uploaded new footage of the location since then. I mean, is it just me or do these people actually this probably lace the videos with, like, lace. stuff? Just so it's, just so it's like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Lace. One day, as he was riding content. his motorcycle Otherwise, they're just exploring the highway in a building. Yeah. He noticed an abandoned no, house it's definitely. That's what they're thinking. It's so not real. No. From the very beginning of yeah. the footage, it becomes clear that somebody has already been there. That's still, like, I don't know. The, the concept is still scary. Unlike many abandoned buildings, Even if it's you like tell fake. this house used to be beautiful before it was well, I know. vacated. Just somebody that lives in an abandoned place. Visit, yeah, in the like that lady. Day. That lady was genuinely super That was genuine. That had to be real. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There's no way it's not. Heebie-jeebies, dude. <laughs> Lace the video. <laughs> heebie-jeebies, dude, is the whitest thing I've ever heard like, in my life. I got the heebie-jeebies scoop. Row, row. Ooh, would you go in there? Fuck no! No, my my brother, oh, my um, my brother, my fucking mom's brother, my uncle, I guess. I think I hear something. In Mexico, uh, I didn't. This isn't the one that I told you about with the tragic fucking story. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I'll tell that story <laughs> on stream another day. But um, there's one in Mexico that that died and has like a fucking house. And uh, my mom, I was like super young, super super young, like four or five. Super young. Super super young. And she was cleaning out the house, um, mm -hmm. and she went downstairs in the basement. It was really dark. I was scared of the basement when I was a kid because, you know, it's a fucking scary dark basement. She went downstairs to clean up, and she came back up. She, she was just, like, shook very clearly. Something scared her, and she just, yeah. like, took me away. I don't remember what happened in between. She, I don't remember what she said because I, I was super young. Super young. I, super young. <laughs> super young. <laughs> but it, it was like she had seen something in the basement, and it's it it really scared me. Even though I never saw it myself, it's just like that <laughs> face she made was like, oh god, holy fuck. Ugh. She yeah. like made the face of like like. Can like, you do it? <laughs> can I do the face? Yeah, right now. Okay. Like that. Ugh, that yeah, is creepy. right. Yeah, it's it's really. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Do the roar. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. We missed it. No, I heard it. I think I hear somebody. I think I hear something. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ew, what, what happened? Ew, did you hear? <laughs> 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 he 
He got so scared he go for what? Yeah. And he reviews the footage. He's like, "That that wasn't me, guys. I'm really scared." <laughs> Derek goes down to explore one of the rooms on the bottom floor, and this is where he hears a disturbing thud. Terrified, he makes a run for it, and even trips and falls on his way out. But eventually, he gets back on his motorcycle and flees the location. As per one of the most popular theories proposed by viewers, the noise was probably made by a homeless person who was trying to warn Derek to get out of his home. Although squatters don't spend all their time lurking in the shadows, it's common for them to use the darkness as a tool when someone comes into the Stop it, would you? Out. Stop it, squatters. Stop it. <laughs> They're not animals. <laughs> they, use the sh they use the shadows to shield themselves like a tool. <laughs> it's a basic rule of urban exploration that if you hear a loud noise upon entering a room, you should probably leave. Sometimes squatters make a noise as a first and final warning to drive visitors away respectfully. Shut up! Stop! Forward, They're not he may have been attacked by whoever was hiding in the darkness. They'll bark at you first. It's a natural impulse to call out and announce your presence in these kinds of situations, but squatters will very rarely answer these calls in a normal way. Nobody likes to be seen living in those conditions, and more often than not, the response will be rather aggressive and sometimes even violent. Fortunately, in this case, Derek was able to get away I mean, from the potentially dangerous situation. Yes, just but in like time. the way he's just narrating it makes it seem like they're a different type in of In central breed, Ontario, like, Canada, creature. there's a small community south of Port <laughs> Elgin known as North Bruce. And the urban explorer who uploaded this video, the reason for the name was that there was once an occult high priest who lived in the mansion Air on the bike? in which the townspeople yeah, used know, to think there was paranormal activity due to the occult really rituals Sorry. the priest <laughs> used to perform in his home. <laughs> the mansion has since been abandoned, <laughs> and as of today, oh, nobody yeah. wants to buy oh, we it gotta do another Ouija board chilling someday. atmosphere and sketchy past. Yeah. According to John, some renovations have been made sporadically since the house was vacated, but as of the video's upload, the house was still abandoned. In 2019, John sent out to explore the mansion alone at night. The common squatter. In comparison to other abandoned buildings, the mansion seems to be in relatively good shape, except for the garage, which has clearly seen better days. About five Canadian minutes into the exploration, cultists? John wait, starts to hear strange wait, noises so upstairs. What did you get from Burger King? Oh, hi. <laughs> well, I just ate my melt, and it's really fucking tasty. It really was. Oh, you had one of those melts? Mm hmm I had the melts, oh the fries, and um, the chicken fries, because I like them a lot. Wow. Um, so you did get Biki. Yeah, I did, I did get Biki. <laughs> Biki. Biki. <laughs> no, it was really, really good. The melt is fucking great. I got the mushroom one, because I like mushroom Estrogen burgers. Estrogen melt? My <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's, I was fucking it off screen. <laughs> um <gasps> No, it was really tasty. My favorite burgers are the ones with the mushrooms and the cheese. I don't know. The mushroom blue? Swiss know. cheese? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's my favorite burger of all time. Aww. But they seem to quiet down as soon as he hey, climbs honey, the set of stairs. Mm, yes, I think. I've been here instead of stairs. We'll give you a bit of treats for the last I time I mean, today. I really hope that it's paranormal. Noted. Thanks, <laughs> girl. Thanks, the average school water. <laughs> Come on, quit messing with me. I'm just trying to freaking. I I'll leave. Why is DSP urban exploring? A bad situation. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh oh. Disturbingly, as he walks around upstairs, the noises can be heard again, even louder this time, leading John to think that perhaps someone else is in there messing with him. Although he mentions loudly to whoever is in there with him that his only intention is to explore and that he doesn't want to bother anyone, whoever was making the noise doesn't respond and continues hiding. The noises stop for a couple minutes. Chicken fries or nacho then fries? Then something terrifying happens. Chicken fries. You're thinking of uh, Wendy's. They have nacho fries. Oh my god, Freeland. Hello? Is there somebody here? I'm not here to bother or rob anything. I was just here exploring. I thought it was a baby. Was that, or was that a... Oh. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> the squatter is often known to scream obscenities. Disturbingly, a man's voice can be heard screaming, I'm gonna kill you. And before catching a glimpse of who it is... Oh, I can John see it. Is that him? Yeah. 
That's oh. really creepy. It is creepy. It's right there. You guys see it? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. He looks like a fucking monster. You and before catching a glimpse of who it is, John oh, runs out of the mansion him. immediately and doesn't look back until he's a safe distance away from the building. It's unknown who was in the house or how long they had been watching him, or even if they had bad intentions or were just messing with him. According to several viewers, I mean, I it's very don't think people that the mess with other people by saying, I'm gonna explorer. kill you. In the urban exploration community, people usually help each other out, and there's a sort of code that every explorer sticks to in order to help keep creepy locations as safe to visit as possible. If the other person in the house was another explorer, making noises in an abandoned house and screaming, I'm going to kill you, would obviously be very out of the ordinary. That leaves the question of who could have screamed at John. It's more than likely that it was just a homeless person who didn't want any visitors, but because John ran out before he could see anyone, this much will probably remain unknown forever. <laughs> Paranormal huh. squatter. Squatter. Squatter up. Squat up. Um. Well, that was cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was really cool. Thank you, whoever showed me that. It was me. I did. Oh, dis disturbing things I found on the internet? Oh, I love Lazy Masquerade. Would you guys be pissed if we watched this? <laughs> I really love <laughs> Lazy Masquerade a ton. Let's watch it. Really? Real. You give me permission? Pull on the Leon video yeah. I sent you. <laughs> Women. All right. Also, I'll be right back. Yeah, of course. Every time Leon says, women. Ugh, men. Yeah, women. You just want to impress her, don't you? <laughs> women. <laughs> women. 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 It's always something with women! Man, Leon sure says women an uncomfortable amount of times. More than I thought. I'll be real. I thought it was just that one time in uh, RE4. Men. I didn't even know. I never, well, first of all, I never even played this one. You just want to impress her, don't you? <laughs> women. <laughs> women. I hate this version of Leon. He sucks. Women. He's a fucking, he's a cool, no, I love, I still love Leon. <laughs> I can't even talk shit. He's really cool. But yeah, he's got a bit of misogyny in him, and I took a little bit of uh, inspiration from that. I hate women. That's weird. Okay. Um. All right, let's watch the. Uh, let's steal someone's content. Dude, Lazy's Lazy's intro is so, so cool. Lazy's fucking intro. It's the RE1, oh, speaking of RE, yeah. It's the RE1, like, mock-up intro. Oh, it's incredible. He did a great job. Well, whoever he hired did a great job. If he did it himself, I want to make out with him. But he's got, he's taken. The ghost marriage of little kitty. Oh. Chao Mao. More Little Kitty in English, was a Chinese influencer and live streamer with a sizable following. For years, she had uploaded fashion and beauty themed content to her 670,000 loyal fans on Douyin. Oh, sorry. Um, lower it. TikTok sister. Should be good, right? Young, attractive, and successful, Little Kitty appeared to be living the type of existence most folks can only dream of. And with every post, she only seemed to become more and more popular, with netizens drawn in by her natural charisma and charm. She was only 25 years old, but she was already a social media expert, said one of Little Kitty's closest friends. She was kind and very funny in everything she did, both online and off. But like most influencers, Little Kitty only let her adoring public see the highlight reel of her life. In the offline world, Little Kitty was Luo Maochi, a young woman who struggled with depression. The bubbly and smiley little kitty that everyone knew and loved cool, he's was got little cap, more than uh, captions. that Mao awesome. had created. A mask she wore to conceal her troubled reality. And that cheerful mask would occasionally slip, too, with some fans noticing the worrying marks that lined her wrists in certain photos. 
Oh, fuck. Even though Kitty had found some happiness through blogging and streaming, she always seemed to fall back into the blues. Jeez. That is, until 2019, when she began dating Zhao Ruolin, a basketball enthusiast with a small following on Douyin, whom she had fallen head over heels for. Ruolin had a fan base, sure, but it was many times smaller than Kitty's. Though, of course, that never even crossed her mind. Kitty had finally found someone who could reignite the spark inside of her, and that was more than enough. During their relationship, Kitty mentored Ruo Lin and encouraged him to post more frequently to his Duo Yim page. She taught him how to create more engaging content, how to get more impressions, and how to better spread his name online. All the while, she continuously promoted his page, sang his praises, and collaborated with him on videos. Over time, Ruo Lin's online presence grew until he reached a follower count of over 2 million people, eclipsing even little Kitty's following. It was around the time that he reached that milestone, in March 2021, that Ruo Lin took to his social media pages and dropped some staggering Hello, bombshells. I got my food. Hi there. He revealed Hi. to his entire audience that his now ex-girlfriend, Little Kitty, was an about, unstable uh, curry, curry udon with katsu. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I'm jealous. That mm. throughout their relationship. I'm jealous. Also, we're watching um, the uh, Lazy Masquerade stuff. She had manipulated him, oh. threatening to leap from rooftops whenever she didn't get her way. That she would often fake scars on her wrists using makeup for attention and sympathy. That she had cheated on him several times with rich men oh, that she had met online. And yeah, you didn't really know much. It's just like a, a Chinese celebrity. That little kitty was pregnant, <clears throat> and he feared the child wasn't his. And rather than handle all of this privately, he decided to announce this to the world, telling all of his fans that he couldn't take it anymore, and that he wanted nothing more to do with Little Kitty. Little As you can imagine, Kitty's <laughs> social media pages were flooded with negative comments, lambasting her and saying that she should leap from a rooftop. So does this guy read like real presence. stories? No, these are real. But as we all know, there's more than one side to every story. Have you seen the new next one? No, I wanted to, to watch hopes, that one though. Kitty took to her socials. I like how this became like a road trip stream to just like watching videos now. What she desperately <laughs> wanted to keep private. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay Kitty. with that. Plus, like, look, guys, we're we're in a different culture. Whoa. Olin had cheated on her numerous We're still in the car. Once still road trip. Yeah. Oftentimes, directly messaging his fans and inviting them to hook up. Screenshots of some of those conversations have since become public released by the very targets he tried to seduce. Kitty also showed off close-ups of her scars, which were obviously real, and provided medical records that prove she was receiving treatment for clinical depression. She stated that she had never been unfaithful to Ruo Lin, that the child most certainly was his, and that she had even asked him to take a paternity test before the birth. Ruo Lin had refused to do so. God. As a result, Kitty terminated the pregnancy. Ultimately, although her feelings for Ruo Lin had always been 100% authentic, she felt that he had simply used her to grow his online presence. Several of Little Kitty's real-world friends spoke out in her defense. None spoke up for Ruo Lin. Although we may never know for certain which side of this argument was being more truthful, what is all it's this worth weird, like, that Kitty was the only guy. one to provide evidence, backing up her version of events. I don't know. She also I dealt like with it. the situation with more grace keeping her posts respectfully <clears throat> worded, and only revealing what was necessary to defend herself from Ruo Lin's accusations. Last one. Last one. This whole ordeal had a powerful impact on Kitty's state of mind. Huh? It didn't help that Ruo Lin's family oh, continuously tuned into her live streams just oh. to leave vulgar comments about her appearance and personality, calling her every name under the sun. It's filler stock footage? Yeah. A few months passed, and eventually, Kitty moved on and found herself in a relationship with another man named Lee. Unfortunately, this one was destined to end even more disastrously. No! Oh god. Lee would use Kitty's bank account as his own personal piggy bank, and even scammed her into buying a house in his name. But that wasn't the worst of it. God, women can't take a fucking break. The one confirmed. <laughs> Little Kitty's friends claimed that in October of 2021, <clears throat> Especially she famous and Lee women. were spending some time alone together. At some point, yeah. Lee slipped something into Kitty's water, waited for her to you're fall asleep, and invited his You're pretty much only lucky if you get in a relationship over. before you're famous. The group then proceeded mm -hmm. to rape her. Kitty's friends urged her to report the incident to the authorities, but she refused. Regardless, Lee disappeared of his own accord. Like, honestly, your dating pool gets so fucking small when you become famous. Really Shortly does, thereafter, yeah. on October 14th, Like, you can't date a normal person because everybody's 
Like, you won't even have a, a shot at banks. getting in contact with Some a person. It's an indirect way to grab the attention of yeah. either Raw Lin or Lee. So you just have to date other celebrities. Whatever her motivation. And plus, celebrities also share your, you know, that your same social circle, your the same, like, she work that you guys do, out, so there's a lot more relatability. And rather than being her upbeat, happy self, she instead <clears> addressed <throat> her audience in a quiet. And all the famous people are as fucked up as you are. Yeah. So be like Snoop Dogg, everyone. In my contact. He hooked up with his high school but that uh, crush, sure. and they're still married to this day. As many of you know, <laughs> I've been dealing yeah. with a lot of stuff recently. And to be honest, I can't take it anymore. The stream continued on, with Kitty half-heartedly interacting with the chat. That is, until she let out an exasperated sigh and muttered, He's still not here yet. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? It was at that point that Kitty brought an object into frame. A clear plastic bottle filled with a dark brown liquid. She told her viewers it was filled with Thank a God. pesticide and that she was going to drink it. At this point, thousands of people were tuned into the stream, and whilst many begged for her to reconsider and get some rest, it's always the negative voices that stand out. And this being the internet, hundreds of people were egging her on, telling her to chug down the liquid and get it over with quickly. Just go ahead and do it, wrote one viewer. Stop wasting everyone's time. <clears throat> Some of them may have thought they were being funny. Others perhaps thought that little kitty was joking and that the bottle was full of cola. Royal Lin's fans may have meant what they typed. Kitty read some of those negative comments aloud. Oh man. They were nothing new. She had received countless hurtful messages in recent months. But that evening, they didn't fuel her sadness. They fueled her resolve. Appearing the happier she had all stream. Little Kitty raised her bottle, almost as if toasting her viewers, and thanked them all for watching, before calmly drinking down the liquid oh my God. in one go. She held up the near-empty bottle, showed off the last few drips inside, and proclaimed, Wow, that tasted awful. Oh my gosh. Shortly thereafter, Kitty's calm demeanor melted away. Haha, <laughs> you really did it, wrote one viewer. Good for you, wrote another. Still on stream, Kitty began drinking glass after glass of water before clutching at her throat and gasping heavily. The live stream then abruptly ended. Many assumed that the stream had just been a stunt, but the following day they found out that little Kitty wasn't bluffing. Media publications announced that she had passed away after ingesting diluted pesticide. Oh my god. After ending the stream the night prior, Kitty had immediately called 120. China's medical emergency number. She explained her situation, and an ambulance quickly arrived at her home in Shandong. But it was too late. So she tried. Her to... insides had already been damaged beyond repair, and she passed while receiving treatment at a local hospital. Wow. She was then transported to a funeral home in Jinning City. Her family arrived, and she was cremated. Which brings us to ghost <laughs> Biru mages, being Portuguese in America, <laughs> as they're known in the Middle Kingdom. A practice which involves both a bride and a groom, neither of them <clears throat> alive. During a Yim marriage, the remains of both the soon-to-be husband and wife, whom, more often than not, were strangers in life, are brought together to be married in a formal ceremony, during which their bodies are buried together. This ceremony is performed for several reasons. This is so happy. <laughs> First, because superstitious families believe that anyone who passes without a partner is doomed to spend the afterlife alone. And that this can bring Damn, that's fucked to up. Still living <laughs> and secondly, because families with more traditional values you hear that, everybody? it shameful to have an unwed daughter. It's going to be forever. And thirdly, because some families wish to adhere to Jesus. certain cultural norms, <laughs> such as how a younger brother should marry before their elder brother. Is that brother. worse than hell? So if big brother should pass unexpectedly before he could wed, a year marriage could You're going to be jerking issue. off in the afterlife. It's important to note that you behind a glass wall of like other people and being happy. I want to happy. stress that the practice is condemned by the vast majority of the population, and not All just because neither of the deceased can agree sit to the there, wedding. Hump. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's far from unheard of. Furiously for a watching other people have a great time with their partners. Another family's dead son, and given China's population imbalance due to their former one-child policy, that's it crazy. is almost so, exclusively that's women so being sold. Weird. Often. For large just, sums of money. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> this is particularly common in Shandong. <laughs> I know that sounds way worse than it actually is. But no, it's just like, just the fact that they the they sold her 
with the average dead body being to another dead person to seventy thousand that, that in itself is a about crazy seven thousand to ten thousand dollars it's so profitable in fact that certain entrepreneurs will go around cemeteries and dig up products did the other sell. dead person want to buy that as a result some wealthy families it, they're doing it so that they don't spend the afterlife alone so that's what they did with her body and another dead person's. Choose to bury their loved ones in concrete coffins uh, fitted with CCTV cameras. That way, they can prove that their daughter is still resting in peace. The rare, there have been documented cases of gangs murdering women specifically to sell them as ghost brides. Wow. After all, the fresher the bride, the higher the price tag. And in the minds of the most depraved businessmen, it's smarter to just create their own inventory. There are even names for the three tiers of brides that can be purchased from such salespeople. That is insane. The top tier are called fresh ones. What? Negotiations for a fresh one can begin mere minutes after the bride has passed. Or in some cases, while she's still alive, fighting this for her life. This is fucking real? Yeah. Then there are wet bodies. Those between a few weeks and a few months old. The lowest quality brides are known as dried meat. Unfortunately, when it comes to yin marriages, this is so human fucking insane. Limits. And being young, beautiful, and unmarried at the time of her end, little kitties could be sold for a hefty sum, especially considering her fresh status. Her parents would never agree to such a sale, though. They were modern, well educated people. Not the type of superstitious folk who would subscribe to such a practice. Okay. And so, while her loved ones waited outside the crematorium, three staff members at her funeral home, surnamed Xiao, Shang, and Lei, secretly filled an urn with powder and stole little kitty's real ashes. God. Safe to say, this wasn't their first rodeo. Wait, they said that they, they, they got powder and like swapped it out? Yeah. Like Indiana Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like a like, boulder chasing them? You know what's so funny though? Like they could have just done that without the ashes. They like they could have just had that instead. But they're so fucking nefarious and so shitty that they had to steal the real ashes. They swapped it out and it was like da 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 They were like the running away from the big <laughs> from the rat police. poison boulder. <laughs> a rat poison boulder? That's actually fucked up. <laughs> The pesticide? You're awful. The deal fell through when their prospective the brown liquid? The You're terrible. Minute. Following this, they contacted like a, a second... Like a giant bottle of like brown liquid that she drank? <laughs> They're actually really awful for saying that. You're the one who keeps adding to it! The same exact one she used? You're terrible. Potential customer, who not Rat only poison out, slushy? but ended up reporting the trio to the authorities. When apprehended, the wife of one of the men reportedly <laughs> said to an officer, What's the problem? It's not a big deal. Thankfully, little Kitty's ashes have since been returned to her family. This okay. is so sad. The story of little Kitty has since sparked Even a wave in her of debate death, across the Chinese-speaking just... internet, with many discussing whether those who egged yeah. her on to drink the pesticide should face legal repercussions. At the very Kitty's least, her fucking tried to take action against one back. user in particular, who left an inordinate amount of cruel messages. A user with the screen name, you're the most precious. His basketball profile picture suggests that he was a fan of Rua Lin's. However, other than Doi Yin deleting his account, their case against the user didn't go anywhere. As for the three men who tried to sell Kitty's remains, I've used that I can't before. find any information about their sentencing online. At least this not one? in English. Yeah. Wow. I hope they paid for their actions. Somebody caressing I the search button with their little digital finger. Both the offline yeah. world and the online. And I hope little Kitty can finally rest in peace. She deserves that much at least. I hated that story. That wasn't happy at all. That was really fucking cool. Half Life 2's Dark Secret? It was oh really gosh. dark. Hang on. There's a dark secret in Half Life 2? Sorry, I just took this uh -huh. includes images that may disturb some viewers. If you'd like you to took gamer to subset. Entry, you can do so using the time Midnight? on the progress bar. Released in 2004 to both critical you and took commercial gamer success, after buying it with code Choco to get 10% off your the most influential and groundbreaking every purchase, yeah. Games of all time. 
Developed and published by the legendary Valve Corporation, this second installment in the Half-Life series was originally intended to have a much Guys, darker, put code grittier, there. and overall more somber <laughs> tone. <laughs> just, just pin it. Traces of that can still be found in the end product, especially in areas like Ravenholm. But perhaps one of the creepiest things you can encounter in the game Corpse 01? is this. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Corpse that is one of the fucking worst DL. corpses in the game. If you're familiar with Source Engine games, you'll most certainly have met this fellow at some point. You know what? Hmm. Now that I think about it, I really should have done a video on that, because that is a very horrifying piece of te like texture. With regards to Half-Life 2, it is. you'll find many of these models streamed unceremoniously it does throughout real. the campaign. They're generally used as props for some eerie environmental storytelling. The fallen humans that you pass on your journey, who've met with a variety of terrible fates, positioned in ways that let the player fill in the blanks with their imagination. I don't know why, I thought someone said face reveal <laughs> when that popped up, <laughs> but it just says, isn't that real? But far more disturbing than any NPC's hypothetical backstory is the disturbing reality of this model itself. Despite Half-Life 2 having cutting-edge graphics for the time it was released, Something about this model's face always seemed to be a bit too realistic. It looks and while browsing real. through the r slash creepy gaming subreddit, I came across this SpongeBob meme, which hinted that the texture may have an extremely dark origin, one that most people didn't know about. Oh, and after fuck, doing a little digging, eating. I found out that what? was true. No, no, someone in chat said Corpse One's facial texture had been taken from a real-life photo, really? a close-up shot of a man's body, one whose face had been completely burnt off. For obvious reasons, I can't show that photo here on YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna look it up. Oh my god. It's pretty much identical to the in-game model's facial texture. The only difference being that in the real photo, the man still has one of his eyes mostly intact. Oh! For the in-game texture, an artist simply duplicated the man's empty eye socket. Perhaps they thought keeping a natural life Why would they do that? was a step too far. From what I can find online, the photo was taken from a medical textbook used to teach students about burns. The images used in such textbooks are sourced from all over the place. This has led many people to speculate oh my fucking about God, who this man yeah. was in life and how he came to meet such a terrible Sunday. fate. Oh, come strangely, on. despite sure. the man's face being completely you don't think burned I should up, look at it? his neck, chest, Listen up, and even protective hair remain over undamaged. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to think of an stop? explanation for how this man, <laughs> uh, whoever he was, could have sustained yeah, such a wound accidentally. I, I don't think you should see it. It almost feels like the burning has to have been done to him intentionally. And I've seen many people repeating the same explanation. I could just look it up myself. Okay, he was the you really curious? You really want to see it? And that they used yeah. a blowtorch to melt his okay. face off and make an example of him. Here. That would explain I'm gonna why delete his hair is intact. Alright. But even though that story keeps getting Here. repeated as if it were fact, there's absolutely no evidence that this oh, man why would you show me that? What the, the fuck you? Oh, stop it. Stop Listen, it. I think there's a more innocent explanation. Have nightmares. Yeah, innocent is the right would word. Would you stop? Use. <laughs> many people mm. donate their remains to science, and many of those That's are used to be alive. Students. <clears throat> I no, think it's dead. far more likely that a medical practitioner took one of those cadavers and torched the facial area specifically <laughs> as a teaching <laughs> example. At least, I hope that's the case. Since the photo's online fingerprint can only be traced back to 2011, that means that, that some crazy. employee at Valve must have scanned a copy of a textbook and imported the texture into the game. Is he oh, I don't know, maybe he just got it out. And definitely without asking permission from the deceased or it's his relatives. Half -Life Probably a Mexican cartel victim. Cycle, so this may have been done as a time-saving measure. It's it's very much. Right. It looks intentional. Like it doesn't seem like a accidental fire. It is super clean. Like very much just the face. Like his hair isn't even burned. Yeah. Just in his entire face is just clean, burnt off. Mm. Right boxes have been tipped, and the image you, was you a royalty-free stock did. photo. Mm. But still, didn't tell any of their player base about the texture's origin, did you ask leaving me to? them to interact with a real body How in Half-Life like 2. Role player him in Gary's mod. How could you do that to me? I'm just an imp. Most of them ignorant about the texture's less than wholesome backstory. That being said, I suppose it's possible that nobody at Valve even realized the disturbing origin of the texture themselves. That's to say. It may have come in a third-party asset library without its origin being explicitly Maybe? noted. Off the top of my head, Maybe? I can't think of many games that feature real photos of dead people. They killed the, the guy for the study. Yeah. Batman the enemy within. But many others have used morbid references for their models. For instance, 
Several of Bioshock's splicer enemies were based on World War I soldiers who underwent pioneering facial surgeries. Mortal That's Com something I, I think more people should talk about. Yeah, okay, this. A, a lot of game developers go through um, a lot of psychological damage because of the sort of shit that they have to like texture in or, or put in their games. Like, I think, infamously, it was um, Dead Space, where a lot of the, the programmers and the the designers had to actually look at real uh, victims of car crashes to get, like, a, a feel of how the, uh, the the monsters should look like. I forgot what they're called. Jeez. What, the, what are they called? The endomorphs? The necromorphs? Ne yeah, well, whatever. Necromorphs. They're, yeah, the necromorphs. They, they had to, like really look at actual dead bodies and like car crash bodies are some of the fucking worst you can see yeah they're really mangled up and fucked up yeah about 11 developers looked at obliterated bodies to design their infamous fatalities yeah leaving one staff member needing therapy and as for valve themselves and you know what and that's also the same with um facebook facebook you know there's a lot of content that goes through facebook that needs to be deleted or it's reported, right? Yeah, the people that, like, are in charge of doing that. Mm -hmm. They get, a lot of them get fucking horrible psychological damage from that shit. Because yeah. it's, like, actual, you know, criminal shit. Just, like, shit. awful shit. Yeah. I'm not yeah. even going to say, but I guess you get, like, think of the worst thing. They've seen it. Yeah. The team on Left 4 Dead 2 yeah. would create a nightmare folder full of stomach-churning real images. But found this type of research to be so gratuitous and unnecessary that they didn't make use of any of them in game, instead basing their zombie designs on things like housing insulation and potato skins. So it seems Valve did learn their lesson in the end, and you can be sure that if Half-Life 3 ever does get announced, this texture will almost certainly not be making a reappearance. Unfortunately, this isn't the only texture in Half-Life 2 based on a real person with a sad backstory. You know, I feel like I've seen that in Alex. They're not directly ripped from real-life photos. Hey, look, it's Alex. Many of the human characters in-game are modelled on actual people, Mostly actors, Valve employees, and their families, all of whom are credited in game. All of them, that is, except for the facial reference for Eli Barnes. While searching for inspiration for the character's face, Valve's graphic designer, Randy Linden, passed a homeless man holding a sign saying he was looking for work. Since the man had a, quote, interesting appearance, Randy asked him to come back to the studio and have his face scanned into the game I and return for a few bucks. The developers never even took note of the man's name, and he was never credited in any of the games he appeared in. Despite being immortalized in one of the most legendary games of all time, we still don't know who this man is. It makes you wonder whether he's even aware of how well known his face has become. Whoever he is, I hope he's still out there somewhere, and doing okay. What's your life ends? It is! You're right, girl. <laughs> That was a cool story. I'm sorry I showed you that photo. A subreddit where mm. people use throwaway accounts to share their deepest and darkest secrets. Though more often than not, Stop the it. posts Very either revolve around personal dramas or cheating spouses. But every so often, you'll stumble upon a truly dark revelation. The R confession? Like this post, oh God. made by an anonymous user ten months ago. I know the person. Who possibly committed an unsolved Thanks for the gift murder. sub, Ringus335. Ringus! Top so I'll start by saying this. I'm not entirely sure that this is true, so take it with a grain of salt. How about My I take it with a two years bag of is salt? A <laughs> uh, what officer. does that mean, grain of salt? He's been through some shit in terms uh, of war, and its ramifications as far as PTS and paranoia goes. I don't fucking know, it doesn't make sense. Walk. And I work at a grocery store okay. down the street. <laughs> I do little jobs for him, bring him things from I've the always store, wondered myself. stuff like that. One day, after I it come back from the school, I know, but like, why, why, why grain of salt? From. Basically, Maybe superstition? he was adopted by these two rich folks and moved Maybe into the house Maybe you don't want it to be too salty. Ill, yuck. Ugh. This town he lived in and grew up in was your basic. A grain of salt is the most seasoning a British offer. person can handle, so there might be like that. Small town oh yeah. He yeah. resorted to drinking and doing drugs. <laughs> well, Ringus, thanks again for the gift sub to Cleric Gira. Congrats. He was dating this one girl that he really liked. I'm not going to give her a name for reasons that'll soon become obvious, but she went to his school and was quite pretty and popular. 
in his words, mm -hmm. she was finally I have the baby alien give. His name is Ackroyd. I finally got my chance. Baby alien. <laughs> One day. A alien. No, I, th I think they're talking about baby she alien. To go back home. <laughs> okay. But this was a lie that she told. Do you not know baby so alien? With another guy no. Me and my friends happened to go to that park too. He told me. And we see her with this popular guy that I hated. I went up to the car, shot her in the head with my twenty two, okay. and shot him in the chest. Now I know. So he wouldn't die quickly. Yeah, baby so he alien. Could sit there and and bus. The yeah. <laughs> I defensively sat there. And went along with Hypo all of this Hypo BS. God damn it. But Hypothesis of the phrase the origin evidence. include Pliny, Pliny the Elder's the that night naturalist What is that? Yeah. Sounds like, that sounds like a fucking you, Middle I Earth book. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's like off of really Bilbo's fucking do, bookshelf. You know, it's really, really cool that you know Lord of the Rings. But he's never talked like that to me, so... It's genuinely super cool. No, it's fucking awesome. Crazy. It's really cool. Uh, regarding the discovery, a girl. I was no, it's just cool to have a friend. Documentaries so that likes it. <laughs> it's cool to have a friend. It's cool to have a friend. You're my only <laughs> friend, Chocolate Media. Everything lined up wow. to um, I see you like Lord of the Rings. When this popular I love Lord of the Rings, yeah. Viewed by hundreds of thousands of people. I watched oh, all three movies uh, and the extended call. version, so I watched like 12 hours of it. Yeah, me too. That's really fucking fun. I don't know what to oh, do with this. I'd watch it again. I would too. Every documentary I've watched on the incident it's shows dope. me the it's dope. my Fuck. neighbor. All right, let's do it. The things. Should just stream where we're just watching it off screen. This happened many decades <laughs> yeah. ago, and I truly don't know what to think of it. Why did he tell oh, me? Oh, we should. This? Why would he? We're gonna have the timestamp like right here. Why would he have all those missing pieces yeah. of evidence that dozens of documentaries Sounds say fun. are missing? My only thought at this point um, is for some reason regarding the discovery of the audio and constructed all of the evidence. No, you can't put the audio, no. Really? You can't even put the audio of a movie? Uh-uh. No, because uh, bots can automatically find... In fact, the audio is probably worse. Bots can automatically oh. find the audio. What if we just put a sliver of the movie at the very top? Oh, you mean like Adult Swim? Hold up. We're not even paying attention to this story. I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Uh, prank? D they did something really fucking funny. Where they had the entirety of the whole movie at the bottom right. I hope I can find it. Oh my gosh. Oh, what was it? Oh, come on. Oh, it's right there. Lower left corner of TV screen. Yeah, here it is. It's the whole fucking movie. The whole movie right here on the bottom left. <laughs> and this is, I'm not even kidding. This is a full length movie that came out in theaters. <laughs> yeah. And they just have it playing on the bottom left. <laughs> Throughout the entire night on April Fools. What if you That's and friends. Great. What if you and friends do a dub of the movie of Lord of yeah, the Rings? Yeah, uh, no. No, no, <laughs> That's no. That's so much work. That's really a lot, and I don't have that many friends. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, I know. I mean, like, think about it. How many fucking people are casted in that movie? Like, 300, 400 people? Like, five. Like, five, yeah. It's Bilbo? There's Frodo. Bilbo? There's Bilbo. Wait, Bilbo's not really... Daisy streamed the extended cut in her Discord and just talked on stream. That's so smart. So you just stream it in your Discord, and then... Oh! And then you stream. Oh. What's the point of being on stream? I guess just to, like... No, no, that'd be cool. Okay, think about it, think about it. It's, it's like, me in the theaters, and there's, like, just a bunch of rows of seats, and I can have anybody I want be there. Like, guests and shit. And you can use the Fuji Tech uh, thing to, like, just put them in the chairs <clears throat> and shit. It like, wouldn't work that way, though. No? You'd have to, like... The whole point of streaming the movie would be in Discord for, like, your viewers, right? Yeah. But I know, you I have know. to be in Discord to be in the call with somebody else. I guess so, yeah. I wish we could, uh... We can't even source individually? 
I mean, I guess can. it could work. We can do that, yeah. But I wouldn't have that many guests. I mean, that's a lot of sources. But still, I think that'd be fun. And we could just talk about it, commentate, and it would just say, like, in the bottom right, like, exclamation mark Discord if you want to join and watch. And then people could just watch. No, that'd be fine. Yeah. Let's but do it. You'd have a new source every time someone joins. Yeah, because they, they'd give me the individual source thingy URL. Yeah, no, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let's finally use Twitch's uh, co-op stream thingy, whatever. Oh, yeah. Let's actually organize this. That'd be fun. Okay. Scary. Sorry, just taking a break from all that horrifying shit we were watching. Yeah. I'm trying to help you guys have a good night, you know? Yeah. Was Biro ever this small? No, Biro was huge. It actually got smaller over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like Clifford the Red Dog, except like small. Like she shrunk down. Clifford the Benjamin Button Dog. Yeah. Look up Raccoon Whisperer. Oh, I know this video. Shouldn't do that. She's the dude that feeds. <laughs> this dude? The dude that feeds all the raccoons? This is not a raccoon, this is a deer, in fact. Shut up. This video is not even the one that they want you to watch. <clears throat> Guys, you want to see the elegance of a fucking deer? It's just like a deer that can fucking like. Look at the elegance of this deer. <laughs> Thanks for the fart noise. This is how Choco complains. <laughs> that is how I complain. Yeah. He hears me do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do. Alright, this one? Yeah, that one. Modded. Oh, mobbed by raccoons. Oh. Mobbed by raccoons. And starts off. What the fuck? This is gonna be fun now. Stupid. Right. I thought you were gonna do something different, like mobbed by raccoons, and then you hear like, "Give us the food, she." No. Let's get it there. Forest much. kitties. Forest friends. Look at these fat Look at those fuckers. Fat ass raccoons. It's winter wow. time, so they're um having a raccoon time. Oh my god, they're fighting. Stop it! That's Stop us. it! Stop that is actually us. Jesus. Look at them. Look at look look at this. They're really going at it. That's crazy. And then they go right back to eating. Like, shit ain't happen. Yeah, that's how they squash beef. This is why animals are so fucking cute and amazing. They fucking squash beef like this. You Instantly. sound like one of those stupid posts that we made fun of that one time. Yeah? <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Where they're like, gosh, we have so much we could learn from animals. Yeah, I hate those people. I fucking hate those people. Yes. <laughs> Dude, he's giving them hot dogs straight up. I want to live in this place. Like, yeah. <laughs> I want to be a live fat in the forest. Right? You just, you just wander up like Ready? naked. You're just like, I want a hot. I want a. I'm a hungry little raccoon. You see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. <laughs> you just like shamble up naked. 
I'm a fat little know, raccoon and I need some food. Oh <laughs> Nutrients for yeah, the winter, Papa. <laughs> Hold on. Strad gave me a video that he said uh, this is Goose when he gets mad at Joko. Okay. I, I'm assuming it's going to be something awful. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so mad? Why is he so angry? What fucking episode is that? Wait, I want to play Perfect Cell's theme. Why, whenever I saw that, did my fucking brain, like, automatically photoshop the, the fucking, like, basketball jersey on him? Might as well. I literally looked at that and, like, I saw the basketball jersey on him. I don't... You too! <laughs> It's a really good song, honestly. What a cool fucking theme, yeah. It's not the real theme, but you know, it's really cool. I think the ones they did for America were pretty cool. No, no, the American. Made it like cool for a Western audience. And they had different themes: Frieza, Cell, and Boo. Yeah. He's been feeding these raccoons for generations. They bring their babies and shit. They used to be skinny. That's Thank not winter that. fat. All right. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> I like how go. <laughs> they bring their babies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Cell is fucking bawling. I'd be crying too if Gohan looked at me like that. <laughs> this is me oh feeding my, God, my look, chat. Look, I mean a little Twitter ooh ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and why'd you make that Twitter goose? Go ahead, tell them all. It's like children coming up to Santa. Because it was Pride Month. Yeah, I made it for Pride Month. And that's it. Because I made you. You didn't make me. You did it. You didn't make me in my career. I made you. Look at this little Mexican looking one. I get the whole woods here. Why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. He had the Mexican haircut. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Alright, this is... I don't know why I'm watching this. Okay. Let's watch creepy stuff. Alright, enough of this. Uh, let's watch creepy stuff. Let's watch creepy stuff. Disturbing things. Oh. Now, these videos might be disturbing to you guys. But, if you look closely... You might see something odd. That's how he talks. I love Nexpo. I really do. I don't, I don't hate him. Please, Nexpo, please. We already watched Nostalgia Critics' Eight Crazy Nights review. Wait, before you watch this, can you watch this? No, I don't wanna. Stand up special. Okay. Can I show it on chat? Yeah, you or can show stream? it on stream. Yeah. Sorry. Ketamine. Aretha. In his new Netflix stand up special, Pete Davidson revealed <laughs> that he was high on ketamine at Aretha Franklin's funeral in 2018, which he attended with his then fiance, Ariana Grande. And that he made an inappropriate joke to Aretha Franklin's family as a result of being under the influence. In his special, Pete said that he had to stop doing hard drugs because, quote, you can't be a drug addict in your 30s. He revealed that he had been taking ketamine for two to three years, which he referred to as a magical drug. Ketamine is an yeah. anesthetic that's recreationally <laughs> used for hallucinogenic purposes. He admits that looking back on this time is quote embarrassing now that he stopped his hard drug use. Reflecting on Aretha's funeral, he said, I was so high, I thought it was a good idea to go up to Aretha's family and say, hey, I'm just here to pay my R-E-S-P-E-C-T-S. -E -E of course, mm -hmm. referencing one of her most famous songs. Mm -hmm. He's been open about his struggles with mental health and his drug abuse, entering a rehab last year to take care of himself. In his new Netflix stand up I mean, did they laugh, Davis though? Revealed that he was high on Probably TV. not. Really? Probably fucking not. Aretha Franklin would have loved that joke. <laughs> she would have loved that fucking That's joke. That's so insensitive. Gosh, you know what? Some people can be just so fucking uptight. <laughs> 
So you're dead. So what? We all die. Shut the fuck up. She was old. I know, but come. R -E -S -E -T -E -T. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> That's what ketamine means to me. I love how he like he feels like shame over it now. Now he does, yeah. Strad, what was she gonna do? Live forever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's Holy shit! Dead. Yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see Strad drunk at somebody's funeral, screaming that at the. That is gonna be Strad someday. Holding a bottle. For the first few months, nothing out of the ordinary. Look, I know Choco's dead, but she was very important to me. Oh shit! I don't live forever. <laughs> that bitch dead. Pour one out for Choco. Strad's gonna be the. Funeral the yeah, he's gonna be the funeral singer. Yeah. Instead of the wedding singer. I want my ashes to be mixed into fireworks. That is so random. I want my ashes to, to be mixed into uh, <laughs> someone's ketamine. I want Bowser to come on my ashes and inseminate them. While he's crying. <laughs> this begins seemingly out of nowhere. <laughs> And appears to have no end in sight. Every single time they do this, their dog freaks out, wow. causing their newborn to cry, and causing the banging to only wow. become worse. This is scary. It's a constant back and forth dynamic, and things are Ooh, black and white house. Out of control. The cops oh, aren't God. doing anything. The Separate those houses. No help. And so, at their wits' end, they take to Reddit. Segregate those to air out their grievances and to seek advice. My white Sona is the white wizard, white, white, the white. A redhead <laughs> named Peaches and Glitter. Know what I'm saying? He really does have a title. character. That's a, just a, a white version of him, and it's a wizard. And nothing hey, do you remember what, else, what we were talking about? Remember when we found that one and Google Maps of like those people going, congratulations? Yeah. Yeah, you remember what I, why I wanted to use that? Just think about that. I just want you to think about that silently in your head. With my husband and my son, who is only a Okay, there you go. The way the cops dealt with this situation made me mad. Well, you know about this cat, Brad? The other half is owned by an older woman and her adult daughter. My father-in-law has known the women for over 15 years and told us before we moved in that the daughter was mentally ill and had strong delusions on occasion that caused trouble with the previous She was a little Lulu. The last time it's apparently had to get a civil anti-harassment order placed against the daughter and eventually moved out when the behaviors never stopped. Apparently the neighbor accused them of kidnapping and abusing their children and even Jesus. abusing their dogs. My husband and I brought our son home a few months ago. Oh, he's using he Silent Hill. Oh, yeah, God, I really would like to. <laughs> Next, bro. Neighbor oh, my God. Two weeks ago. She has begun banging on and throwing things at the walls when our son cries. Actually, this will be smarter. She screams at us as well, but I usually can't hear what she's actually saying. You know, over the screaming baby and the two dogs going absolutely ballistic because of the banging. No, he's, he's not using Silent Hill OST. He's like using Silent Hill sound effects, so which is sexier. Every time the baby cries, I experience <laughs> intense panic, waiting for the screaming and banging to start. We've called the non-emergency <laughs> police line twice when I can't handle it anymore. Uh, and the first time they talk, can stop having a boner over this video? Oh, God. Maybe once every two days. Tonight, oh, though, God. she's back at it and worse than ever. The air quality is so bad uh, right. <laughs> that I can't let the dogs out for long. Plus, that was hot. Wait, look what I say. Makes the neighbor scream and pound on the walls harder. The officer I spoke with says we can try to get a civil anti-harassment order placed, but huh? he knew for a fact that her behaviors never stopped. Oh, after shut the, the fuck last up! Tried that, and he said his unofficial <laughs> advice would be to live somewhere else. <laughs> is that seriously Fucking my only idiot. option? We can't afford to move, but I can't keep living like this. Shut! Oh my god, I'm so fucking done with you right now. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> no, we're not. No, I'm not gonna show it. Fortunately, this post went largely unseen by anyone online. 
merely generating 40 upvotes in just 10 comments. <sighs> One user named Lifeguard Ill suggested that the neighbor was merely banging on their wall because they were sick of the noise she was making. She's an owner, so you can't do anything. Your best solution is to properly insulate the wall against sound. I'm not even paying attention to this. Having a newborn baby it's a in a shared dwelling right. is really shitty to your neighbors from the noise. Just as much as you don't like the pounding, your neighbors hate your crying noises and dogs barking. Maybe your neighbors can't handle the crying anymore. You should really look into soundproofing, or your neighbor could start calling animal control and CPS for all the noise you make. Didn't you Stop spend 50k in the, the animation? And you're the one making all the noise. Next one. It's an interesting thought process. However, the perspective is entirely valid. They are responsible for half of this duplex, and there's really not much they can do about their distaste for a neighbor. Oh, oh, oh you're As talking about that. As a matter of fact, okay. that was largely the sentiment of those who did see her post. No, there I haven't seen it. nothing she can do. And the matter was left at that. <laughs> you're so stupid. You're still sending me shit. No, I'm not. You just sent me something. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. How many no What am I watching? <laughs> See, you haven't been paying attention. Gosh. Okay, next. It's just some fucking sound effects. I have been paying attention. You have been it's paying attention? It's literally just open a North simulator. Alright, alright, fine. He's adding context. He, he's, you know, unlike me and fucking uh, other people who do this, he's actually, like, putting more... Effort. He's doing a little dramatic recreation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My first post never got much attention, but the outcome was pretty wild. Short version. In October of 2020, my husband and I were renting in a duplex, where my father-in-law owned the half that we lived in, and a separate family owned the other half. We brought our son home from the NICU in August, and towards the end of September, the neighbor started to pound on the shared wall if she could hear him cry. The pounding escalated over the next two months. The neighbor bought a megaphone to yell through the wall and threatened to rip us apart. My God. She called us child predators, and she yelled obscenities and threats until three or four in the morning. The police were called multiple times, yet nothing could be done about it. What do you mean One nothing could be done about us, it? I'm gonna kill you. What? See, it doesn't mean anything if I don't actually do it. Wow! The elderly mother hadn't been seen in several months, but requests for wellness checks were brushed off. The general advice Why? that I got was that as renters, we couldn't do anything. It was also suggested that this was reasonable behavior, since the crying baby was probably really annoying. Since my first post, we moved in with my grandmother for her safety. The neighbor ended up busting a softball-sized hole through the shared wall to scream at us and occasionally just stare at us. What the fuck? The smell that came out of the hole was indescribably bad. Our security oh cameras recorded her coming to my son's nursery window at around 2 a.m. almost daily, just staring and holding her cat. It took until the end of January for the police to be able to enter her property. And as it turned out, the elderly mother had been deceased since at least June. And oh my the daughter god. Had the corpse, dressed in her Sunday best, rotting in a dead bolted bedroom. That's so the scary. The said the mother died <gasps> from natural causes, and the daughter was taken to an inpatient psychiatric facility. Oh my fucking god. It could have been so much worse. The police did fucking nothing. Dead bolted is like when you just. Isn't it when you just like shut uh, a fucking thing up? Like, I would be remiss. There's a deadbolt is like the, the extra lock. You know what I mean? Like the deadbolt lock. Stories online on the door. All the time. Oh. 
and she had the, the door fucking pull off. fitted with a deadbolt lock. In the current online landscape, it almost seems like fake stories outweigh real ones by a large margin. From the inside, yeah. By online notoriety and the pursuit of upvotes. That's so fucking crazy. There was something about this one, though, that seemed eerily specific. The premise was haunting, yet it seemed entirely legitimate. In January of 2021, authorities in the city of Richland, Washington, made their way to the home of Peaches and Glitter in response to their- Peaches and Glitter, yeah, that's a cursed place. While there, they encounter a disgruntled 45-year-old woman named Angela Greiner through the hole she carved in their shared wall and immediately notice an overwhelming huh? odor. Because of this, this they again? to be let in to ensure everything there is okay, yet Greiner staunchly refused. For over a week, she wouldn't let a single soul in, no matter how hard law enforcement tried. However, what she was unaware of was that police were already in the process of obtaining a warrant, essentially permitting them access the same person, regardless yeah. of her consent. Right, isn't the whole premise of this is that he read this story on like... I don't know. Oh. By February 4th, their warrants granted, and so Richland PD returns and forces their way inside. And as expected from the revolting odor, the corpse of Griner's mother, a 67-year-old woman named Claudia Kinney, was rotting inside their locked bedroom. She reportedly died from pulmonary emphysema and was believed to have been decomposing inside that home for nearly seven months. Oh my god, she just lived with a corpse for almost a year. Mm -hmm. As stated by the OP, Griner was taken to an inpatient psychiatric facility. That's so and since then, oh, that there have been like... no further updates on her status or whereabouts. Yeah. The duplex, to this day, still stands, yet now bears a reputation forever haunted by the grim events oh, no, don't that look, it's there. scary. Oh, no. The story in its entirety drives home the fact that you truly never know who is beside you, who's across from you. Ah! Who is on the other side of the wall by which you sleep? For months. Cool. Thanks for putting it that way, buddy. Only going about their daily lives, <laughs> the human corpse just feet away from them, and completely unaware that their neighbor was living alongside it. At the end of it all, Peaches and Glitter just wanted a home for their family, a place their newborn can grow up happily. Yet, little did they know what they were getting into. And what was waiting for them? You can watch Phono, just don't get scared. Okay? On the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta worry about this unless it's your roommates, but I think you don't. Oh god. This is the first time I actually ever lived in an apartment where I have neighbors on every side of me. <laughs> Something about that was a little bit comforting to me whenever I lived in an apartment. I don't know, for me it's still weird. Except for like, the upstairs neighbors fucked them. Yeah, you told me about them. <laughs> Shit, I mean, your old streams, you could hear the music coming from them. Yeah, you really could. Yeah, you, you could, yeah. It wasn't that bad, like, it, but it was very rarely that you could actually hear, but you could. Oh my god. I had this happen to me, the dude was rotting next to my wall, so please, Gal, tell us. What the fuck are you talking Excuse about? Excuse me? <laughs> oh wait, now I remember. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, now I remember. It's evening. Oh, my dog! <laughs> what? Florida. Mutt ninja. Oh my dog. <laughs> oh my dog. Yeah. Sleep on her couch. Is that your bit? Do you say dog puns? <laughs> His name is Mutt Ninja. He likes to sneak in a dog pun. Get it? Gal, what? I think his girlfriend dumped him and he killed himself. That's really cool. Her evening was just like oh. other. It's dark. Don't do that, chat. It's I like how Gel just like kind of forgot about that. And her home rests in he was super was annoying in his team. He was always loud, so tranquil. good. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm glad he's dead. 
Shame about the girlfriend, though. Shame about this stream. This looks like that one scary video game where you're watching TV. Or you're playing a game on the TV in the house. Have you seen that one? Yes, I have seen that one, yeah. Loretta notices that something is wrong. This is just skin a However, because she's rink. disabled, she's unable to check what's causing it. During this, her husband was away with their grandkids, so she was effectively helpless oh, in place. Girl. Meanwhile, the smell persists. Something is on fire. Oh god. And so she grabs her phone, dials 911, and explains to dispatch the following. I like how you're criticizing his use of like b-roll very creatively this is a skin oh. rink you just kidding <laughs> i know i know it's funny, i like though. it's really impressive it's very impressive the following recording was taken on the evening of the 23rd it depicts lorita's final moments if you want to skip this call please jump forward what do you guys say you guys good with this how many of you are too sensitive for this yo i'm telling Look, you just give them a warning just give them a warning yeah there's a little warning uh, death. <laughs> Look, I know, like, I just know that, like, 911 calls are especially scary. There's something scarier about those than any other, uh, thing. I'll okay. be okay, I think, Fono says. You better cover your eyes if it gets too scary. Here, I'll, I'll put a little... Um... How do you, how do you, uh, do I put death in trigger warning or is that too much? Sure. Okay. Playing it now. Now one one, what is the address of your emergency? Pardon? Now one one, what is the address of your emergency? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. I think my house is on fire, and I'm here alone, and I'm on a walker. Okay. All right, I have a couple more. I just have a couple of questions. Okay. Okay. All right, just to help the pair or the firefighters. Oh, yeah, but okay, hey, so these, these questions are not going to delay paramedics in any way. Okay, what type of building is involved? It's a log house. She was in a log cabin? But it's Ooh. coming from the roof, I think. I don't know. Okay, I have help on the way, okay? These questions are not delaying uh, the firefighters at all, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, I do have some coming. All right, I'm sending the fire department to help you now. Stay on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. What should I do? Okay, okay is anyone trapped inside the building? Well, I'm inside the house. I don't even know if I can get out. Okay, all right, I have them coming as quickly as possible, okay? How many? Why can't she, ex why can't she leave? It's just me. Okay. I mean, my husband's at the ball game, and I can't get him. I'll try his cell phone. Okay, exactly where are you located? Uh, no, inside the home. Exactly where are you located? Oh, right, the now home. I'm in, right now, I'm in the living room. The smoke's getting bad. Okay, if it's safe to do so, leave the building, close the doors behind you, and remain outside. Are you going to be okay? Do not try to put the fire out. Do not mm -hmm. carry anything. Do not carry out anything that's on fire. Uh, I mean, if I wanted to. Hey, Gadfly. I'm on uh, a walker. And I'm thanks for the raid. Uh, <laughs> hi. We're watching. Oh no. We're watching an actual uh, 911 call. It's from a video from Nexpo. So <laughs> be careful if you're not if you're sensitive to that sort of stuff. But hey, thanks a lot. 
Uh, everyone takes a This is going to be cool. <laughs> I got fly. Okay. Alright, well, I do have them coming at school. If you're stuck, well, okay, so just let me know when you see them. Okay, where exactly is the fire? On the roof, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay, is anyone injured? No, I'm the only one here. I'm not injured, but my eyes are full of smoke. My lungs, I can't get out the door. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have them coming, okay? They're coming as quickly as possible by some signs, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip. <laughs> That's so horrific. I'm not gonna listen to the rest. Minutes straight. To reassuring her the entire time that help is on the way. Little did they know, though, that on the other end of the line, there was no longer anyone there to hear it. Loretta Pickard, in this moment and contrary to all assurances by dispatch, had perished in the fire. Oh my god. Yeah, I wasn't gonna listen to that. Yeah. It gets worse? It's so bad. Maybe we skip that? Well, I mean, Nexpo is a good uh, commentator. If there were important information, he'll just tell us whatever we did miss. You wouldn't believe it, but for over half of it gets phone way call, worse. Help was just a few short. We only skipped screams. Yeah, I wasn't gonna listen to that. I'm sorry. I'm really sensitive about like just helpless people. I don't know. Being away, firefighters were outside when she was alive. You're kidding and had me. Every opportunity to save her. What the fuck? But didn't. That evening. There were unfortunately no fire hydrants anywhere near the residence, so the crew was left to utilize the reserves in their truck. Instead of putting out the house fire with Loretta trapped inside, however, the crew's captain, James Williams, used the entirety of the reserves to combat what he described as a forest fire behind the home. You're kidding me! This, by default, nullified any potential of combating the blaze's origin, diminishing any possibility of saving Loretta. I know. Oh, that is so upsetting. They even took photos of it before they could even like think about fucking saving her. They should all be completely let go. In a case eight on your side has been investigating all year long. Loretta Pickard died in her burning Lakeland home pleading for help, but firefighters stood by and did nothing about it. Well, now her estate will receive the maximum amount of money allowed under state law. Yeah, what's that matter? Though? Stacey De Silva She's dead. reports from Polk County. Loretta Pickard's niece tells me the settlement does provide a bit of closure. Since the incident, the Pickard family has undergone a grueling legal battle against the county, as in the weeks following the fire, it's been revealed that James Williams would frequently take Snapchat videos while at the scene of house fires. And oh, you're done. You're cooked. Oh, I mean, death was no different. <laughs> no. Even further, it's been stated by. Yeah, stop. I didn't mean with that. You? I really didn't. God, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. What a burn. Did you hear the regret in her? No, just genuinely. Did you hear the regret in her voice? She was like, you're cooked. Wait, I mean, she had like a speed moment. A fucking I show speed moment. Oh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> you're cooked. I just said it in the heat of the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Gosh, you are on fire today, huh? <laughs> oh man sorry guys I must be smoking something yeah god <laughs> god You're such a hothead That little to no effort was made to get inside the home, either <laughs> effectively leaving her helpless and alone to endure one of the most horrific deaths imaginable. Okay, shut up. That doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> no, I just that doesn't even mean anything. I just want to shit. I just want to In stupid. the aftermath of this incident, the Pickard family has been Please given let a $200,000 settlement for the family in response to their action. On top of this, James Williams has since been fired. And a void of heartbreak, loss, and despair has been eternally. I, yeah, I hope he got fired in their wake. <laughs> no matter how much money, how much action is and has been taken after this incident, nothing in the world can bring back a family member who lost their life during a moment of desperation. It was the day after Thanksgiving, a time engulfed in positivity. Engulfed. However, for the Pickard family, ah. this day will forever be remembered Stop. as the last that they would ever spend with her. He said it! That's not what he meant! That fateful night, Loretta's you know he's not. That's not what he lost meant. the love of his life. Their grandkids left a loving... Listen to her. I want you to all listen to her right now. No, he's... She's crying. It's a, it's, just, it's a really sad story, right? <laughs> That's what it is? It's a really sad... She's crying. It's really <laughs> so she's <laughs> crying. I didn't mean to make the first joke. <laughs> oh God. Oh. God damn. Oh. So alarming. Yeah, fire alarming. <laughs> That's what. Yeah, you're stupid. I did end up meeting like really early in the night. No, no, no. You, we couldn't hear you. What'd you say? I'm sorry, Fono. No, what'd you say? <laughs> no, I was reading what Fono said. I felt bad. I know, but it caught it. It, it cut <clears> off. <throat> I did end up meeting like really nearly early in the 911 call. I started crying. Couldn't really handle it. I guess in the morning. Yeah. No, it, I I can't handle a 911 calls either. Like the ones, especially where like victims can be heard, like being hurt. Mm -mm. Especially yeah. when it's a woman. I don't know. I don't like that. ...home that they would never return to. And their entire family had unknowingly sent their final goodbyes to their beloved grandmother. That they would never see again. R.I.P. Rest in Pyro. Stop! Okay. You're just being horrible. Okay, bitch. Yeah. Uh huh. Get cooked. Uh. Why does he have a loading screen? Do not I don't know, but it's cool. I like it. And if you see any of your playmates about to get into trouble, get help from a police officer or someone you know. You not only have to look out for yourself. With the little children who don't know any better, and can't Oh, you totally. I love this. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Wait, no, no. Curse me. Curse me. You know what I love about this? He and Nick Crowley are um, besties, and this is exactly what Nick Crowley does too, to some extent. He, I, I like Nexpo's version better because it's just like an actual like TV screen showing something, and it's super dope. But Nick uh -huh. Crowley does the same thing where he shows like old footage of something before he transitions to the next story. And uh I, I love that. I'm gonna steal the shit out of that. And you can't stop me, Nexpo. Some okay. Are 
help from a police officer. They won't fucking do shit, dog. Yeah, same with, like, I guess, fucking firefighters. So far, this has been a tale of shitty police, shitty fire, shitty Navy. In 2018, a YouTube channel was born. Mine. It's named Vera Koroteva, and over the span of less than one year, they'd upload over 1.4 thousand videos to the platform. Ooh, I've never seen this one before. Within them, we're able to observe the inside of an apartment occupied by what seems to be a family. And to be honest, not a whole lot seems to happen. They spend a ton of time watching TV and lounging around. And at first glance, it seems like this channel might be nothing more than an archival page run by them. Now, this would make sense. However, I'm gonna assume one the problem. landlord put those cameras there without them knowing. This isn't Vera's only camera. Oh. Boy, huh? She got a Five Nights at Freddy's set up? This channel, Vera Koroteva, is likely run by not the tenants, but their landlord. Oh, that's so fucking creepy. Damn, A Lab. Got eyes. <laughs> everywhere. That's so scary. This is some night trap shit? It really. Yeah, no, you're so right. Landlords, let's bring that back from last year. I don't think any, I think I don't think it ever left. Videos present some <laughs> eccentric. Yeah, that's discoveries. been a thing for like centuries. For instance, their titles regularly reference names like Putin and Hitler, and often use incredibly abrasive language when referring to their residents and the police. Furthermore, in their descriptions, they can also be found going off about useless drunkards, housing the disabled, and something about smoke. But the out fuck? of everything, the video that really made me realize that something is off here came with their upload from the 26th of October, 2019. Okay. It's simply titled, Water Supply Repair. And at first glance, it seems ordinary. Upon translating the description, though, we find this. That editing is great. His no, I was about to say it's very fantastic. suspenseful and creepy. <clears throat> oh, English. The fucker. I'll be honest with you. I've tried to read through this multiple times to glean any sort of logical <clears throat> flow in their wording. But it doesn't make much sense at all. From what I could gather, though, Vera seems to be furious at a judge. They then go forth to discuss legal documents that I believe they requested, and then fantasize about killing them by cutting the judge's throat with a razor. It's incredibly disconcerting. And I wonder if it didn't just translate well. Know I have a photo of someone putting a poster around my town near my neighborhood of just a fucking rambling of like something about like something Obama something something Kennedy's something something Trump and it's just like nonsense the whole way through and it's different fonts different size all that shit why do people always get like really obsessed with like politics politicians and stuff like that <clears throat> because they think you know they rule the world and stuff like that <clears throat> so like you know when you think of a higher power of humans you think of like polit politicians and stuff right um and so like my point with that story i have a photo of that i can show you gal if you're interested 
Um, my point is that they sound <laughs> exactly like like this. Yeah, this seems really yeah on base. Mm-hmm. So even on if it's point. translated badly, it's it's it seems like it. Um, they know something we don't. There's the cat. <laughs> there he is. He's eating his ruffles. Mm. That is so funny because literally, Goose kept making fun of me the other day because I was eating chips <laughs> and he sent me that gift and it, I I looked down at my bag and I was actually eating. Ru- I got so mad because of that. <laughs> she was eating the same ruffles bag. <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> then fantasize about killing them by cutting the judge's throat with the razor. It's incredibly disconcerting, and regardless if the tenants even know that they're being watched, what I do know oh my God, I is that they are, that without a doubt, with Choco completely eating the unaware of what's going on in these descriptions. Yeah. No, she should do I was it. eating a cheesy queso or whatever it's called. For over a really stupid years, name if that's what it's this called. This bizarre but... channel has cool. sat like this completely untouched and unnoticed by the broader internet. That's my favorite. With this, that one their and, backlog um, spanning thousands of videos are public, sour documenting cream and complete strangers living out their, their daily lives really without even the slightest hint that the very know, person who owns the building chips. they live in is broadcasting them to the buffalo world. Buffalo chips. Today, mm, Vera um, Koroteva's <laughs> Davis has an eerie look <laughs> the incredibly bizarre behavior of a peeping landlord. It's an unsettling digital relic, hidden away inside the furthest confines of YouTube's darkest. Stop place. it! No. Shh. Dream spitter. I want you to shh about that. Okay. I may or may not be doing a video on that. Nobody knows about it. Shh. Don't talk about that guy. I have absolutely no don't, idea. Don't don't fucking Wendigoon if you're watching. No, ban Wendigoon. What compelled this person to do this? Mods delete, that, so, message. Mods delete that message. Mods delete that message right now. Project completely. If the upload rate wasn't enough, they appeared intensely dedicated to their cause, as not only were there security camera videos, but also uploads containing phone calls, That's my favorite. I've known. I've known about trips. I've known about that individual for. I, I think about since I was a kid, actually. And I, I uh, dug up more info about him about two, three years ago. I've been wanting to do a video on him for a while, and that's the next video I want to do for about maybe February, March. To real world locations. With the language barrier stopping me in my tracks, though, unfortunately, deciphering any of this has been ultimately futile. By the off chance any of you watching can speak or understand Russian, I am incredibly interested to learn more about why this channel exists and what exactly they were doing. Who are these people? And why are they here? Why do the cops constantly pop in? And what are they looking for? My cat just came up begging Most for ass pads. Most importantly though, why the hell is all of this public? Yo, okay, she ain't awesome. And who in the world <laughs> is Vera Kolotevo? I just saw your messages, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) The goal of this video is to make you aware of the potential for differential pressure situations. The key is to recognize them beforehand. I want a milkshake. My milkshake means all the fuck. Because when it's gotcha, it's gotcha. You want a milkshake? That's so random. How many people do you think have accidentally Shane Dawson cat because the cat wanted cuddles at a very inopportune time? What the fuck is what? 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 Why would she? What? What do you mean? What do you mean that? What? <laughs> like the cat runs up right as the dude's about to bust a nut and just. <laughs> <laughs> I've already explained this to Choke. Like, <laughs> like I've I've had Biru staring at me from the darkness of the hallway, 
while I was uh, engaged in intercourse, I will say. And I'm <laughs> saying it in a nerdy way because I don't want to be rude and crude and just be like, I was having sex. It's already on. rude, letting them know you had sex. I was before. having sex and my cat was watching me at the end of the fucking hallway in the darkness. It was very scary. <laughs> she was just sitting there very patiently watching. Dad, why? <laughs> what are you doing to mother? <laughs> no, I've been there. I've definitely been there. Yeah. I've definitely been there. Except my cat wanted to be on the bed <laughs> during sex. Yeah. Beer has gotten very close. But <laughs> we... Room for one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Room for one more. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Dad, the litter box is full. <laughs> Room for one more. Forbidden threesome, stop. Stop, would you? Stop. I know you're a mutt. Dead. <laughs> the deep. Speaking of having sex with animals, the deep from the boys. Jeez, I don't know In why. Here. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the deep from the boys. Yeah, he fucked fishes. <laughs> oh, spoilers, I think. Back in February, we discussed the unquantifiable horrors of the ocean. Earth's greatest enigma. What? An entire biosphere. Shut up. <laughs> Listen to that fucking laugh. Listen to that fucking laugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's, it's for, it's for what you fucking said what earlier. In it is I didn't even mean that, though. No, no, no. No, not that, chick. I'm talking about the other one. Is that it makes up the vast majority <laughs> of the planet we live on. I don't remember. Yet stands so painstakingly inaccessible to humanity. The potential for death, freak accidents, and disappearances are so exponentially high, all spawned entirely by the mere nature of the ocean's environmental medium. I hate this chat right now. <laughs> yeah, Clareth is really still trying to get on that conversation. Oh man, I need a drink. Oh my dog. <laughs> I love, ninja. I love In February these. of 2022, five divers are commissioned by fuel oh. trading company. said, I need to smoke, Imperia and then Gail said, like the lady earlier, line. stop. Located at Punta Pier on the western coast of Trinidad and Tobago, the 30-inch wide pipe stretches from an oil riser named Berth 5, 60 feet vertically down into the ocean. Oh no, not this one. And 50 feet oh, I think I know this story. Sea, under another oil riser named Berth 6. Yep, I know the story. It was meant to allow ships to transport their reserves to Peria's facilities on land for processing. However, by this point, this particular pipeline was sealed off and hadn't been used since mid-2018. That day, the five men on the job were yep. Faisal Kurban, Kazim Ali Jr., Rishi Nagasar. You're gonna Yusuf hate this Henry, one. You're really gonna hate this one. Budrum. Really? And oh, they yeah. were tasked with heading into an underwater airfield habitat at Berth 6. Can it a steel be any more depressing the than the, an the submarine issue? Inside of it. Yes. Yes. And installing a connector from the exposed pipe up to the main plant. Yeah, Scare Theater, Nick Crowley. I might as well fucking do a video on this one too. Everyone's talked about this one, but. The difference with Nexpo is his presentation. I've always respected his presentation on the ship. Form at the Berth 6 riser. At first, everything seemed to be going to plan. The crew makes their way inside the air-filled chamber and remove their scuba gear so they can effectively perform their work. While doing so, however, they notice that the inflatable plug sealing the pipe off isn't coming loose. No matter what they try, it appears to be stuck in place. And so, Kazim volunteers to head out to grab a tool to help with dislodging it. Uh-oh. These 
these are the most dangerous jobs. Submarine, like, uh, sorry, submarine. Uh, diving jobs are some of the most dangerous jobs on Earth. They really are. I would never want to do this. Yeah. I would never, I don't want to dive, to be honest. I don't want to be a scuba diver at all, in any sense. No. No, uh, Fono? Upon heading back. The... I'm just gonna say it. the The video in itself is like not that scary. It's uh, a, like nothing shown at all, and you can't really hear much. But it's just used for context in case anybody's like scared. To Berth Six's chamber, Kazim hands the tool off to one of his coworkers, who takes another crack at dislodging it. But what they're unaware of is that by doing this, they're unknowingly opening the door to a gargantuan mm -hmm. difference in pressure and would, very soon, find themselves in a dire predicament. Oh my god, did it just... Did it just get flooded instantly? Is that what I just saw? Yeah. Right here, in but a fraction of a second, all five men and their equipment are sucked into the pipe, yeah. 50 feet down, and over 120 feet horizontally through it. And without even a second to process what just happened, they are effectively trapped in a Thanks, Mutt Ninja, for the gift here to Master Penis. Congrats. Underwater. Yeah. You know Delta P, right? The Mushroom Kingdom? No. Um, they go to the Mushroom Kingdom? No, I'm sorry. They don't. <laughs> Delta P, um... Basically, there's a lot of pressure in one area. Uh, if there's more pressure in one area than there is the other, everything's going to gush out to that other area that has less pressure to equalize both places. So, you know when, like, I guess the best you could describe it, you ever, like, put your hand over, like, a drain as it's going, like, sucking down, and you can feel it, like, go in, your, your palm, like, kind of gets yeah. sucked in? It's kind of like that, but more, but bigger and way more violent and they all just go they just got sucked in a fraction of an instant from that place to the pipe itself to equalize the pressure uh wow so they got sucked inside the pipe and they are currently it's not even that they're just like in there they're way way down below on seafloor level in just that instant oh my god Mm -hmm. And they're, they're they're in a tube full of water. They're in a tube, not full of water. The they some of it is like it, it's weird because it's like a you know, it's like a tube that's kind of like rubbery, so it's like up and down. So there's some places that's full of water, some places that has pockets of air. Um. So. Oh, sorry, where was I going with this? So the, the yeah, they're currently like sucked all the way down to the bottom of the floor, and uh, just in the pipe. Down there. Uh, I'm getting really like, claustrophobic thinking about that. Yeah. So, yeah. I want you to understand, too, like, guys, where they dove into was not in the seafloor at all. Like, there's no way they can. They're humans, right? Like, they would be crushed by the weight. So, they're actually going, like, not too far from where the water is. They, they go, like, deep, like, maybe 10 feet, 20 feet down below, and then they go back up to this device that they're supposed to fix. But... Now they have literally been sucked into the pipe all the way down to the seafloor 
where the pipe is. Immediately, the suck of 87. they scream for help. They have no idea what the hell just happened, but they're in excruciating pain, and they gotta get out of there. In the next few moments, they collect their thoughts and orient themselves inside the pipe. They explain to each other their injuries, who's behind who, and try to deduce if you're which side of the break, pipe this is a really they've bad been story. facing. With hope quickly fading, Chris begins motivating his crew to try their hardest to get out of there, out of that hell they're stuck in. And so, he proposes a plan to link hands with ankles and to inch their way out. It was a 50-50 shot that they'd be heading in the right direction. Oh but my god. At this point, it was one they were willing to take. With no light source, no breathing equipment, no sense of direction, they begin to shuffle their way forward. In the beginning, it seems to be working. However, they quickly realize that sections of this pipe head down to a lower depth and have collected pools of water and oil. Were they to continue their plan, they'd be making their way through fully submerged sections of pipe. A proposition that, with no knowledge of how long it would go on for, was undoubtedly horrifying. I hate this, this so much. Kazim you tell me Rashid if you want to skip. Yusuf, I can to tell you, I know how it ends. It's a risk that they just can't no, stomach. Okay. And so Chris reassures them that he'll return with help and continues onward with Faisal by his side. New fear unlocked? Yeah. In the following moments, Chris and Faisal encounter two scuba tanks lying in an air pocket. Oh my gosh, they equip pickups. Them and make their <laughs> way through fully submerged, extended portions of pipe. Equipped. For a while, they were making steady progress. At least the game designers However, were kind of nice about it. Journey, yeah, that's fair. Faisal had come to an inconvenient revelation. He is excruciatingly exhausted and informs Chris that he simply can't continue. How do the cracker go on, Chris? Chris proceeds. Okay. Onward and onward. No, Dad. Not even sure if he's heading back Dad. to the correct opening. <laughs> Nevertheless, he holds out hope as critical minutes blur by. What video is this? His newest one. His very Until newest one. he finally encounters the pipe's bend. He looks up, and it's open. In complete disbelief, he begins to bang on the pipe, screaming and pleading for anyone to hear him. And by a complete miracle, outside its opening are two rescue divers who open it up, drop a chain down to him, and ultimately save his life. Got the good ending. He actually got out. But there's just one problem. Four men are still down there, still alive, and still need help. To his dismay, Chris is told that there's nothing that can be done about them. It's apparently too dangerous to send someone in there to get them, and essentially, all hope for their rescue is lost. In utter disbelief at what he's hearing, Chris even tries to head back in there himself, however, is ultimately prevented from doing so. For three excruciating days, the remaining four divers are trapped in that pipe, begging and pleading for anyone to help them. Little did they know, though, 
that nobody was ever coming. Help was never on the way, and the men were, effectively, left to die. That's so horrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, is he gonna talk about why? Because that's the part that's really fucked up. <laughs> Did he make it out? Oh wait, of course he made it out. <laughs> yeah! That's how he told the story. That's him. As of writing, Yo, There's I hate this learning shit. Between Peria, the Coast Guard, oh, it's still the going. contract company That's LMCS good. Limited that assigned them to the job, and the victims' families. Each of the accused passing off blame and responsibility for their inaction to a different party. No matter what ends up happening, though, I can only hope that the victims' families are given justice, as according to every report available, it seems that little to no effort was made Why? by the companies or Coast Guard to save them. Because... At all. Oh. The incident that occurred on that otherwise ordinary day is one of the most haunting freak accidents one could ever find themselves in. What began as an ordinary job had out of nowhere morphed into three days of absolute hell. Just I cannot even bought begin water to fathom underwater. the feeling of being <laughs> stuck in the dark inside of a claustrophobic chamber 60 feet below sea level, and even more so, bearing the apprehensive hope they all held out. But there was no scrap for help. That never came. This happened recently, by the way. Well. Wow. Okay, here's what he omitted. Which I wish he, he added, but um, the reason why they didn't want to do it is because they thought not only was it too dangerous, but allegedly the company said it'd be too expensive to try and help them. Like, oh my god. Yeah. I think it's because like if they saved them, they, they were afraid that you know they'll be liable to like their, them suing them. Yeah. Or something like uh, it'd be too expensive to actually like go down and like risk someone dying and then them being sued by like the coastal service or something like that that's ridiculous yeah it is and also Money sucks here's another thing that he didn't uh add by the way i, I know this because i watched nick crowley's one it's really good um apparently they kept knocking on the pipes for all three days like they would stop. Oh my god. And then for like a few hours, they'd just hear like another. And they just like, they would hear that for three fucking days straight until it just stopped. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. It's really terrible. And another thing is that uh, a lot of them had broken bones at the time, so we don't even know if all of them died through starvation or anything like that. Some of them might have died through their injuries. Yeah. So did they go after Chris? Well, he's he, he's just I I guess I I don't know much about the legal battle. Chris and the families are suing them for all the negligence. I don't know why they would counter sue. Oh wait, what? Oh. Yeah. So they they went okay. The the yeah, the divers were only there to see if they can help him, and he he was able to be saved because. He was at a point where they could reach him, which is at the the pipe that you know the the part of the pipe where he swam to by himself. Um, but the others are way too deep and way further down on the seafloor. They can't go that far, so that's why they couldn't save them. Did the other pipemen follow Chris to knock on the pipe? Pipemen. Pipemen. Oh, um, it was, um, some equipment they had. It was, like, to measure, like, the actual, like, pressure and gauge of the, of the pipe itself. They heard it through that. That's how they heard the knocking. 
spacious and family life. The Port of Call. Gulfside Pool, Cable TV, Volleyball, and if you stay for at least three days, you receive a Vacation Club card with over $100 in valuable discount. Valuable discount. Valuable discount. Call now and ask about our special... Ah! Ah! I had to log on, ah! even though it's on a desktop. Ah! Ah! Why is uh, Nick our uh, next po? I don't even know what's real name. <laughs> Nick Nexpo. Nick Nexpo. Nick Nocturne Poe. <laughs> Room for one more? Stop it, no way! No! <laughs> what a fucking coincidence. Way, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Room for one more. I didn't even mean to like scream like that. <laughs> this is like my actual reaction. <laughs> it's shocking. It's scary. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my head is light. <laughs> you oh. actually screamed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. It's Maybe we'll learn late. if there's room for one more. In the truck I feel like you have to play the actual home. video. That's just true. Okay. Um. Maybe it's on YouTube. Hopefully. Yeah. Room for one more. Guys, this is what we what we've been referring to this whole fucking time. <laughs> room for one more. <laughs> he sounds so nervous even saying it. His voice is shaking. It's, the, it's perfect. <laughs> Room for one more? <laughs> God, it's it's wonderful. God. <laughs> God. Chuck dead. I should have that as the follower like notification it's song. Super eight. You guys can't show me hot women like that without warning. Sorry. Well, the blood went straight to my penis and I'm lightheaded. <laughs> That's happened to me before. I almost passed out. That happened to you? I never passed out, but I've been lightheaded because of that. Do you like those fucking anime characters that get nosebleeds from hot? No, no, no. I never had an erection so hard that I, I went lightheaded. No, I mean, just like... <laughs> Well, never, I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, you went lightheaded <laughs> from a hot meal. Okay. Hold on. And just a couple hours later, falls deep in gotcha. too much yeah. deserved slumber. <laughs> Pump and dump, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's what should have happened. It's been two days, and Eduardo has not checked out. A security Fucking guard Eduardo. on duty is sent to check on him. However, Eduardo, you gotta go home. Placard adorns the Come on, Eddie. And the room is locked from Ed, the inside. Ed, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Send Eduardo to the pipe. Mods, take him to the pipe. <laughs> Oh, he got actual actors for this? Nothing. Crazy! He's not there, but it's locked. Suspecting that something is off, the guard manages to unlock the door and make his way in. No fucking and knocking. Sorry! Place, that wasn't me. I mean, I don't know why I'm sorry. That's part of the video! Ordinary. <laughs> yeah, it was part of the video. The blankets lie haphazard. On the table, a handbag, a bracelet, a oh, scale, fuck no. a hand with a No, hand. I know the story. No, no, wait, wait. Genuinely, I know wait. what you're laughing at. Wait. Is it? Is it wait. this? Yeah. Hmm. That's the that's the part that you're gonna fucking freak out about. Martinez and a photograph appear left behind. 
Yet, once he makes his way to the room's rear and towards the bathroom, what awaits him is completely unexpected. Oh my god. Hanging by a suitcase strap, a badly decomposed woman stares down upon him. And Eduardo is nowhere to be found. I'm, I'm, it's crazy he recreated those items. <laughs> yeah. So what are you going to say about the photo? Oh, nothing. I messaged it to you. Oh, fool. <laughs> you know, you would think that this photograph would make this woman's identification a breeze. However, reality has been quite the contrary. Police have since connected her likeness with the woman in the room. Yet, to this day, her identity remains exactly how it's been from the day she died. She is unknown, unidentified, a Jane Doe. The fuck? The end. After an autopsy, it was revealed that she had heroin in her system and had passed away by taking her own life. We're gonna the evidence the from the answer. motel room, sure. including the scale with George Martinez written on it, were their only real leads in tracking down her identity. However, frustratingly, nothing ever came from it. No witnesses, no footage, not even Eduardo. Not even Eduardo. It took seven entire years before Eduardo's family was contacted go? by police. And coincidentally, they claimed that he had passed away not long beforehand. Upon being shown this mysterious photograph, however, they revealed that they didn't recognize him at all. Huh? This is not Eduardo and they have never seen this man in their life. That day, an entirely new mystery was born. Not only was there ambiguity around the actions of Eduardo and this woman's identity, but now an unnamed male has entered the picture. As the years went on, leads on him were all but non-existent, and all they really had to go on was the connection to that scale. George Martinez was believed to be his identity. However, given how many George Martinez's are out there, tracking this guy down in the 1990s was all Untitled impossible. <laughs> to this day, this mystery <coughs> remains completely unsolved. Barring one credible tip that authorities received in March of 2021, it's been rumored that her name was Becca and that she flew there from Los Angeles, California. Why she did this, who she came with, and how she wound up in a motel bathroom is still unclear. However, with the rise of the internet and breakthroughs in technology, perhaps someday her identity can come to light. They still don't know who she is? Nobody knows who she is. That's really sad. Yeah. And that fucking last photo of her is so fucking scary looking. Why am I doing this before <laughs> bed? I don't know. <laughs> no, that last photo of her is just super fucking freaky too. So those are real pictures? Those are real pictures, yeah. Some people believe like she's dead in those photos. But she hung herself. Well, we don't even know that. But that's true, really. Like, yeah, it, the diagnosis says that, but... It is hauntingly mind-boggling really that not a died. single soul on this earth Why has been able it? to identify this woman for over 30 years. 
Much like the case with Joanna Lopez, having such hard photographic evidence of someone, yet knowing absolutely nothing about who they actually are and what happened to them, is eerily perplexing. What took place on that fateful night may never be known. And to be honest, a lot of it doesn't even make sense. Eduardo was merely stopping for a place to stay. So how did he become so wrapped up in such a tangled web of mystery? Perhaps there was more to this story, something that he wasn't letting on. However, given that he's since passed away, that question will painfully remain unanswered. If you know of or recognize anything about this woman, I implore you to reach out to the Albuquerque PD with information. Expo. This is an Let's absolute real, Hail Mary. However, someone on wanted. this earth has to know something about right. her. For all I know, this case might not go anywhere anytime soon. But keeping stories like this relevant and in the public eye, in my opinion, that is the key to closure. I don't know. That's so hard to find out. 30 years later. 33 at this point. Uh, a moment spent in ecstasy and joy. A prelude to the death of a person, both in body and in identity. That's what Kraft said. <laughs> Why did Kraft sound like a, a Soul Calibur intro? <laughs> a tale of souls and swords. <laughs> yeah. A neighbor. Oh shit, there's one more? Secret. Oh shit. A life lost through oh, inaction. Closing remarks. A peeping landlord spying on unsuspecting tenants. A claustrophobic nightmare. And a mind bending mystery lasting for over 30 years. I got something you can tell. Tonight. Bend. You and I dove into five disturbing things from around the internet. Uh huh. It's been a long couple years, I know, but Just I promise two. you this series is back. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for your love and support. Throughout the years, you guys have stuck by me, and that truly means the world to me. With that said, if you guys have any submissions for this series, I oh shit, it's all mine. Ah. Uh. Well, that was cool, everyone. How's everyone doing? Choco, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing fine, but, you know, it is getting late. I'm okay. I just woke up. Man, Anubis, oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh, You're gonna is need like... that coffee. <laughs> Anubis comes from, a, uh, they're from a different country, so they always wake up as soon as, like, I'm about to end the streams. They hail from a different place. I hail from a tale of souls and swords. <laughs> Hope you have uh, time for the VOD. Okay. Whoa. Probably going to get some chocolate milk after this. Are you familiar with the channel Carter Amelia Davis? No? Selena Delgado Lopez. Um, ultimate illegal disturbing video game iceberg. Illegal. Whoa. Sure. Man, everybody's games. talking about that that Seven one. Like, life. you know that beatbox guy. The the right. the beatbox guy that like makes his like his own animations where it's oh, like yeah. characters <laughs> beatboxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he. Everybody's talking about this video where he, like, paid, I think, like, 50... How much? Oh, how much right, $50,000? Was it really $50,000 for said. somebody to animate the entire fucking, like, music video shipping him with that one character from Hell of a Boss? Yeah. Or no, not from Hell of a... It's from, uh, Hasbin. Uh, Hotel Hasbins, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people Did were you talking watch about it yet? I, I haven't seen the whole thing, but I've seen most Let's of it. Let's watch it. Yeah. No. Let's watch it. Oh, come on. Come on. They want to watch it. Am I even allowed to? 
There's no actual porn in it, I'm pretty sure. If I get banned for this, it's your fault. There's no porn. I've watched the whole thing already. You just said, I think. You're uncertain, even. Well, I mean, I watched a version where, like, the only thing that could be porn had, like, a sensor over it. <sighs> what? What? What's his name? Beatbox Master Man? What's his name? He blew all the money for a passion project, which I presume is what his rap battles. No. He wanted that. He wanted to have his waifu. What, what, what is his name? What's the video? Uh. I don't think it's gonna like show up up there. Verbalese? There's no nudity. Yeah, Verbalese. I didn't even know that was his name. Oops. It's not on YouTube, but it's on Twitter. Is it not on YouTube? What? Well, then how did people find it? I really don't know. Paid a, for for three minutes, by the way. He didn't even pay them to like fuck, you know, like he didn't pay for like sexy fan art, which you know people do, and that's fine, that's normal, you know, yeah. it's your own character. You can get fucked by anyone you want. Yeah. He, he put thousands of thousands of dollars into <laughs> animating softcore porn. <laughs> that's in the director's cut. 
You're joking, obviously, Man. right? There's not really, like, an... Well, where do people find this, actually? Oh, God. Anubis, how do you... How do you not have a sub? <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense since you're, uh... You're only here when I'm offline. <laughs> I gotta do a late night Anubis stream. You know what? Why don't we do that someday? Well, not you. Right now. Me. Right now? Right now. How far do you want to go? I want, you know. Oops. All the way. All the way? <laughs> well, we went for 10 hours yesterday. That's true. And I stream tomorrow. And you stream today. tomorrow. So. Anubis is probably the only person I know that, that like, well, I know Gel is, but he's, like, awake all the time. But, uh, he's the only person I know that's, like, from a different country. And watches me super late at night. Oh, shit. Th yeah, thanks, Mutt Ninja, for giving Anubis a, a sub so he doesn't have to do it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I can't sleep. I gotta be available for the queen. I'm sorry, Gel. <laughs> but that, you know, I, you know I had to read it like that. <laughs> that was really, yeah, I did really dirty like that. Yeah, well. <laughs> I wanted you to read it like that. Oh, that's kinky. <laughs> <laughs> it's that degrading shit, huh? Oh my god, look at this art. Um... Okay. Oh my god! It's little Klonoa being carried by big Klonoa. That's the character from, um... I know, it's the Castlevania thingy you're playing. I mean, it's not like Castlevania at all, I don't but know. yeah. It just looks like Castlevania 64. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason. It is kind of, you're right. The auto regalia or something. Mm. Audio jungle. When marketing Audio jungle. is creepy. 205 views. I'm not watching that. Not because it has 205 views, but because I don't want to steal his uh, views. I mean, if it's yes, good enough, you do. Nine Inch fifth studio album, Year Zero, was promoted through an alternate reality game yes, that presented the story of a dystopian world in the year 2022. Yes. Out of all the clues to be uncovered from the viral campaign. By far the most unsettling discovery was in the form of a mysterious USB drive found during the band's concert mm -hmm. in Barcelona, Spain. Mm -hmm. Two audio files were found, a track titled Me I'm Not and an MP3 of Static. When analyzing the static through a spectrogram, the number 216-333-1810 was revealed. Cool. Alright, everyone watch this if you're interested. Uh, I'm not going to take his views. But he seems to have a really good presentation. Also, I've never really heard anyone talk about that fucking ARG for some reason. Even the coolest fucking ARG ever. Um, yeah. So check him out. Yeah. Sorry, I don't like watching small stream uh, videos because I feel like yeah. I'm fucking their shit. Yeah. I could steal from Nexpo as much as I want. I'm just kidding. No. No. <gasps> Ocarina of Time 2D, full game. What was the cringe 2000s animated band? Gorillas? No, uh. Oh, Ocarina of Time 2D? This is like the. Is this the old one? No, I know, Gail. You're talking about the one from, uh. Ray William Johnson, right? Your Mother's Alien or some shit like that? I don't know. Something alien. I forgot. Your favorite Martian. They're the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why'd I say your yeah. mother's alien? Your mother's alien, my favorite band. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know, it's like something. Why does my brain work like that? Because <laughs> you're weird. Me? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this is not a good this one's transition. This one's not very good, but there was a really good one. There was a really good, uh... Ocarina of Time 2D from even earlier than 2014. This one kind of blows. I hate this one. Yahoo! Link, what's up? Now I want to find the good one. 
Ooh. I remember there was one um that somebody made they were working on it and then like instead of just saying ah I'm done with this they faked their own death what you talk about an Ocarina of Time 2D game that somebody was making and it I got think... so popular and they wanted to quit it so instead of just being normal and just saying hey I don't have time for this they just faked their own death Okay, good. This is the one. I have I have the video I for you, I genuinely couldn't believe what the fuck you said. I literally needed you to repeat that. Yeah, <laughs> that no, this, like is the, this is the one. sounds like a reason to fucking fake your death. So, the one you sent me? Yeah. Embarrassing. How they get exposed? I can't remember. I think people literally, like, define, like, you, obituaries and shit. You would be so fucking stunned how many people fake their deaths related to game projects. Yeah. There's this guy, uh, a YouTuber... I, I think all he did was um, TF2 content, and the motherfucker, like, was really popular, really famous, but he didn't want to do it anymore, so he went on, like, a journey of, like, how he had cancer, and, like, talked about his cancer and stuff, and then, like, three, four months later, he just quit, and said he killed himself, he died, or something like that. Yeah. Then he came back, he came back, like, six months later, and was like, oh, uh, hey, I'm not dead, sorry. Ugh. <laughs> So weird. Why would you do that? I don't know. I really don't know. Apparently, Gel did that. <laughs> Gel did that. He said. He said he did that. You faked your death. Look at how good this one was, though. Choke. This is the same one I just showed, but updated graphics. No, it's not. No, this is two thousand five. No, completely different. <laughs> no, but I just thought the story behind this one was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He tried to make an ARG out of it. Oh, he did? His death? This fucking song is crazy. <laughs> what is this song? The worst part uh, is that Valve renamed an existing item's description so that one of the reworked mechanics was directly called Skechix Bequest. Yeah. They renamed an item to him. In honor of his death, even though he was not dead. That's so fucking crazy. Oh, I'm so itchy. Listen to this midi. <laughs> yeah, this mid E. <laughs> coming. Some coming sometime 2006. Oh, wait, no, I died. Coming 2012. Perhaps not. Oh cool, can we talk? Let's talk let's talk about life. Guys, we're in Pikmin. Ah BB. BB, guys, sorry. I you know, you should really take your sunglasses off. Okay. It's not good for your eyes. I just wanna look cool. Well you do okay. look cool, but you know what? You know what's cooler? What? Your eyes. My eyes? <laughs> Your... Aww. You see, I often get lost in your eyes, Chocobinio. <laughs> Guys. Wow. Tell us about you. Tell us about you. Tell us about you. Tell us about the songs that make you, you. What is the rhythm of your heart? What sings? What the fuck are you saying right now? You live, you laugh, you learn. You love, you learn. You love, you learn. You love, you learn. You know what I love is when my chat has a conversation with other chat members. That's my literal favorite thing of all time. It's so cute. Yeah. It's like a little community. They're just in the chat. I know, it's so cute. It's so cute. And whatever our community member. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. I really want to buy those goth Neko Arc stickers that I see selling. <sighs> I didn't know about that. You didn't know about that? No, no, no. They're great. I would love for her. I would love to commission her just to draw Choco. Well, you. <laughs> and uh, something like safe for work so I can actually put on my arcade stick. <laughs> I would genuinely, I would love to. Um, I'm pretty sure I have some. Are you sure? <laughs> Dude, when I, I so. when I was shopping for like an arcade stick, I was like, you know, I was like, we were on, I was on call with Choke, and I was like, 
You know, I would really love to have a sticker of you so I could put it on my arcade stick, because you're my bestie. And, uh, she was like, well, I got some, uh, stickers, all right. And she showed me a fucking pussy, like, a <laughs> pussy drawing of herself from Made by Icy. <laughs> I was like, I can't have that. Wait, why do you want me on your arcade stick? Because you're my fucking bestie. I want you on my arcade stick. It's adorable. Of course I want you on my arcade And also, it's, uh, Double Trouble. It's Icy's art, and it's you. It's perfect. That's the Choco talk Taco, you loser. <laughs> yeah, put some respect on it. <laughs> the Choco Taco. That's what she said in the tweet, didn't she? No, literally, the whole reason I see ever oh, drew because of, porn oh. of me in the first place was because I quote tweeted the, them discontinuing the Choco Taco, and I was like, guys, oh no. Not my taco, or whatever I said, I can't remember what. And then I see, like, immediately. It was. Amazing. Ironically, this is before we even ever talked. Yeah. And then ever since then, there's been nonstop porn. That's why you want. Everybody. That's why you don't want to call our our new channel Choco Taco. Yes. You never told me that. Obviously. No, you never told me that. You never got that. You never like pieced that together. No. <laughs> You never tell me <laughs> shit. You never tell me shit. <laughs> How could you not immediately go? All I saw was the image, and that's it. I never saw the fucking tweet itself. It's just in general. <laughs> Am I supposed to Obviously. look at your pussy and be like, oh, Choco Saco? Is that what you're, like, oh. implying? No, you're not. What are you saying? How this am I is, What are you saying? I don't want to talk about this anymore. All right. <laughs> Do you like the lewd drawings, Choco? They're great. I like all drawings of Choco. Me. Most of the time. How's the weather? <laughs> We're not that awkward. No. We're not awkward even at all. Not at all. So, uh, how are the kids? How are the kids? Legal depictions of Choco. It's nothing illegal about her being naked. Yeah. Oh, are you referring to like people who draw her smiling? That that is kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. That is fucked up, cat bread. <laughs> Smiles are not allowed. <laughs> Forbidden, even. I think cat bread's like asleep. It's okay. We'll tell him later. This is a song I, I, I put on whenever I jerk off and I'm crying. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know? Sometimes I jerk off and I'm just like crying because I think about life and how beautiful it is. You're crying off. I my cry off, yeah. This is really relaxing. I like this pit stop we have here. Yeah, this is nice. You know, we get to catch up with chat. Yeah. <laughs> you came to life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause life is so fucking beautiful, man. God, look at these look at these fucking jellyfish. You know, like I wish humans were more like jellyfish. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't care. They just live in the moment. You don't even know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Have you never seen one of my- Just saying words. Have you never seen one of my streams? I just fucking talk. I always see your streams. She does. She's the biggest supporter. It's so cute. Shut up. What do you mean? Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> Fukami. <laughs> would, I would literally put- it I don't know what I was gonna say. What? <laughs> I was okay. Here's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh -huh. Wait, let me type it to you. <laughs> Why are you like this?
Astro is typing up a storm chat. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I shouldn't say it, should I? <laughs> it's probably not. I'm actually trying to find all the SFW drawings that that Icy's done. Of Why? Because you don't believe they exist. What? Yes, I do. What are you talking about? I see draws more, like NSFW pictures. No, of I said you. SFW. Oh, SFW. Oh. Yeah. Well, I know she's never made any of those into to stickers. Stickers. True. Besides, it doesn't even matter if she does have any. That's cool, but. I want a personal commission from her of you. Of me? Yeah, a one of a kind sticker. Well, I mean, I know that's kind of impossible since she has to produce multiple. She can't just get one, but still. I like knowing the fact that I commissioned her for that. I like that both Choco and Goose canonically had kid. What the, the fuck, fuck are you talking, talking about? about? What? What are you talking about? Excuse me? What? What do you mean? I'm gonna commission you for a little thing sometime. What, Gal? What the fuck are you talking about? Separately. Not together. What do you- Not together. What do you- Well, yeah, fucking make that fucking obvious. <laughs> Guys, we're fucking friends, okay? Jesus We're fucking Christ. friends. We're fucking friends. <laughs> are you talking about like our, our cats? What are you talking? I really don't know. That's. What do you mean, cat bread? Choco was pregnant and Goose donated to the sperm bank. Oh yeah, I'm not pregnant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nine hundred kids over America. <laughs> Wait, did I miss something? And I actually started to think about it. <laughs> I like how bo both Goose and Choco committed vehicular homicide separate. Yeah. And together. We should have a big blood splatter on the front of the car. We really should. There should be more and more added every single time <laughs> yeah. we do these. Yeah, on get, it. <laughs> get on it. Put blood textures on it. Bunch of mosquitoes on the windshield. Ew! Well, this is background footage. This is under a microscope inside of Goose's brain. Hello. These are my last two brain cells. Searching for any sort of meaning in this void of nothingness. Uh, that one is called Odiphius. The other one is Barda Klavla. Why? You guys, stop saying that. Was ho you're horrible. You guys are <laughs> terrible. Just stop. We're not. We're just. We're just friends. For fuck's sake. <sighs> What's the two? The Barbie things? Dream Camper is the worst vehicle in the hall. There's a Barbie Dream Camper. Don't tempt Gal. He will ban you. I can only swallow because I got so many sh <laughs> <laughs> I can only swallow because I got so many shots. It hurts when I bite down. I, I got stitches. I've been eating only gogur and spaghetti. O's. No. Oh my gosh. I can enjoy food. <laughs> oh, I can't enjoy food. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I'm so sorry. You know, when I really think about it, I'm laughing at the fact that you said that. My bad. <laughs> Swallowed up. <laughs> you know what? This isn't even. This isn't even my last two brain cells. It's just us. Oh yeah. Just us vibing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm throwing We're you hanging off. hanging out. 
I'm sorry I'm throwing you off with the random fucking conversations. Yeah, I'm like, hello? <laughs> She's, are you tired? No. Okay, good. I'm just weird. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Sorry. So you're one brain cell. Yeah. We're single cell organisms. Mm-hmm. How you doing, Chuckle? Um... I'm not cramping right now, so that's okay. That's good. That's, that is good. Goose, do you like bugs? Yeah. Bye, Crisis Moon, night night. Bye, Crisis Moon. I tuck you in and smooch you on your forehead. Mm hmm. I don't. I, I'm like, see you later, champ, with the pipe in my mouth. As I close the door, <laughs> we both leave out the room. <laughs> We What's with that implication? <laughs> <laughs> Choco, do you hate bugs? Yeah. There's some bugs I think are cool. There, yeah, I but like I don't bugs. like any bugs near me. I don't like bugs that can fly. You hate me. No, phonograph. No. I just don't like bugs on or around me. You're not even a bug. You're you're like a fae-like creature. Yeah. Do you guys like rhino beetles? Yeah, I like rhino beetles. Yeah, they're beetles. cool. I like Good night, beetles. Satan's Bars. Satan's Bars is going to sleep, too. Good night, Satan's Bars. I love you. Thanks for being a great mod today. Hippo beetles. Hip what are hippo beetles? Why am I saying beetles? They're just gonna start here? naming. They're just gonna start naming animals with the word beetles after. Dog beetles. Hey everyone, this is my manga. Dog beetles. Huh. In reference to that one manga <laughs> that I can't say. Mean again. Mean again. Ball sack beetle. Okay. Ball sack beetle. Do you hate scarabs? They fly. Scarabs are cool. Did Dizzy tell you about that? Dizzy, no, Dizzy didn't have to tell me about that. I've been new about that, but for some reason that is her current hyper fixation. So yes, she's told me about that. Yeah. Hey, Choco Goose and chat friends. Hello, Mr. Notso Anything. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Mr. Hey, Mr. Notso Anything. You're just showing up? Yeah. You know, it's funny because this is around the time when you went to sleep in Choco's stream. Now you're here. It's like you woke up, you slept from there and woke up here. That's crazy. Hello. I've been lurking. Oh, hi. The mummy scarab scene scared me. Scarred me. Oh, um... I never really thought that- you know what, I thought that scene was really scary as a kid. I didn't- when I rewatched it as an adult, it's not really as scary as I thought. It's just that the lights go out. I thought, like, I don't know why my brain remember him screaming and you can hear, like, the crunching that the scarabs, uh, do with his, like, bones and body and whatever, but... Talking about... the mummy? Yeah, the mummy with, uh... Brendan Fraser. Yeah, with the whale. Or whatever, what's it called? The way. Is that what it's called, the movie? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> Dog fella. <laughs> Whoa, Goose, he has a name. Brendan Fraser, yeah. I am in bed and my fall asleep soon. You're, yeah, I could tell. I am way too white to say that actual title, and I use fella when singing along to songs that use it. Ah! Huh? Sarah, oh. Are you here? Are you even paying attention, or are you just looking for fucking safe for work photos still? No, I'm sorry. It's okay. Hi. Hi. Dog fella. This is my book. I love that. I love that video. Um, what now? I don't know. What do we do? Should we continue? If you want, yeah. 
What do you want? Are you doing good? I want ice cream. You get yourself some ice cream. Don't you have an ice cream? I don't want that ice cream. I want different. Oh, I do actually have some pretty good ice cream I could go have. Yeah, go, go, go for it. I'll be talking to But it's to coffee, and it's so late, I don't know if I should have it. Is it coffee flavored, or is it coffee? It's coffee. Are you saying coffee like me now? Coffee. I really, so you know it's never a bit when I say it like that, right? I know. <laughs> I just want to I make know. it clear. Coffee. 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 <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. I hate that. Don't do that. <laughs> Be yourself. No, you're literally like talking to you has made. <laughs> See, that's okay. That's what I was going to say. Talking to you has made me realize I have an accent still in other things I never even noticed. Ample, thanks for the gift sub to just Dizzy. Um, wow. So I, I say coffee differently. I say dog. Coffee. I dog. say, um, pizza. talking. Talking. Pizza, yeah. Well, I say once. Yeah, but it's. That's both. cute. Both. Both, yeah. No, we both notice things about the way uh, the other talks that we uh -huh. apparently have never noticed or have ever gotten pointed out. It's weird. Bottle wow, of water. Wow, there's a I'm so British, so. Bottle water. Bottle water. Joker makes fun of my pronunciations. No, I don't. No, she never. I make never. fun of Steph's though. Coffee. You know what? She's never even made fun of mine. She likes the way I pronounce things. She says I'm an amusing human to keep. I don't You're know an amusing means. human pet. Oh. You're so amusing. <laughs> I'm from Arkansas, and one of the teachers I had in ninth grade pronounced pizza as pizza. Oh, pizza. <laughs> pizza. You want some pizza? I eat the pizza. Pizza. Ah, pizza. Bro, one of my first Bro, times. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. He's your mod. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's your mod. No, no. No 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 Bro, one of the first times I talked to you, you said I'm so German for pronouncing verses the way I do. Which isn't even the way I pronounce verses. It was in the moment thing. Voices. I don't know. Oh, you mean whenever I said you said verses? Verses. Oh, 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 the V's, the V's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pizza Griffin. Worses. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Let's watch Japanese videos. Or was it versus? Versus! Sorry, I just feel like we need a palate cleanser from that horrible, depressing video that uh, Nexpo made. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, I love this show. I think it's called like uh, something face. I <laughs> Bro, they're about to hotbox this place. Holy sh Oh my god. Whoa! This is like how to get cancer. <laughs> this is how to quit fucking smoking is more like it. This is the best way to show someone how to smoke. <laughs> Holy shit. Guys, if you smoke Imagine this- Imagine if that was all weed. That would be awesome. That would be cool. That would be so cool. Guys, if you smoke, this is exactly how it's like sitting next to you. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, I don't know, but it was Bromas like japonesas. <laughs> Bromas japonesas. <laughs> Japanese jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. 
your your Spanish is your pronunciation is really good. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Is that why you're laughing? No, that's not why I'm laughing. Bad. No, I was laughing because I was so fucking impressed. Like he just stunned me. <laughs> wow. No! Watch out! Why did she comically fall like an anime character? Leah, oh, yeah, why does she just want to die? <laughs> why does her instincts suck? Yeah. How this white guy? What would you do? Would you start running? Yeah, I'd run. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what? What? Do you want me to be like an anime character and be like, <laughs> stop? It's 100% staged. Yeah, I mean, 100 people didn't just come out of nowhere. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think they meant the people's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm just being a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, that, that crowd of people didn't really run down the alley. No, no, this isn't real, guys. This doesn't happen in Japan. <laughs> That's a famous actor, by the way, that white dude. Wow. Great sensor. You just censor, like, the ass cheeks sometimes? What is going on? We're just watching Japanese prank videos, because uh, I'm just, I don't know, just chilling at this point. The prank is that he diarrhea in the water. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Oh, We're seeing so, so much. Oh, I would cry. <laughs> <laughs> There's something cozy about this, though. Bathing with the bros? Yeah. Bro, the sensors are on, like, overload right now. Yeah, yeah. Did they take all the water with them? <laughs> yeah, they stole the water. <laughs> they did, look. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> Imagine the water. Yeah, it, it's gross. It is gross. Moving as a unit. <laughs> this is, like, my worst nightmare. Claustro uh, do you ha are you claustrophobic? No. So these are all actors they're just pranking? That's cool. They deserve it, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Imagine if someone farted. What if they all farted at the same time? <laughs> they, all, they, all, they all get in a circle around him and turn around and just rip that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be insane. How would they coordinate that? God, I, I would think I'm gonna die. I would pull out my gun and start shooting people. I don't know. <laughs> you pull out your gun that you always carry with you? Yeah, I have a... What's it called? Fucking carry license or whatever. No, I don't. <laughs> this is iconic side piece, yeah. Conceal and his carry. His big iron on his hip? A big iron on his head. I got a Glock in my Rari. I got a Glock in my... Bro. I'm gonna send you something. No, you won't. I got a Glock in my Rari. Why is anyone even allowed to carry something like that? What, a gun? Oh my god. Oh my god. She looks so happy. Can she get injured by that? Like. <laughs> okay, that was fake as fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of these are fake. Hmm. 
party prank. Party prank? Oh, I know this. I think I know this. I don't understand Japanese. Can you translate this? Uh, yeah. It says, um, they go to bathroom and then something silly happens. Wow. How do you know Thanks Japanese? to advanced bathroom moving technology, this countdown number will make them rocket into space. Oh, yeah. Hoisting them up so everybody can see them shit. That's awesome. They're getting That's a, so rude. They're getting a porta potty ride like Whitey. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Japanese bathrooms, yeah. Wait, why are we talking about Japanese bathrooms? Police. How'd you learn Japanese, Shoko? Um, practice? Dedication? She was arrested in Japan. She spent, like, hard time there. I can say things like, mm -hmm. Damn, who pulls their fucking pants all the way down? Gel did not like what you said, by the way. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Man. Nah, I'm gonna finish my shit. Sorry, man. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Not about to stop just because people are watching. What if they got someone arrested for this? Yeah, imagine. What 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 are the laws here? Who knows it's a foreign country. Man, these kind of social situations are like a fucking nightmare. Just like irrational fears coming true. It's crazy. If this happened to me, I'd just start cranking my hog. I'm cranking that hog! <laughs> you called him a Kimochi? Kimochi? Why don't you have a Kimochi uh, redeem? No, because that's really lewd. I don't think that, that'd be a good one to have. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's too lewd? Okay. Yeah, that's like... Uh-huh. Okay. That, that literally means it feels good. Yeah? I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I should have the, the redeem for that. Okay. Next, they launch him off a cliff. D1. That was like the rival gang to D9. Wait, D12. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's what it was. Japanese Isn't that a dice? I love that, that, um, that dinosaur one. You like the dinosaur? Yeah. <sighs> Look, he's real. Guys, you got, okay, you guys, you guys wanted to learn something about me? You, you guys ready? You're afraid of dinosaurs. I love Gaki no Sukai. And if you guys love stuff, Gaki no Sukai, I love it though, because it's my favorite fucking series ever. I watched their New Year's Can we just watch whole episodes? Every New Year's. Uh, these are actually really fucking funny, so yeah, if they're subtitles, sure, we could do that. Haunted Hotel. Mmm. Haunted Hotel, is that here? Did you just Scroll see down. that? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not the whole thing. Yeah, the Haunted Hotel one is the fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. So here's the premise, right? Um, when they first started out, they started doing uh, just Batsu games. And Batsu games are like punishment games. Uh, and so they mm. did competitions, you know, like one person versus four other crew members, right? 
Uh, and there's five of them. So, Crewmates? Huh? Crewmates? I don't know. Cast members is what I meant to say. Um, so there's five in the group. And in this one particular one, uh, Matsumoto, he tried to race against all four of them. And he lost. He just sucked. It was bad. And so he had to receive a punishment game. He went to a quote-unquote haunted hotel. And the entire time, it's just like three hours of just them trying to fucking scare him and <laughs> like prank him throughout the entire night it's so fucking funny i loved it i wish i could find it but that's pretty great we'll see oh look that's a cockroach oh no i've seen this oh fuck that's a fucking real cockroach i know ah! number one real dinosaur in office please don't comment you are at office and suddenly okay no you are at office, and suddenly... Oh, let's see if we can find it. Ah, uh, no. I know exactly where to find it, but I don't think I should. Just because uh, it might be copyright, I don't know. Uh... Just mute it. No. Silent Library, yeah. They they came up with Silent Library. Oh yeah, there was like a that was like the American one. Well they did like an American one. Yeah, and it sucked ass. It was horrible. This is the there one. There it is right there, wait. On the right. Yeah. You know what's okay, and here's the thing I hate I hate I hate about I hate I hate about um American adaptations of Japanese shows, they always make the intros into really, like, borderline racist <laughs> intros. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> like they, here, if you guys haven't seen it. Zero Kazama, this is not a game show. This is Silent Library. You guys get it? It's a show from <laughs> Japan that they adapted. <laughs> What's with the fucking gong? <laughs> I don't know. They always do that whenever they adapt Japanese TV shows. It's it's just so kind of sus, man. I don't know. The gong is really bad. Yeah. Why did they hire this guy just to introduce this show? <laughs> This is Silent Library. So this. Nice. Awesome. Japan, gong. Huh. I thought you were going to get ice cream, by the way. Oh, um, okay. Do you want to watch this first and then you can get I didn't it? know I was allowed. Yeah. Yeah, you're allowed ice cream. You've been good. You've been a very oh, good girl, yeah. too. No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Do you not stream this video. Did you see that? Why? <laughs> Scroll back. Like, go back just a little bit. No, not the whole way. Well, fucking too late. There was only 10 okay, seconds whatever. anyway. Whatever. Look at the bottom. Do not stream this video. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Wait. <laughs> He said Wait. I can't. He said I shouldn't. All right. Come on. Shit. I mean, all right. But if I get in trouble, he warned me, and you're in trouble. <laughs> so the whole premise, you guys don't really even need to, like, know Japanese that well, just, like, what the punishment is. Um, everybody's like, one of these has like a skull on it, and whoever gets the skull is a loser. He's a loser.
god. <laughs> Oh my god, what is it? What is he doing? Like, why is it so fixated? On, like, it's, it's hooked into his nose. Here's another one. <laughs> Sounds like Luigi screams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh man. I guess. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kuze, y'all. We'll be seeing more of him in two weeks. <laughs> no, next week, actually. Wait, no, two weeks. He's literally about to fucking fight him, dog. <laughs> he was about to squirt and look, he's squaring up. He's fucking squaring up. He was about to fight that fucking monkey. Oh my god. All right. Well, uh, yeah, go get your go get your ice cream. Ice cream. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, ducky. Hope she can figure out the maze this time, like faster. I don't think she will. You guys know about why uh, that actor who played Kuze is a uh, trans ally? I think everyone knows the story. Okay. So here it is. I think we all know the story, but like a lot of a lot of a lot of the details get mixed up. Right? Yes. The main reason apparently uh, a lot of people spread this around like it's a main reason, but it's it's not really. But people have, have spread around the reason that he's a trans ally is because he received earth-shattering, apocalyptic, life-changing, personality-shifting head from a, tra a trans woman. Now, here's the real reason. That's, that is the funny fucking reason as to why. It's not too far off as to why. But the real reason is because he has a relationship. He had a relationship with a trans woman uh, a while ago, and uh, it, it's it's uh, actually his ex, and uh, they still keep up nowadays. But yeah, they had a relationship for a little while, and through her, he actually like uh, is now uh, for trans rights because of that. Yeah, no, they, they had a relationship together, and uh, I, I believe, like, yeah, they still keep up w with each other. She even slept at his house uh, a while back uh, because she didn't have a home, and, like, he allowed her to live there. So, yeah, he just had a really nice relationship with, um, obviously, they're, they're not together anymore, but he, through his relationship with her, he was, uh, he just became a trans ally. But, yes, it's probably because he got... He got Delta P head from her. It's not really, you know, the reason, but yeah, it's, it's still funny to think about. Imagine the goose's, that goose's eyebrows are his eyes and his eyes are his nostrils and he's just going. I can't really see it. I'll be real. Bro got the Sloppenheimers of all Sloppenheimers. Yeah, he got Atomic Head. But yeah, no. Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's really gonna be fun. Like, uh, playing Yakuza and getting to know more of Kuze's character. Like, I think the, the dude's performance is amazing. Obviously, I keep calling him Kuze because honestly, here in America, Kuze has eclipsed his own actor. <laughs> Now, anytime people see him, he's just Kuze. Daisuke Kuze. I need to play the Yakuza games. Hey, you're in luck. On Monday, January 22nd, I'm going to be streaming Yakuza. Uh, all week long. Yak well, actually, all year long. We're going to be doing uh, every Yakuza game 
since uh, the very beginning in chronological order, starting in January the 22nd, at the end of every month. So, okay, we're going to be doing Yakuza 0 on the second, on the 22nd, and we're going to be doing it all week, and we're going to try and beat it. Hopefully we will. Pretty sure we will. I mean, it's, we're given a whole fucking week. It can't be that long. I know it's not that long. But, uh, yeah, we'll be playing it every single day until we beat it. And then next month, on the last week of February, we're going to be doing Yakuza Kiwami. And then on March, we're going to be doing Yakuza Kiwami 2. Then uh, April, you know, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, yeah, that's going to be happening all year round. Because it's the year of the dragon, and I need an excuse to beat the Yakuza games that I didn't beat. It's my favorite franchise. It's going to be fun. You know what's really funny and ironic? The eighth Yakuza game comes out on the 26th, the week that I'm going to be uh, streaming Yakuza 0. So, uh... That's I yeah we're not gonna be, be we're not gonna be playing that until at least August or September. It's funny because I don't know like do I need? Do you know about the K Sun thing? No, I don't actually. I really don't. It's actually kind of ironic because um. I actually don't remember what I was going to say. I got distracted. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's it's weird because before we reach Yakuza 8, I have to figure out if we have to beat Yakuza, the man without a name. Does anyone know if that's... If anybody's, like, aware of the Yakuza series, does anyone know if um, I need to play that first before 8? Or can I just... Skip that and go to 8 directly. I'm pretty sure I have to do it first, don't I? Kason is a VTuber who used to be a dragon VTuber called Coco in Hollow Live, and she loves Yakuza. Now she's in the new one. Oh, dope! That's real dope. Are you going to play Yakuza Dead Souls? That is the one every single time I mention this to my friends. At least one of them mentions... That are, are you going to do Yakuza Dead Souls? The answer is... I don't know. Because I don't know how P PlayStation 3 ROMs and emulators work. Because, uh... If anybody doesn't know, Yakuza Dead Souls is like a spin-off Yakuza game. Where it's like literally, um... Like, Dead Rising? Is that the Capcom game? Well, anyways, it's a zombie game where you kill a bunch of zombies, uh, but but Yakuza aesthetic, and uh, that's only on PlayStation Three. They never re-released it anywhere, so I don't know how I'd be able to play Dead Souls. Every Yakuza game that has ever existed has so far been remade or remastered uh, for current gen, but not Dead Souls. A PlayStation 3 emulation should work. I don't I don't know. I've never I never heard of a good one that works. But yeah, I'll I'll see if I can. That'd be a real fun game to play during October. I have some of the games and played some of them, but not touch in the order of them in timeline. Wait, I have to play every fucking Yakuza game to get to eight? Are you serious? Do I have to play Judgment too? Not Dead Souls on the PSP games, yeah, no. Do I have to play Judgment also? I really don't mind playing all of them until 8. Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Dead fucking serious. I don't even care. Judgment is a spinoff. But Judgment uh, 2. I heard Judgment 2 spoils the ending of 7. Which, by the way, I've never beaten 7. I have played it. But I stopped playing it after my roommates like uh, moved out. Because I mostly played it for them. And I love 7 a ton. But we all really enjoyed the story. And I sort of stopped playing as soon as they moved out. So... Yakuza 1 through 7, then you can get Yakuza 8. No, obviously, yeah. Obviously. The problem with me is that there's a lot of gaps in between the Yakuza games. I have beaten Yakuza 0, 1. I know the story of 2 and 3, but I've never beaten them myself. Especially not Kiwami 2. Like, I don't know anything about Kiwami 2. I have beaten 4 a long time ago, but I don't remember anything about it. 
I know what happens in 5. I've played a little bit of Yakuza 6, but I haven't beaten it. Same with 7. And I don't know anything about it. Obviously, it's not even out yet. Um, as for the spinoffs, again, Judgment, a little bit. Not all of it. I... Uh, let's see. Judgment 2, I haven't even touched it. And Ishin. I mean, most Americans have ever played Ishin because it's always been like a spin-off game. But now it, it re, it's remade for the PS5, so definitely want to try it out. Aren't Kiwami games just remakes or am I... They're, 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 they're remakes, but they're good remakes because they... First of all, they update the story. The story was a hot fucking mess in the first two games and they kind of like... Kind of condensed it to be a little bit better and told a little bit better. And and they added some stuff. Like, there's a character in Kiwami that has this backstory. Kiwami. Hi. That has, you kind of scared me. He has this oh. sort of, like, backstory that isn't explained. He goes from, like, being cool to being evil. And nobody really knows why until, like, the end where he explains. But, like, they add more context in Kiwami. And it's very, very well done. And, uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Choco. I had ice cream. You had ice cream? Yeah. Good girl. You figured out oh. the maze way faster. I'm learning your stupid maze. Okay. Choco, Choco, what kind of ice cream do you have? I had coffee and chocolate chips. Wow. She's going to be zooted. That's I'm good. already feeling energy. Well, that's good. That That's good that you're feeling energy because I got to use the bathroom. Oh, go. Run away from me. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Okay. How Is many it... scoops? I had, like, four spoonfuls. <laughs> Which is a lot for a little... But that's a, a lot little... for an imp. Yeah, that's a lot for a little impy tummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, go okay. take your poo-poo or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna take my poo-poo. Okay, I'll be right back. Is, is this... Actually, I can't... My headphones just died. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. There's I no enjoy, music. Enjoy the little thing. Okay, BRB. We're going to Migawa Chill. How many of you guys have been to Japan? Raise your little hands and chat. Hi, Queen of Hi, Gullifer. I'm an imp. Yeah. Not me, no, Loki wanna though, never, wish I could go wanna- It's so great, you have- oh my god, Bell Rookie, oh my god. Hold on. Brrr. I'm so cold, by the way. Having ice cream was the worst idea, because it's so cold. Uppies. <laughs> Anyone getting in Yakuza don't feel rushed to go through all the eight coming soon. Just take your time with the series. I really need to go to sleep. Okay, Clarith, go. Good night. Night, night. Good night, night. Um. Good night, everyone. Good night, Clarith. Is my mic cutting out? I'm sorry if my mic is being stupid. I spent a semester in Toku. Is it really bad? Hold on, I'm gonna check it real fast. I'm sorry. I don't know, it sounds great to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the Ebisu Shrine. Oh, good night, Chelsea Bunny. I really want to experience, like, Japan with snow. Choco, can I stay in your nest tonight? It's freezing. <laughs> stay away from my nest. You stay away from my nest. Hmm. I want to go to Japan, but I'm broke as shit, so I have to live vicariously through YouTube videos. Um, 
It's if you ever get the chance to go, oh my god. Oh my god. Just waiting for the day I can. I feel like it ruined my life when I went because ever since then, everything else has been so lame in comparison. That was like the coolest trip I've ever kind of gone. Oh my god, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Japan and never leave ever. Yeah, we're just gonna have to like go to the forest, you know? <laughs> Aww. Oh my god, the best example of that was like the 7 Eleven in, in Japan was so great that right whenever we came back, I went to like my local 7 Eleven by where I lived and I got so depressed because it was so lame in comparison to Japan 7 Eleven. Like, the way that they treat you <laughs> in the 7 Elevens in Japan. When you go to the 7 Elevens here and they're just like. Barely even notice that you're there when you're standing there waiting for your stuff to be rung up. <laughs> that was so mid as hell. It was so depressing. They have that same feeling in Yakuza games? Yeah. I love, uh, I haven't played much or, at all. I haven't played it at all, but I've watched the Yakuza games and it's so cool. I got a buddy who's there now actually working as an English teacher. <gasps> so do I. Oh my god. I'm not going to say who it is, but their creator that I really love and I've known them for longer than I've known any other content creator. Like, ever since I was a teenager. And I'm so proud of him, seeing him live in Japan now. He's got a girlfriend out there, he's a teacher. And he still does the content on the side, too. It's me! No, it's not. <laughs> I'm, like, so jealous and proud of him. <laughs> I've been watching a few streamers play Zero One and now Kiwami 2. Dame dane, dame yo, dame no no yo. <laughs> Anata ga, suki de, sugi sugi te, dore da ke, tsuyoi o sakete mo, yugama nai, omoi de ga, baka mita. <laughs> yeah! I don't know the rest of it, but I remembered all that part. <laughs> oh my god, White Goose is in the house, yo! <laughs> I follow this person who's an English teacher in JP at a boys' school and they keep jokingly asking her out. I highly doubt it's a joke. Highly doubt. I've heard that, like, like I've always, like, thought about living in Japan, but I've heard that living there as, like, a woman is kind of a nightmare, especially if you're foreign. So, I don't know. Unless I'm rich, I don't think I'm ever living there. You'll have that song, in, that dong engraved in my brain. Oh, fuck. Your singing is always great. That was not my singing. That was me just goofing around. I was just... Do not think that's how I sing. <laughs> They've all been rejected and they all do it like comically exaggerated. That's cute. That's still pretty. Ah. Huh? I've heard such things as well, Choco. Yeah, I heard it's like not so great to be a foreigner. Female foreigner. Your singing voice is pretty too, though. Stop! This is like exactly the amount of snow there is in Sweden right now. Wow. Make me. I will. 
I will find you No, I will die for you Me will die if you want me to, yeah Man, I really want to experience being there during the winter Maybe that will be what I next, uh, when I next visit I'll try to like visit during snow time I woke up at 9 p.m. today and suddenly there's snow. Wow, what the fuck? Gal, how much longer are you, like, free? We gotta make time for Gunya. Really does look so pretty. Better than the slush-covered streets here. What you mean free? Oh, I just mean, like, free. Free from your shackles. I'm trying to soldier on with this drawing I'm working on, though, since it should head been suit. Okay, craft. Well, if you don't soldier on with the drawing, then I hope you have good EPs. If you do, I hope you draw great. Big muscly bunny. Why is Goose dead? I actually, he said he had to go to the bathroom. So I'm guessing that, like, he has to go to, like, the bathroom. Wink. I've been asking you. Well, I've been... You know what I've been going through. He's gonna die in the toilet like Elvis? No! <laughs> Sleep well when you do craft in case I fall asleep first. Goose, quit gooning and get back to stream. <laughs> I can't believe Goose is gone. I'm trying my best to keep things interesting. Um, do I have any good Japan stories whenever I went? There was a night whenever I went with uh, my friends and there were these guys that talked to us. They couldn't speak ja or English and we couldn't speak Japanese, so we were just talking late and they Cigarettes. <laughs> we are at a bar. That was fun. Choco, I want to show you incriminating messages Dizzy sent me yesterday. Um, what do you mean, um? Oh, she is cutting out? Am I really cutting out that badly? Is it just now doing this for the first time? I don't really know why. I don't really know what to do about that. Is this better? Randomly on short words, huh? Do you know how to get good prices on tickets and stuff there? No, um, honestly, like... It's gonna be really fucking expensive no matter what. It sure is. Hi. What are you guys talking about? Going to Japan, what are you talking about? Going to Japan, what are you talking about? Going to Japan, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, bestie? I'm going to Japan. No, I'm going to Japan. No, I'm going to Japan. Well, maybe we're going to Japan. Maybe, maybe we are going to Japan. Maybe we we're planning on it. <laughs> okay. So, I might sound a little weird. You well, do. Sounds like I got something in my mouth, right? Are you brushing your teeth? No, no. No. How how mad would you get if I was like doing something on the side while you're talking to my chat? Doing what? So I don't know why. What controlled me? But I uh I put a face mask on. You fucking weirdo. Why now? <laughs> it's, it's, it feels, I don't know, it's just like you know, it feels like a real Feels like a slumber party. So I put a face mask on. Guys, he's checked out. No, gotta, no, I'm not I checked gotta... out. <laughs> you sound. <laughs> okay, I'll be real. The the lips, the mouth, is like really small. So I had to like purse my lips <laughs> to talk. Do you want a photo? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, sure. Oh, 
I look really bad. Oh my god. Cock in his mouth. How the hell has no one said he's sucking dick yet? Can I put my balls in your jaws? Your jaws, balls in your jaws. Can I? Can I? <laughs> Can I put my balls in your jaws? Your jaws, balls in your jaws. <laughs> Can I put my goose in your booth? That sounds really kind of sexual. Yeah. Need the NECA arc version? I haven't heard the NECA arc version. I know that there's like the one tiny little creature version. There's like, can I put my balls in your jaws? <laughs> this is really... This is really balls in your jaws is it sexual? No. Said I need you need balls in your jaws, Gel. I mean, same. What is Choco trying to do? What do you mean? What am I trying to do? Oh, what is that? There's like a red. I just noticed that there's like a red mark on this mask. I don't even know why. I promise that's not a pimple. It's really. I don't know why there's a red mark on it. That's weird. Oh my god, Nekoark said a bad word. And what you sent me, Gil. Wow. You know what? This is a bad idea. I'm not gonna take a photo. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, this is perfect. I really hate taking photos so bad. Take too long. Uh-huh. Shut up. Don't you uh-huh me. Um, I kind of want to play, uh... Pal World? Pal World. Yeah. Maybe I should, like, message them and be like, I'm a really famous streamer. So by that, you mean you want me to write you a message? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Please. Yeah, I could do it. I yeah, do thank that. you! I could do that. <laughs> look at you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> so I found a photo of Choco with my face <laughs> It's just, you can see how small the fucking. Thing. <laughs> he's, his lips are like he's got like Donald Trump lips right now. <laughs> cute. Yeah. So it's, cute. It's not great. Well, now you're cutting out crazily. Yeah, Biru knocked out the uh, mic. Oh, you scared me. I thought my internet was dying. No, 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 no. That doesn't can make I put sense. My you're balls watching my. In your jaw. Balls in your jaw. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it's so cute, everybody. You guys are missing out on not being able to see this. You know, it's really gross. I can feel my mustache on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see it at the car. <laughs> the... <Yeah. laughs> you can. Ah. <Aww. laughs> hey, honey. Goose come from tiny lips? No, he's just like pursing them. Because he has to to fit them in that little hole. Yeah. It's not that my holes. My holes. <laughs> it's not that my mouth. It's not that the my lips are small. It's the hole that's small. My lips are actually big. Yeah. They're, they're good and they're made for sucking. And that's what I'm gonna do. These lips are make it, are made for sucking. I, I don't know how the lyrics go. That was horrible. You are horrible. Hey, honey bunny. The cutest, tiniest cat in the world. Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, everyone. Have a good stream, night and day. All of you above. See you later. Good night. Good night, Red Light. Thanks for joining. Good night, Red Light. I didn't even put like a timer on.
so when I could take it off, I'll just take it off in like six minutes, I guess. Yeah. 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 Did someone say if he had a stash also? Oh no, was, they just asked me. Huh? Oh yeah, uh, Pal World. Let's look it up. Let's look up like the Pal, Pal World. World. I can DM them. I just need to, you know, like, I guess I need something nice to say to them. Yeah, if only you had someone that could help you with that. Ah, uh, if only. If only there's someone who has proven in the past to get you shit. Because they wrote you stuff. I make Goose write all of my professional emails. Genuinely. And he does it. Yeah, I have. That's how she. Uh, not even a joke. That's how she got the gamer subs thing. No, it's not. Okay, but it it helped. <laughs> no, it's not. It I helped. literally no. They didn't even look at that. Only happened because I went in person and bothered them. I want my credit for that. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, but he did actually write me a really, really thought help thing, and I submitted it, and um, it helped. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just. No, I can't. No, it's okay. I can't emote. I can't talk. Um. Is it actually cutting off my words? Oh yeah, it has been all night. What? But it hasn't been like that noticeable at all. It, like happens every like three hours. Like, they keep bringing it up. Well, now they are because it's getting like not that. You know, it's not that. No, I know exactly why. I don't because... know how to fix it. No, I know exactly what it is. You remember when at the start of the stream, I was like, your mouth is like constantly open. It's whatever you did. Oh yeah. Then that's why it. Is. I don't know why. It's okay. Mm. It's literally not even mm. bothersome at all. It's like very rare that it happens. Mm. Can someone send me mm. like a Pal World? I can't type. Biru's on the keyboard. So can someone send me like a Pal World like trailer? I already did. Literally. <sighs> on disc. On. Yes, if you scroll up one. On Twitter. That's not yeah, great. and what is said above that too. <sighs> okay. And what you said above that, too. Uh-huh. I read that. Fucker. Um. We could just check out the Steam page, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Shoot. This is shit. The show, I mean the game. Oh my god, it is shit. That's literally Gyarados. That's crazy. Yeah, they're. That's literally Wulu. They are shameless about the ripoffs. And they got a mini gun. The gun is so stupid. I can't. How fast do you think this game is gonna die? First. Day. No. Of course it is. It, people are gonna find out it's broken, and they're using AI something, and then they're gonna abandon it. Look, this is this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna open up the game. They're gonna find out it's broken as shit. It doesn't work. The servers are gonna go down or something like that. They're gonna find out most of these are like AI art. The artist is gonna come out and say, "Yes, we didn't even get paid for this." The programmers are gonna be found out to be like children working at a, like a factory. Uh, uh -huh. and, and just all sorts of shit. Literally Pokemon with guns. It's like yeah. Pokemon meets, um, Monster Hunter. Guns. Yeah. Damn, wait. Hold on. Go back. Why am I in the game? Why are they- why'd they- why'd they steal me and put me in their game? <laughs> that is, uh, actually nuts. That looks like you in both ways. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Young Yeah is gonna make a video about this. Iron Mouse? <laughs> Iron Mouse, yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Happy birthday!
Yeah. I'll just message them and be like, um, I'm in the game, so I deserve a f Listen, I'll be real, I, I'm not confident that we're gonna be able to get you a copy of it. Uh, but... I'll try my hmm. best, I'll try my best to get you it. I'm gonna pull a Florida Joker. Yeah, where's my five million? Bitch. Early access? Is, that's only early access? I thought this shit was coming out. What the fuck? What the fuck? Shut. Oh no! Eat. Eat. It's fucking doomed. Yeah, I hate early access. That is like literally always a bad sign. Look at this fucking slave factory. This is, you know what's funny? You think this is the bad guys thing? No, this is your custom built. You can build a factory and you can have them do this. <laughs> this is not a bad guy's lair. This is your lair. Also, hi, I see. We we're just talking about you. I see. I see. Hi. We we're just talking about I you. See, I, I see. I see. Oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah. I see. I wanted, uh, we were just talking about how I wanted to commission you. To make like choco art, so I can use it as a sticker on my arcade stick. We already told you how you could do that. What? You can use the pussy sticker and put another sticker. She wants me to use the pussy sticker. I'm bring. This is an arcade stick. I'm bringing to public. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Sorry. I love the pussy picture, but it's not. I can't do it. I have so many extra choco pussy. No, I'm telling you, I don't want the pussy stickers. <laughs> Come on, don't be a boob. I'm not gonna bring a fucking arcade stick with a pussy sticker. You know what I could do? Actually, I could use the uh, give me the pussy sticker. I'll put a sticker above the pussy. That's what I said just now. Were you not listening to me? <sighs> Who are you? Sorry. I hate you. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> <clears throat> So I gotta sell them under the table. Oh, they're banned from wink, Etsy? Wink. Yeah, Etsy said no pussy. No pussy sticker. No choco. I'm happy. I'm so proud that my likeness has been banned from somewhere. DM me for choco <laughs> pussy stickers. This is extremely shady. This is my friend <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm soliciting pussy pictures on my own front. You even offered. That's crazy. You offered to I mean, give what me- what can I say? It's what? a good pussy. Okay. This is how we roll. Choco Taco. Put a Choco Pussy sticker on some famous person's car. Choco Taco banned from Etsy. I would love to put it on, like, some famous celebrity's car, and then they're gonna tweet about it and be like, what is the symbol of hate doing on my fucking door? This is what society <laughs> has brought us to. Lil Nas X, this, this demonic, is your fault. This demonic sexual so imagery. People, so people feel comfortable with this being a VTuber? Huh. No wonder society sucks. <laughs> Room for one more? <laughs> Mr. Natso, thanks for gifting Icy a tier one sub. Yay! Oh. Icy, now you have the little Acroid. A little Acroid can be yours now. I'm so cold, I'm shivering. I'm so cold. <laughs> okay, um. My mustache is in the way. <laughs> the nostalgia critic one? Huh? She, she likes the. She used the nostalgia critic emote. Oh. <laughs> Why you have that? <laughs> when we were watching The Wall, people wanted me to make the nostalgia critic into a, 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 an emote, and I did the next Build day. Build that wall! Build that wall. The wall sucks. The movie? Yeah. Yeah. No, it does. It really... <laughs> because it's just the wall. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking long, boring music video. No, the, the fucking <laughs> nostalgia critic version. Oh, that? Yeah. I wasn't talking about the actual the wall. They're both long music videos when you really think about it. Yeah. Bruh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god, click on the Peter Subway one. Please, please, okay. please. Hey, tell me something. There's a delicious Subway food ah. montage going on right behind me, isn't there? I remember yeah, I this. Smell it. Well, that's gonna make it kind of hard to focus, but here we go. An ode to the Subway feast. Turkey, salami, cheese with roast beef, pepperoni and ham. <laughs> we got them all on freshly baked bread. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a is global this? emergency. Important details will follow. <laughs> this is so scary. Okay. I feel like I just walked into a nightmare. I was I was happy, literally. I was like I was lured into a false sense of peace and security with Peter Griffin. And then Peter Griffin made me cry. And then everything got scary. I didn't like that. Oh, I didn't like that either. I, 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 I'm scared. Guys, that wasn't me. Peter Griffin is my comfort character. Jeez, I almost fell asleep and that and that happened. Yeah, let's wake up everyone else who's like almost falling asleep. Yeah. Free thinkers. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You should draw him comforting you crying like Spider did. God, you are killing me with that booty. <clears throat> Dick. Sorry, Steffi. Oh. What'd you do? Played the knocking sound effect that's really hyper-realistic. Oh. Goose, I'm not sure how I'd feel about the wall comment you made earlier. What it was referencing to exactly. Uh, the Nostalgia Critic. Yeah, obviously. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, cool. Someone made a video about Greylock. That's dope. I love Greylock. Did it get more views than me? Bruh. What the fuck is Greylock? Are you serious? No. Wait, you're not serious? No. So you know what Greylock is, right? Yeah, of course. Why is that? Because you did a trauma thon server episode about it. No, I didn't. I made a video about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't watch my videos. I haven't watched every single one of your videos. I watch every single one of your you streams. Have, you have watched every single one of my streams. All I doubt it. Every, I doubt it. I highly, I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, drive through <laughs> New York City, 1997. How fucking the gall. The tenacity they have for fucking airing this. Did you really expect me to watch every one of your videos? I'm actually really fucking sad and heartbroken. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm torn apart. Tearing me apart, Lisa! I'm crying, Rich. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Good, cry. I hate you. I do. I do dull. <laughs> Fire up a real one. That was cool. That was cool. What a oh my cool... god, that's like uh that's like the other video we watched earlier. Oh Rest in peace. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get cooked. <laughs> I can feel the liquids all over my skin. Oh my god, that's me when- never mind. Huh, never mind. <laughs> lollipop, lollipop, oh lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Dun, dun, dun. 
Look how peaceful New York used to be. I bet these people are so happy and nice, huh? Not a single cell phone in sight. Wait, is this 9-11? No, this is 97. Oh. What will happen if I leave a face mask on for too long? The bite of 97? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we should stop with the sexual jokes. Fuck. I mean, my entire family is watching this stream. Oh, hi, entire White Goose Goose fam. It's the other I'm sorry whites. I keep talking about my pussy. My pussy. It's the one joke that I have as a woman. Yeah, and she's still not funny. Can you believe that? Shut up, asshole. <laughs> she got so offended. <laughs> Audio Amy jungle. Schumer. Amy Schumer. <laughs> okay, time to take out the face mask. It rips off his whole face. He looks like the Half-Life corpse. Choco, you're funny, just not intentionally. I am intentionally funny. He took off the mask now. Why are you so masked now? Why are you so masked now? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Choco's playing funny, what the fuck do you mean? See, Fono and Gel have my back. Yeah, that's because they're your mods, not mine. Fono's not my mod. Oh, I thought Kraft said that. No. You don't even pay attention to the people in your chat. They're not my chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that all I am? That's all you were. <laughs> the fact is, I can never stop sucking my fat dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let's go here. Oh, this actually Dio. feels like a road trip. Oh my god, this is like we're getting back yeah. on track. <laughs> actually, you know what? Fuck the Google Maps shit. Why don't we just look up, like, interesting videos like this of, like, Time capsules and time travel. Time travel. How are you driving? Are you like driving that? like that? Uh, Tokyo drifting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. In New York from the 1910s. Yeah. Why are you so 19? <laughs> what? You should be less than 18. <laughs> because love. my name is Dream. <laughs> and I want to cream. <laughs> and make your face sheen. I think we're going to get arrested tonight. Complimentary gift boxes and bowls at every time. Wahoo! Wahoo! That's fucking awesome, Strat! Woo! Ow, ow! Ar, ar. Are you sending porn to this bitch? I accidentally muted after Choco said because my name is, but luckily Goose saved me with the context clues by rhyming the word cream. See? This is why. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is why I. I uh, <laughs> this is why we need to buddy, buddy, buddy up. We're always completing each other's jokes. Huh? Alright, I guess. Who are you? Shut up, idiot. Don't talk you. to me. You won't speak to the queen. More like the queef. 
You disgust me. Fuck you. Fuck you. The Amish in, in YC, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Did you not see how they're parked there? Look at their hot whips. That's not the Amish. Oh, okay. That's a carriage. Oh, you're right. Amish people are people, not fucking carriages. Yeah. They're arguing in the car again. <laughs> Wants attention. Huh? Is she meowing? Oh, I guess she is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Greasy wieners and life beaters. My cat reminds me of beer sometimes. It's probably because they're cats. Probably because you're white goose boos and you have your own version of beer. You know, his cat is actually black. <laughs> like, that's uh, crazy. What's the opposite of blue? Red. Oh. Oh my god, the Twin Towers. Whoa, look at those things, whoa. I can't believe they had the fucking nerve to add the Twin to, Towers. To paint a big bullseye on it, that was such a dumb... Yeah. Look, there it is! <laughs> Holy shit, you really do just repeat conversations? No, we don't. This is being filmed live. The opposite of blue. The opposite of blue is orange, actually. <laughs> actually, the opposite of orange is uh, blue. <laughs> Look, see? It's a huge target right there. That's the Avengers Tower. Man, I love fall weather. God, look at them looming ominously. Yeah. So eerie. Gosh, stop filming it. Knock it off. It's so ironic that he, like, filmed the Twin Towers in the fall. Shut up. Has this New Yorker in here a single gunshot yet? Oh, uh, this was the 90s, which is basically, like, heaven on Earth. Nothing bad ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> also, okay, I'll be real, there's not a lot of gunshots in New York. Uh, at least not in Manhattan. There's usually just stabbings. And muggings. Yeah, those usually happen in Woman Hatton. Mm -hmm. Imagine all the cocaine. <laughs> That's actually what they're driving on right now, just a big sheet of it on the street. We are a hundred years behind in technology, huh? And rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Choco, it's your birthday today. Kicking the criminals. Alright, enough of this fucking gay shit. Let's look at New York to Los Angeles. Oh, this is a. He's driving there? Oh my god. Part one? And it only took him three hours? Yeah. Wow. What's up, everyone? I'm going on Food a review. trip to Los Angeles, California. Shut the fuck What's up. What's up, everyone? I'm going on a trip. So this dude talks. Yeah, this sucks. I hope someone gets, like, run over here. No. Okay. Why is this the most viewed part? Like, something happens here, right? I think it's because this is at the beginning. <sighs> yeah, right. Tell it to the judge. It's a me, Mario. Did you ever see that Mario Party commercial? <laughs> no. Or he's, like, he's getting carried out by the police. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, but it's a me, Mario. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, tell yeah. It to tell it to the judge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <past> <laughs> Queensbridge houses. This is the in three hours, we used to be a nation. Project <laughs> in the nation. We he talks like a don't oh hug me, I'm scared character. The Barbie movie. Oh, so this is super recent. I'm just Ken. Oh, 
and over oh. here is, is this how new york looks like now i haven't been to new york roadway. since uh upper roadway i was a kid yeah look at that skyline towerless uh look what they've done we used to be a nation run them over <laughs> Did I say Pussy NYC? Long Island City to Midtown Manhattan at 59th Street. Many locals will even call this the 59th Here's the tall Bridge. sandwich from Zombie Island. Its official name is the Ed Koch Bridge. Or Ed Koch Kingsborough Bridge. Ringus, thanks for giving White Gooseboos a gift sub. I don't even, I don't even know he wasn't sub. Thank you, thank you. Mm, like that was a lot less filling than I thought. Well, you built it just as fast. Oh! That looks pretty good. That does look really fucking good. I think it put me in the hospital, though. The hot spittle? Uh huh. Because it's really spicy. I went to New Goose City with last year with my girlfriend. God, yeah, rub it in, so why don't you? Good. It looks so good. <laughs> Wait, what? Who? I went to Nugu City last year with my girlfriend. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but no one really calls it that. The Twin Tower family. Sammy. Why? Why, gal? Choco, like three layers of that would put you in a coma. Shut up. <laughs> That's your grandpa? Wow. That's my now grandpa. I'm hungry. That'd be funny if it was your grandpa. Can we watch Brain Toy? What the fuck is Brain Toy? Oh, Brain Rot. What'd you- oh. what? A lot of road work happening on this bridge. Oh, there's a lot of roads here. What the fuck? It's like I'm driving. This video is very... It's kind of cool to see an actual road trip. Oh my god, wait. Can we, like, play, play this backwards? Play in the background, what the fuck? I wish you could play it backwards. Yeah, where we just drive backwards. Everybody else drives in reverse. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're in a... Let's put a radio on. What should we put? We're backing up. We should put on Bon Jovi. Okay. No, not really. You're gonna get trouble. I'm just Bon, and I am, uh... I'm not gonna even try. Hi, honey! That sucked. You suck. Fuck you. Oh, You're so fucking negative. Fuck you. I'm sick of this mm. shit. I'm sorry. Down with imps. Down with imps. <laughs> you turn. Do you guys see how mean he is? To me? <laughs> He's really so mean. I've been nice to you. He's all imphobic. Night. <laughs> oh, it's... Doesn't even care that I'm crying. You're not crying. Oh no, he's gonna take Imp Lives Matter out of his bio. <laughs> Why was it in his bio? Uh, because you're an imp. I'm an imp. <laughs> Crocodile tears. Fuck you. Fuck you. She can fake cry all she wants. Alright, I have no idea what we're doing anymore. What are we doing? You keep ruining the fun by turning off the actual road trip video. Okay, let's do it. Yeah! We're driving. We're driving, everyone. I'm an imp. This is an imp. I'm just imp. And I'm... Anywhere else I'd be a pimp. Yes! <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is how quiet it gets after an argument and you're just driving. Nobody wants to acknowledge that a fucking argument just happened. God, tell me about it. <laughs> That's the most fun part about uh, road trips is uh, just ignoring that there's trouble and nobody's having <laughs> fun. So you guys seen the video where every people keep driving under that bridge and crashing into it? Yeah. Yes, I think I have. I love yeah. that. Yeah. You wanna find it? Yeah. Yeah, but you find it. Please? <laughs> I find it? Oh. Please? Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, friend. I love you, friend. Yeah, whatever. 
bestie. She doesn't even want to acknowledge me, guys. Why do I even give her, like, my you? time? See? I got a couple of videos we can watch. I, I got, got a Glock, Glock in my Uh-huh, yeah. I just want I just want everyone to know we said that at the exact same time <laughs> no breath in between at all <laughs> you guys someone please clip that we we said that at the exact same fucking time <laughs> this has been a very creepy stream just for that reason what well, that we're like so in tune with each other right now yeah seriously Wait, where do I find this this bridge? <laughs> Blood forgot to edit this out. Is he really going to a McDonald's and just like not editing it out? <laughs> you guys should end stream with y'all getting pulled over and arrested. No. Wait, where's where's the bridge for the crash? Bridge it's the, it's an bridge. Australian it's an Australian bridge. bridge. Australia. Like I'm pretty sure there's one here in America. But... Oh. Can opener bridge? Oh yeah. Can opener bridge? That is like violent, but it's so true. <laughs> Wait, watch the other video first. Wait, no, watch this video. First, no, I want to see this fucking we'll Glock in my Rari. I just, I want to. I got it. a Glock in my Rari. We literally said it at the same time. Look, listen. I got a couple of videos we can watch. I, I got, got a Glock in my Rari. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with this? <laughs> that is our fusion. That's what our fusion from Dragon Ball... <laughs> like Dragon Ball would say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> couple of videos we Holy can watch. Holy fucking shit. I got a Glock in my Rari. <laughs> Wait, look at that clip in the bottom left. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, what the fuck? Why does she look AI generated? I know, this looks like Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm gonna have a party. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Just want everyone to know that this is on Twitch, and if she's allowed to stream it, so are we. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop watching it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, what, what, did you send it to me? Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, damn. <laughs> oh, copyright Jürgen on 11 for the 8. You're so offensive. Yeah. Yo, the can opener claims another one. That's what I got pay money wubby band stop. Sorry. Yeah, but that's pay money wubby. Why is it still on the platform then? Wow. 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 Can opener bridge. Bro, the fact that they just try to clear that shit without even slowing down is a thing. It's because. It's just below most truck um, safety uh, heights. Yeah. I think most of them are like 11 foot 10 or 11 foot 9. But this one fucking bridge, this bastard of a fucking bridge is 11 foot <laughs> 11, 8. 11 foot 8 dot com. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they I, put a whole website about it. It's so fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's genuinely bullshit. A little off the top, my barber. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that sucks ass. Oh. Look, he knew, he knew he tried to stop. <laughs> that one wasn't so bad. <laughs> god. God! Uh. You beat it through. <laughs> I like, okay, I like that it says 11 foot 8 at the sides. <clears throat> so there are definitely ones wow. that are. 
Some of them are stopping because they see it last second. <laughs> oh. Gosh. What the fuck? What the fuck? That was That's unrelated. Even... That was unrelated. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Have you guys seen the verbally? We just, yeah, we just watched it. We just watched it. Yeah. Oh my god, that wasn't even gonna get cleared no matter what. Oh, he tried to go Aww. slow. Okay. <laughs> I love the ones that just full send. Gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Yo, you got that, uh, you got that germa gene where you like seeing car accidents, huh? <laughs> it's just so destructive. <laughs> <laughs> I like destruction. <laughs> All pro ins insulation. I like these. These are, like, really satisfying. The ones that are clean yeah. shaven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Here we go, here we go. Nice. Oh yeah. To the bridge's credit, it's still standing. Yeah, cuz like, You just got a little trains. bit of truck zest off the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Shaden sh I don't even know how to say that. Shaden fraud? Pleasured Shaden derived fraud. by someone from another person's misfortune. Yeah. The cheese spoon. You're joking, right, Ringus? Oh, that's actually what it's called. It is called the can opener bridge. The can opener bridge, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh my gosh. Someone hasn't seen Avenue Q. What's oh Avenue Q? Oh my god. This, this bridge sucks asshole. <laughs> it's claimed so many lives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I want some full fucking... Ah! Oh my goodness. The ones with like the most confidence really kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they don't even try slowing down. It's a puppet musical that has raunchy jokes that's popular when I was in middle school. Lamal, they did The Internet is for Porn. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> I see with the eldritch knowledge of she, internet She has again. the... Okay, the thing about Icy, <laughs> man, we learned that she has, like, eldritch memes and, like, back pocket Whoa. in her mind. That's cool. Like, these aren't ancient memes. These aren't old memes. These are eldritch lost elder memes. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're in the void. Like fingerprints in an abandoned handrail. <laughs> ah, nice shave right off the top. Yeah. Does really he keep cool. driving? Does he even realize what just happened? Probably not. Jesus. Oh. Wow. Anyway, they have a song about shot and fraud. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I see. <laughs> sorry, I see. No, I say it with love. I love you. I say it with love. You, you, you're just a yeah. unique individual. Sometimes, you Don't know, I say that. It makes it sound worse. No, no. <laughs> you're just so, you're just so unique. I you're see. so interesting. I see. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's just like you know. Sometimes I see. I, I question if you have like a stand power. Where like you come up with memes that don't exist, and then as soon as you say that they exist, they do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez. <laughs> Imagine being behind one of these. Gosh, that's so I funny. I would slow I'm down dying. knowing it's gonna fucking happen. <gasps> no. Oh, you saw your friend do it, dog. Why even trying? <laughs> I'm 
the weird niche meme <laughs> retcon stand, yeah. How much is left? Okay, 69. Not bad. We already saw the coolest one. This one. <laughs> Jeez. Man, okay. what a cursed fucking area. Oh, 2021 even? Wow, it's still going, dog? It's still fucking going? <laughs> they, still <laughs> they still haven't fixed it. Oh, no, they, they, they fixed it. Look. Here's the one thing that they fixed. They put a fucking sign... <laughs> They put a fucking sign now, like, up here that says, watch out! Watch out! And also they put an additional 11 foot 8. <laughs> There's Stop. probably a thing that measures and it's like, your truck's not gonna make it. <laughs> I doubt it! <laughs> I doubt it! It's just those guys standing there with their shotguns. <laughs> Take your swing! Go on. <laughs> oh my god, Drizzling Prince, hi! Hi, Drizzling Prince. You drive five foot more and I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch just... that video next, please. No, no, no. We're not watching that. Hmm. Do you guys hear the way he scolds me like a pet? She wants to watch a video where two di like a person dies. Hmm. <laughs> those guys, funny. those guys are cool. But if they didn't like, you know, kill that dude with their shotgun, probably it'd be cooler. Oh, cool. I would learn the Eldritch good God stuff, but there's no clown, so it ain't that interesting to me. Clown sexer, have you met Icy? Yeah, you guys should should meet. You should. Uh, Are we talking about clown stuff. sex? Oh yeah, because we found a clown mode. <laughs> you should check out her stuff. Wait, were we talking about clowns? Sex? We found a clown motel. Oh yeah, we found a clown motel. We never even visited it. Alright, let's do that. No, I want to watch the video that I sent you. But I want to see the clown motel real quick. <sighs> hotel Clancy. It's Clown Spin Hotel. Yeah. There it is. Clown Motel. It's right there. That's where you uh that's where you take your clown hooker, clown sexer. <laughs> honk honk. That's all you hear at night. <laughs> Just fucking honking all night. <laughs> this place is uh cool. There's seven thousand images of clown sex motel. Are you serious? This is what the fucking clown motel rooms look like. This fucking sucks. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm just getting some very crazy information. Yeah? <laughs> you wanna share that? Don't say anything, please. Okay. No, I promise. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> okay. That's just okay. That's too much. <laughs> I 
Anyways, we're gonna leave the clown motel. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I sent you a video. I wanna watch the video. Oh, okay. Hmm. What if I sent you that fucking take your swing video? The, no, don't, don't fucking send. The, are you stupid? No, don't. Oh, uh, okay, we can watch this. Old man fondue. I feel like this is gonna get very. Oh, thanks, Mutt, Mutt Ninja. Thank you so much for giving uh, Cap Red a gift sub. Okay. I feel like I know where this is going. Ew! Ew! No! No! Not the chocolate. Not the chocolate fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is like. This is pretty sexy, though. <laughs> I'll be real. It's very sexual. Um, also, it's, um... It's like sexual assault, practically. They're holding him down for it. They're really holding him down for this shit. Oh, he really liked it. This, he did not. He looks like he literally... You cut off, would you say? He looks like he just literally got assaulted. Yeah, no, that was, uh... He doesn't look okay. No, no, he did not enjoy the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck said he enjoyed it? Did you say you enjoyed it? No. Okay. Um. Okay. Ooh, okay, we can watch this one. <laughs> Speaking of fondue. <laughs> oh my god, oh my goodness. The guys are putting huh? their flag in the sky now. This is what they're doing. They're even trying to they're trying to groom God himself. <laughs> Nobody's gonna do it. Hey! That sucks. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> he shot himself. <laughs> oh no. Pink corn. Oh no. Like the video and subscribe for a year of good luck. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Interrupt the train from the doors on the left. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! No! <laughs> she looks so ashamed. Wrapped around the cookie tray, letting customers finally purchase a freshly made box of Joker, did you listen Numinos? to the thing I sent you on Discord? It said Drizzling huh? Friends. No. Man, people I sure forgot. love sending you shit when you're streaming with me. No, that was yesterday, I think. This sucks. You really want me to listen to this? It's so loud. I can't turn it down. This is dope. That is the coolest motherfucker that ever existed. No. Dude. I will listen to it. I will. I will. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, Goose Baby Girl. Like, this is dumb bullshit. I'm streaming too soon. I'll left. <laughs> no, only me. I'm special. God. Is that fucking Walter White? <laughs> because he's bald? Feels like him. Are you kidding me? Because he's bald? That yeah, that's does the, not look like the, him at all! That's the only thing he has. That's the only thing that he has. That does not Let's look like him at all! the glasses and the goatee. He doesn't even have a goatee! Are you serious? Guys! Are you, are can we you, seeing you know, the same guy? Are we gonna guy? fucking do this again? Search guy? up Walter White. No! Search up Walter White. <laughs> are we gonna do it? I think we did this White. on stream again. Yes, we did. Search up Walter White. Okay. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> oh, it's a WebM. Fuck off. Okay, close it. It's gonna spoil something. I just know it. Alright. So, <laughs> here we have Walter White. And here's Walter White. <laughs> Like, <laughs> Not even the same brand of human. Guys, this is Walter White. It's crazy. Guys. It's the same motherfucker. This is like... Look, it's you're literally doing this again? Look, listen, listen, you, listen, listen, listen. You're it's gonna a, do this every it's time? It's a fucking front face view of Walter White. And this is a side view of Walter White. It's crazy. You see, you see how the lighting is coming from the left side of his head. He's this only is the doing original this to piss photo. me off. This is the original He's photo. He's only doing the this to piss me off. The sun is hitting his uh, the side of his head. Look at that. More like looks He's more like Vsauce. He's just trying to make me angry. Vsauce it's not working. Vsauce looks like Walter White. He does White look too. more like Vsauce. He does look like Walter Vsauce. <laughs> You're so dumb. Walter White looks like Bruh. this guy. Ugh. Rotate Walter White in your mind. <laughs> this is what he looks like, yeah. I hate you. Why do you hate me? For fucking speaking the truth? <laughs> Shut up. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate the truth? The chat hates you too. They don't hate me. They said they agree with me. <laughs> no, they don't. Nobody agrees Everybody with has you. agreed with me so far. No. <laughs> Catbread said, I'm Goose, gonna... you're smart. Get a side profile. No. This is it, he said. Ugh. This is, look, look it up. Trueonsnopes.com. This guy looks like Walter White? What yes. What should I do, chat? Should I just, like, not in Like, what's the best way for me to overcome this mo- What help if I put <laughs> the theme song Look what you made Photograph do. <laughs> I hate you, stomps away to my room. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> bow. Bow, na na no, no. No, 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 no. That's Better Call no, Saul. No, no, no. Better Call Walter White. I know the theme. <laughs> you suck. I'm actually, You're literally the she's worst. Like, I'm not getting pissed off. But gets visibly pissed off, shaking her fist. <laughs> 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 That's Walter White. It's crazy. Did he just fucking move? <laughs> yeah, I be saying I look like Travis Scott. Do I really look like him? <laughs> Who made the poll? Is that Walter? 88% people said yes. No, they didn't. They did. It said, "Are you fucking serious?" It says right there. I hate yes. you. Okay, whatever. This is no You're stupid. <laughs> Why am I stupid? I'm never stream with you again. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is Dr. Alvarez. We received your pregnancy test results. What did he do? What the fuck? Is that his oh, teeth? Because dentures came out. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. It's humiliating. <laughs> oh my god, Epstein Island and Stephen Hawking! 
What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> what a weird fucking video. Oh, this <laughs> What the fuck is that? I. Oh. oh, dude's drunk as shit. <laughs> wow, actually. Fucking idiot. Jeez, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> Fucking was that moron. A, was that a high school? They looked like they were like 30. Everybody looks 30. This might be like a college classroom. Who knows? Community colleges usually look like this too. Wow. Oh. Two <laughs> paid actors. <laughs> Can this replace a man? Can this replace a woman? No camera. No camera. So far it has. No camera. No camera. No camera. No They all have the same hair. So that's how we are. Oh, to do that. <laughs> that's how you are. That's yeah. How you, that's how you are to me whenever I'm like, it is. I prank you or something. Never, ever. And I'm about to bite your ass if you don't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> what is that video? Ever. I'm about to bite your ass if you don't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Penguin man? No, oh no, that's God. a shark. He's in a shark. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Snow is crazy out here. Hold up, babe. Slow down. George is calling me. Who? George. George what? Bush. <laughs> Damn. That's so mean. <laughs> no, babe. Don't do this. Oh, stop. Stop. Okay. How they figured that out? That's just basic fucking human. Like, Holy physics. shit. He like tased him. Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What is this reality? There's just a lot of shit going on up here, but y'all, check this shit out. <laughs> Not only that, but she's like playing like Diddy Kong racing music. You hear That's that shit? That's Kirby music. That's Diddy Kong racing. Who did that to him? I don't know, he machine. said Walter White in the back. Now, what would you like? That one, 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 and that one, and that one. Right. Hey, Joey, uh, Aaron Boone said that he... <laughs> 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 it smells like blood orange. 
mixed with a lot of rock soca. <laughs> okay. That reminds me of that video. Have you seen this like cringy video? I, I'm sure I can't find it anymore. But there's this guy uh. who, who's like, he goes to like this very fancy store, and there's this one perfume that's like a thousand dollars, right? And then he like sprays it on himself, and like <laughs> he takes a huge whiff of the cologne, and he's like, "Ooh, that's, oh, oh, that's, it <coughs> that smells really good. Oh, it's like really." <coughs> It's, oh, it's, do we throw up? No, it's just like it's so potent and he's an idiot. It's fucking funny. I know that video. Made it to 10 hours. Good night, everyone. Good night. We, it's, good night. Oh shit, not good. Oh, okay, okay. oh my god, Fuck. these are oh, so shit. cute. I Look. love little things. Hey, yeah. Thank God. Yo, they done sold Granny the wrong scooter. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised she know how to maneuver. Damn, Granny might be a Uda. <laughs> what? Someone's mom said no, it's a bunch of Roblox gift cards. It's in the, in the freezer? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with him? Hello. Ignore it. You keep that. Why? Because I didn't see a tip on the app and I... Put a little card in there, so please keep that. I'm sorry. No, I just had cash. Please. Take it's okay. It it's okay. Cause it's okay. Thank you. Uh oh. Have a good night. Snoopy on Instagram, TikTok. Oh uh oh. God. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, hmm. Don't be stupid. Yikes. Don't be fucking dumb. Yikes. <laughs> Hey, bro, can you throw this plate in the sink for me? Sure, bro, I got you. Yay! <laughs> bro, why would you do that? That was my great grandma's plate. Uh, bro, look at the sink. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, look at the <laughs> sink. <laughs> it's like a. Now on the thing, on the stuff, honey. On the ooblet. Smack the fork on the ooblet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Any way to catch a fly is. Oh, oh, you see how I can't stand myself? Yeah. Goose, is that Heisenberg? Yeah. Or you're worthless. Joker, did you know you kind of look like Walter White? Me? Yeah. Guys, do you think she looks like Walter White? No. Are you sure? No, Walter White. Look, look at the mirror. Look, look, no. look, look, look. Oh my god. Bow, nana. You're goddamn right. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Down it. She looks like Ariana Grande. She oh, I looks, sound like Ariana Grande. No, she doesn't look like Ariana. What the fuck? <laughs> this is changing every fucking time. Okay, we'll have Walter White up here. I'm sorry. Hey, what are you? What are you, Ben? Ben, what are you? I'm the birthday girl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ate just like water and Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, he just stole the food? <laughs> okay. Is that him like emulating the Yeah. Okay. 
Yo, what is what? The Did you gasp? Me? Yeah. <gasps> You're like those old people that thought Grand Theft Auto was real. No, I didn't gasp, asshole. <laughs> Plus, you know, I have a fucking problem with height, so even if I did, it was because of that. Was that high up? Whatever. <laughs> Russian dash cam compilation? Okay. Yeah, fuck this video. It's not even funny. Look at this guy. This is what Choco looks like. <laughs> That's not in the clip. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mm. No, you look beautiful. Don't worry. I look beautiful. Hear that, chat? Shut up. God, I can't even fucking compliment this chick. <laughs> God, it would be so awesome if we just got, like, dead bodies in this video. Why? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh my god! Whoa, Whoa that's so cool! <laughs> Mamma mia! Mamma mia, this is not Russian. Oh, yeah. Whoa! How do you even fuck up like that? That's so crazy. What the fuck happened oh, to that? Was he paying attention? Oh, was the bridge? Did he, did he do the bridge thing? Oh my god, he did I the did. fucking bridge thing. Oh, dude, I wasn't wow. even paying attention. That was crazy. Oh shit. Man, why are Russian like dash cams so fucking scary? So cursed. Now, okay, granted, Americans don't have nearly half as many dash cams as Russians do, but still, man. There's a reason for that. <laughs> God. You know what's funny? I, I really hate these kinds of videos because every time I'm on Twitter nowadays, I see this kind of video and it's like, who was in the wrong? <laughs> I was like, who cares who's in the wrong? This is funny. Why is the quality better than all of American ones? American dash cams? Because they know it's going to make good content. Oh god, oh god. Oh! Is he in the wrong? <laughs> Who's on first? That's not... <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Whoa, that was a huge hit. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. First of all, I was wondering why that guy was still driving. Without stopping. Yeah. <laughs> Look out, Mr. Bean. That's what they used to call me. <laughs> that, auto <laughs> that automatically makes the video so much funnier. Thank you, Goose. Is he in the wrong? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Set to that fucking. There should be a, you know what? There should be a dash cam game where you have to. Metal music playing, that'd be so raw. Okay, uh, that's kind of Burnout. Have you ever played Burnout? No. Burnout, there's a mode where you have to crash into oncoming traffic and get as many points as possible. Wait, Why what? do you suck? Huh? <laughs> Why do you suck? Like... Yeah. <laughs> Why? What they happened? Just, just for no nothing happened. That's the thing. Like, they Whoa. just couldn't drive. I, I, You know, what? here's here's what I think happened, genuinely. 
I think the guy was like joking because it's a roundabout, and he was like, "Whoa!" Because he's like kind of laughing. They got moved by ESP. <laughs> See, he's like laughing. So I think he like turned way harder than he really wanted to, and then he couldn't control himself. <laughs> Why was that Meg Griffin? <laughs> oh my god, it's Chris. Oh fuck. I just instinctively hit the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, you crashed the fucking car, Peter. Whoa, whoa! Oh shit, guys, who was in the wrong here? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Did you see it? Learn to drive better. Sorry, we've been in 700 accidents since this stream started. <laughs> Why? What are these? Okay, what? Why? Why did he do that? Also, why is this, like, flashing green? <laughs> what does that mean? Kinda go? Go a little faster? What does that mean? It means go! Go, 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 go! Turns are allowed, I think? Yeah, it should be a fucking arrow, like here in America. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't it just so shitty? Like, you could be the best fucking driver in the world, and then some fucking asshole, like, from a different place, in a different time, just turns like this. And, yeah. and everything, it just all goes down to shit. Some asshole from a different time in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like a fucking like, knight is gonna come riding in on his horse and slam into you. <laughs> out of a portal. Basically, <laughs> this, these fuckers just come out of nowhere, is what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? Uh huh. <laughs> you hate me. You hate my majestic words. I oh love your majestic words. Oh, she loves my majestic words. You guys hear that? Shut up, stupid. <laughs> Fuck you. Blit! What is he doing? Oh, yeah. You saw the green and he's like green with the little smiley face after. <laughs> yeah, green mean go. <laughs> but I want to know. He fucking if... fell asleep. What I want to know is if he was in the wrong though. What I want to know is why he's got an Asus mon. Is that all about? An Asus what? Oh Look. yeah, yeah, you're right. <gasps> he was looking <laughs> at his mon. Oh, he was looking at this. He was gaming. <laughs> he had to have been right. That, that's... I don't know what that is. It must be like a dash thing. I don't know. Cranking 90s while driving. Man was playing fucking Mario Kart. Now what, what was this asshole doing? <laughs> I don't know! Whoa! How did he still keep going? I don't know, man. Uh oh. Wow! That's a hard hit. That is. Holy shit. Why Crash is so funny? I don't know. I'm gonna hop off stream now, gonna figure out how to fix my P key on my keyboard as for some reason it's the only, it only sometimes registers and play Lethal Company. Okay, bye Clown Sexer.
I hope you find the clown and leave the company. Hope you find the clown in Clown Motel. Oh my god. I'm still being streamed, just pass out. Okay, Drizzling Prince. I'll lull you to sleep with my voice. Good night. Wake up! Sweet dreams. Wake up! Don't listen to him. He's not the good one to listen to. I am. Who do you think you are? I am. I'm gonna play the scary door. Wake up! You're off. We mean Gal both play different door sound effects at the same time. <laughs> you do that, I'm gonna be so scared. Be very afraid. So fucking mean. I'm sorry. Nightmare, nightmare. If I'm, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. If I'm ever gonna do like an. Okay, everyone's farting in chat. If I'm gonna do an ASMR stream, I gotta get rid of those. <laughs> yes, you do. Or just mute the source entirely. Well, joke's on you. I barely slept. Room for one more? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, to be honest, I think it's probably about time we, uh, Wrap this no! up. Too. Ten yeah. more hours. Ten more hours? Well, we're only. We could do thirty more minutes, and we can actually reach ten hours if you want. It's up to you. I'm having fun. You having fun? You're doing good. Yeah. I'm very proud of you, by the way. I'm like really happy Why? to know that you've been doing super well during this stream. Thank you. You were. I've been you. taking care of myself on this side. That's good. I'm really happy. I'm glad you could be Thank here for you. this long. Yeah. Um, best fails? Oh, fail army is super vanilla. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Hold up. Baby corner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Okay, is it, is it, okay, can I just, can I just be stupid real quick, okay, please? You always are. In this situation, would it be dumb of me to, like, just jump? Not like, okay, obviously yes, I'm gonna try, you would just stop it, get hit by listen, the car. listen, listen, what I'm trying to say is, would it be dumb if I try to jump forward, right? Not like jump forward like, like Superman, I'm saying like jump, hop, up, because my biggest fear is like, getting caught under the wheel so what i want to do is go as high as i can so i could get like the velocity to push me more forward than the car and i think i think you're overestimating how high you're gonna jump no 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 see i i can jump <laughs> <laughs> you see me jump in vr <laughs> the speed of the truck is going to bounce you and then run you over but at least like you know You'd break, You'd all, break your all your bones. Yeah. <laughs> but it's better than getting crushed under like 10 tons of steel. Do like a dodge roll. Oh, like with Dark Souls? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you're right, because then I'll have iframes and I could probably like dodge the damage. So you're right. Yeah. <laughs> VR training goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, other hypothetical. Uh, other hypothetical, okay. Let's say you jump off of a plane. You don't have a, a parachute. You see a mountain, okay? The mountain is perfectly 90 degrees angle, right? And it, like, slopes. What? It's a 90 degree angle, like, upwards. So you're gonna try to slide down the mountain? So you're gonna try and run as fast as you can down the mountain. Like, like Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Like, down the mountain. You're still gonna die at that velocity. Okay. What if I try to slide? What if it's like very smooth? Like a ramp? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think your legs would be fucking toast or whatever is touching. Okay. Are you sure about that? What if I try to break the fall? Okay, okay. Other question. What if it's like a bunch of like trees? 
they're very tall trees. <laughs> and like I see the the trees and it's like world's largest forest like in terms of uh-huh. height. And like you try to fall down into the the forest and catch yourself in the branches. Like that'll break your fall, right? And you won't like hit the ground at terminal velocity. Cuz branches can't kill you. You're going to you're going to die. Why would I die? You know what? Yeah, you'd be fine. <laughs> You're entertaining me. <laughs> You're just giving up. You'd be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> you go for the aim for the bushes. Aim for the bushes. There it goes. I just missed completely. I hit a rock. <laughs> splatter. I around. love that. Is the, one of the funniest scenes ever. It really I'm is. Genuinely. For like a pretty not so funny movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you find that scene? There goes my hero! Mwah! Bushes? Because it's spooky stream. You gotta be shitting me! I can, you can't keep me Are you allowed to play two here, minutes okay? of this movie? Damn. <laughs> oh my god. That's such a fucking funny scene. And it's ruined, by the way, completely by the next scene. Because it doesn't, yeah. like, one of the characters go, like, there weren't, any, like, any bushes. Like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, shut up. Obviously, yeah, you explained the joke, fucking idiot. But just stop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> why, why would they do that? That's like Will Ferrell bullshit. It really is. <laughs> but man, the rest yeah. of the movie kind of sucks. <laughs> it, yeah, lot. it really does. That's when people were finding out that Will Ferrell is like not really that strong of a main character role guy. Yeah. He always needs like a I liked him in Barbie though. I like him in Elf. But that's like exactly what what oh my god. That's exactly what he's like good at. He's good at being like man child. Yeah, exactly. Um, there actually weren't any bushes there. That's why it's funny. <laughs> oh no. Holy oh my shit. god. Crazy. That sucks. Oh, ah, no. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh my God. Holy fuck. If that went over their car, they're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh! Ooh, with the chainsaw? With the chainsaw, yeah. Oh my fucking... Uh... I almost just died. Oh, wow. Seriously, You almost dude. just died. Dude, these are brutal. Yeah. These are brutal for fail army? Oh. I almost just died. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit, dude. No, that's way worse. Did she break her teeth? I feel so bad. Oh, that's her uh, AirPods. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It makes me feel sad. Yeah. Oh, poor girl. Why is there a lively logo in front of us? You lose a lot of teeth that way. Yeah. Oh, you stupid. You're so stupid. Why did they think... No, no, no. Can you go back? Here? Farther. So imagine Naruto tree running plus 12 Why did they think this was going to work? Look how stupid this is. They thought that if they put those little things, they could drive with those little things like... 
That is so fucking dumb. You're so right. That is that is the stupidest thing of. They went through all the trouble of setting that up and. Not- yeah. Hey, uh, maybe the tires are gonna fucking spin because they're tires. Oh, that is so fucking dumb, golly. Wow. I know someone who broke her front tooth from bowling while drunk. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds horrible. How the fuck? What do they do? Hit themselves in the face with the ball? Honestly, honestly, I see if the bowling is irrelevant and they just like fell down. That'd be really funny. <laughs> okay, it was the bowling ball. No, it just has to be so funny. Yeah, no, they tried to bring the drink up to their teeth and they just smashed it. <laughs> I've actually seen that happen. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Teeth are I've really strong. I've seen that happen for sure. Teeth are really, really strong, but also like losing them is really easy. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Like, it's weird. <laughs> I really would have... I, lo- I would have loved it if she was like... Yeah, it was a bowling alley and... Uh, <laughs> she just hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she like broke it off of like a... And then a raccoon a chip attacked that she it. ate or something. <laughs> yeah. She went to the bowling alley and uh, five hours later she... Uh, went back home and died. <laughs> you... <laughs> Yeah, teeth are strong. They're bond. They're bond to your jaw. Not as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. I had that happen to me. I'm not like that. Kidding? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. So not like this. I think obviously this didn't land on my car. Uh, I was driving. Uh, it was. Oh God! I almost said my childhood town. <laughs> um, uh huh. It's in upstate New York. And it's basically upstate New York is just full of forests and trees and roads. And I was, uh, or was it? No, it was North Carolina. What the fuck am I saying? No. Oops. My bad. North Carolina. And there was a heavy fucking storm. And I drive here usually for, um, to, to paint a house that I was painting. And Uh it just like fell right in front of me. Like, but it didn't land in front of me it was just, it was like 20 feet away from me but holy fucking shit it scared the shit out of me i, no, I, had, I had no idea what the fuck could have been you i could have been me that was fun did you say did you just say epstein new york <laughs> yeah upstate nueva york mexico dude this guy looks like fucking walter white that's crazy <laughs> Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Look at the stream! Look at the stream! <laughs> Look at the stream! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He looks like Walter White. Guys, chat, that's like undeniable, right? It's him! <laughs> uh. Walter Stew. <laughs> This is not meth. <laughs> oh my god. Men. Yeah, right? <sighs> you really showed that plant that you have to clean up now. Yeah. <laughs> and that your significant other possibly will be pissed off that you've knocked down. Yeah. Oh. Ew. <laughs> I would not want to be in that house. Yeah. Bad vibes. Oh my god. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, dude. Oh, that oh is god. a huge fall. That really is. Holy uh, shit. Tubba, tub, tub and bug. Good night. Good night. Uh, Good night. I gotta sleep and or Good mentally slap. Day. Snap for the night. Take a Okay. See you later. Sad song, just to turn it around. That was super high, dog. Like, whoa. Haha, <laughs> fail! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, ow. This has to be so staged. It's so, it looks super staged. Really so bad. fucking staged. Ooh. Oh! Oh no! 
Oh no. What? Actually, what? Hey! Hey, you can't park there! You can't park there! <laughs> Go! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, dude! No. no fucking way! That Bro. was like a fucking fatality! Oh my god. That's a weed whack! Oh my fucking god! How stupid do you have to be to do that? <gasps> oh my. Why is it aimed towards your house, idiot? Oh! oh. That was fucking uh, awful. That was fucking awful. Uh, that was fucking awful. No, that foot is not broke. It's the fucking shin. Like, it broke. Uh, it snapped in half. Oh my uh, fucking god. That was genuinely awful. I would not give a child a weed whacker. No, that, yeah, it was It was really stupid that he gave his was kid a Was it a child? I couldn't even tell. It was. It was a kid, yeah. Oh. Uh, that was horrible. Horrible. Glad I missed that. Play it no, again. I... No, 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 no. Play Genuinely. it again. Are you serious? No. Yes. Here you go, guys. Look away, I see. Oh. Ah! Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's fine. Oh. <laughs> see? That's why context is good. Just guys. play the video. Okay, fine. Jeez, oh my god. Oh, fuck. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, fuck. Does it look like calm? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's a legitimate <laughs> that's a mongoose. reason. That is a mongoose. Yeah. Wow. This is like Twitch. <laughs> Bro. Oof. No. This one. Uh, uh, Does like she not see what was on? This one, like a gym rat, comes in and is like, "Are you okay, babe? You all right?" <laughs> what the? Hopping center. What the fuck is this Jim Carrey <laughs> shit? What is that? What the fuck? Jim Carrey? It's like a skit out of a Jim Carrey movie. Damn, drive by water Whoa! Nice aim, dog. Holy <laughs> shit. That was insane. Yeah. Oh, that didn't sound good. No. Big <laughs> 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 crew's got some work on their hands, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! <laughs> wow, I don't think he can park that there. <laughs> Whoa, look how the fucking. That's so weird. Is that the fucking pole? It's just floating yes. up there? Yeah, it's being like. Suspended by the just the cords. Wow, bro, you fucked up so monumentally. It's like insane. How did that even happen? <laughs> Room for one more. <laughs> How'd that actually happen? Oh, he definitely like was on his phone, or he was probably sleeping. Wow. That's so cool, though. Dude had that fucking bounce gel from Portal. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh. Dude. Oh, ah! 
Oh god. Weightlifting fails are scary as shit. They really are, man. I saw a video of a guy like visiting the fucking pearly gates because he tried to like bench press by himself. Yeah, I, I, I've seen videos like that too. <laughs> these, <laughs> these videos be like fatality, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Wow. That was some crazy air. What the fuck? What is a little creature? That? What is that? It's like... That's me when I first saw Choco. What the oh fuck is that? It's a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't stop it with your foot! What the, what the fuck? fuck is wrong with you? Aww. Sorry, kid. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what are you, first of all, idiot, what are you doing yeah. there? Back. That's beautiful. Honestly, he might have been able to like stick that landing. What a dumb asshole. Oh my god. Those ice driving videos were endless entertainment on Twitter. Ice driving. Damn, he was about to. Damn, he had to test He's it like, out. He's gonna break this bitch in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks ass. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Who does that? Oh my god. I'm dying. Shoot. Oh, Mr. Fox. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they steal shit? Yo! Wow. Is that a cop car, too? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I know, I know the fucking balls are really bad. Mm. They nest. Hmm. Oh. They nest. Oh, like me. Oh. He's not stopping? Yeah, like people driving on snow and ice in New York are places that aren't uh, used to get ice. Oh, oh. It would just hit the brakes and float. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute.
Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Wow. Cool. <laughs> what? <Wow. Ew. laughs> <laughs> oh man, imagine having milk all in. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry, you can't park that. Oh, I love scare Aww. fails. Oh my god, I want to see some scare pranks now. Milkman delivery gone wrong, gone wild, extra hard. We should watch some pranks in the hood videos. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are, they, are those real? Those are always funny. Wait, you've no, you don't remember like that oh, stupid trend? Oh, oh, that, of I'm people sorry. just like going and actually almost I, dying. I had no idea what you were talking about for a second. No, I remember those fucking stupid assholes. Also, these are like fucking racist too. <laughs> they, are. they are. They really are. I'm gonna go in the hood and I'm gonna wear a Klansman outfit. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Tonight's story: a young teenage boy, fourteen. Killed. Yeah. Those are unlively. Bring back milkman deliveries. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Holy my fucking God. shit, dude. Michael Jackson, no! Is it a public shower? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd think it's so many guys to shower in this room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, have you ever done this prank? We just have shampoo on them and you just like keep putting on it and p keep putting on their head over and over. No. And the suds just never run out. Have you? No. You say that like you have. <laughs> Maybe. You're such a jerk. <laughs> it wasn't just me. <laughs> Have you ever done this prank? What kind of question? No, no, I'm not even talking about the upside. Have you ever done this prank where you hang upside down? No, I'm not talking about cups. that. I'm not <laughs> talking about that. I'm talking about the shampoo prank. Bro, got that beer belly. <laughs> Am I even allowed to show this? Is this not like male presenting nipples? <laughs> I want a ghost lady in my shower now. Don't we all? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, if I see the hair first, I'm just gonna assume it's a fucking <laughs> huge spider or some shit. That's the scary yeah. part. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. oh wow! Oh, shit. <laughs> I fucking hit their head. <laughs> Slamo. <laughs> <laughs> Why is nobody talking wow. to him? <laughs> well, 
camera crew. Ah! <laughs> Is he gonna go back and shower? Oh, okay, hold on. Aw, oh, poor guy. <laughs> they fucked him up with that line. They really did. <laughs> Bikurishita. He says, you scared me. <laughs> 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 I just want to see that again. <laughs> it fucking hits the ghost on the head. That, boom! <laughs> That's fucking funny. Uh, how are you feeling, Choco? I'm kind of sleepy. You kind of sleepy? Yeah, I'm assuming uh, everyone in chat wants to sleep too. I mean, we've gone ten hours now, so Jesus. I mean, really. That's crazy. Yeah. I think this is gonna be the last one then. Shut. Shut. Oh boy, 3 a.m. I woke up at 2 a.m. So this was a great start to my day. I see. I see. I see. What is wrong? What is going on with your sleep schedule? What is Girl. actually genuinely? Talk to me. Good morning, I think. <laughs> What's going on? Do you need someone? I'm here. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Wait, okay, this is stupid. Mimic. <laughs> <laughs> Would this scare the shit out of you? Probably, yeah. Yeah, because my question would be, like, who the fuck is in that suitcase? Yeah, I mean, you do this to a guy, they're not going to be as scared. Yeah, because we're Tonka tough. You do this to a woman in their fucking hotel room? Yeah, it's probably, it's a little scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking re recreation cam is in the corners is what sends me. Yeah, react. Sorry, <laughs> reaction. <laughs> sorry, I. Yeah, tired too. I love how Japanese TV always has reaction cam. Yeah, and look, we have our little own reaction cam too here. Wow. Wow. The primordial camera. What the fuck? <laughs> It's all women, too. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Live Walter reaction. Oh man, that's funny as shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aww. Leave her alone. Get a job. This is their job. I see. This is their job. Okay. Well, that was fun. I think we're getting tired though. I can't even read. Yeah. So. Wow. Wait, dead rat and nasty food. So we got a big dead rat. That's a rat. <laughs> Are you serious? That's, it. That's the video. That's it? No, that's so it. we got a big dead rat. That's the rat? So we got a big dead rat. Oh, In the corner of your kitchen. Well, I think that's about it for us then today. <laughs> Thanks for streaming, guys. Yeah. No problem. Can you play that as we, as we leave? Oh, okay. The fucking... That one? Is that, is that is that? Sure, yeah. I mean, it's just a general shop theme, right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs>
Okay. Well, now this is perfect music to leave to. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we stream for a lot longer than I thought, and yeah. genuinely give it up for Choco for like being here throughout the whole time, and she's a fucking champ. <laughs> She's not, she hasn't been feeling well today, and I made her stay throughout the entire time. Sorry. To put it lightly, yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Ugh. Gosh, uh, I said I would do it, and I fucking did it. With yeah. lots of pills and the heating pad, and... Oh, no. Not throwing up. And you didn't tell me, you didn't tell me that you are like, <laughs> yeah. doing worse. This is literally, it's like... okay, I did, I did better for most of it. Okay. Well, anyways, I uh, love you too, IC. Thanks for I joining. Love you too. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream and uh, check out Choco. Can we get a shout out for her? Genuinely, and make sure to use her little uh, gamer subs promo. If anybody wants some gamer subs uh, stuff, just use code Choco. Ten percent oh, off all you. merch. No, you deserve it, bestie. You're fucking crazy for even not telling me. Even though I told you before the stream to tell me when you were feeling bad, so I could, you know, stop the stream. It's okay. Okay. Well, anyways. Thank um, you, see Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you, Quav. Tuesday is uh, the next stream. Y'all have a good weekend. Tomorrow, Joko stream, so hopefully. I mean, it, we'll talk about that. Hopefully. If not, then, you know, she streams Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, regularly. Monday, I'm gonna come back. No, wait. Sorry, Tuesday, I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna be doing a uh, bingo. We're gonna do a bingo stream. So if you guys wanna bring out your bingo boards Lord. and watch some spooky stuff, I'll have some suggestions. Thursday, I was gonna do a suggestion stream for, like, spooky stuff, but I feel like the bingo is already gonna be like that, so I'm gonna... Uh, I might change what we're gonna do. Probably gonna do some games, honestly, because... You know, that was kind of fun. We'll see. And then after that, the next week we're gonna do uh, we're gonna be doing Yakuza Zero all week. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Yes. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for joining. I don't know if anybody's really streaming right now. I don't really know if I feel like raiding. Hmm. Because it's. Uh, there's, there's 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 imp. Imp. Okay. Imp. There's also nobody. There's also nobody. You know what? Let's let's oh. raid someone that we never raided before. Uh, oh. Mylita. I don't actually had know how to say her name, but I followed her uh, like a couple weeks back because I really liked her design, and she's all about Halloween, and that's her entire aesthetic. So, I just wanted to check her out. She's adorable. So, yeah. yeah. Kill, Give her kill, a little raid. Kill. Make sure to follow them. And, uh, yeah, guys. I guess I will be seeing you on Tuesday. And hopefully, Choco will rest up. And I'll make sure that she'll be streaming in top condition and not in fucking horrible conditions. Yeah. Um, shoot. Shoot. Well, anyways. Thanks, everyone. Love you guys a ton. I'll see you guys later. And yeah, give her little Ackroids. Um, okay. Uh, do you want to say anything? Um, I'm an imp. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you a ton. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.